that sugar sweet You got what I need Sipping on the potion All that good emotion Just my kind of heat Keep it on me, beep Tested by the potion Love it, Mr. Potion Oh,
Bonsoir, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hello everyone, and welcome to session 19 of Throwing It Up Sands. Hello. Hi Sam. Hi Hunter. Hello Georgia. I believe Dan. Hello Dan, thank you so much for the, the sub as well, that was very sweet of you. Thank you. And then you, uh, hello Mac, and anyone that's lurking or just hanging out in chat or just vibing and just watching the VOD, thank you so much for giving us your time. I hella appreciate it. Interesting, the audio is doing something I don't want it to do. Let me fix that quickly. Properties. If I do this, in theory, in theory, that'll do the thing that I wanted it to do. Sorry, sorry about this. I just quick, 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 uh, quick stream fixes fixed. That should be fine. But yeah, hello everyone. We hear the cry again within the first ten minutes. Who knows? Who knows with, with with this lot? I know next session will be a very a very cryy session at the least. So I can promise that. I don't know about this session being within the first ten minutes. So we'll find out. We'll see what's up. There's some interesting. Here. Yes, there is. Um, those that you are in chat, uh, if you don't already know, we do layer actions and uh, channel point redemptions through layer actions. And there's also some new uh, character specific ones. Uh, there's now Sh the shaman and the fox, which is a low Nico special redemption. And the, for whom the bellflower tolls, which is a uh, lo-fi boy special redemption, similar to the ones for Jailhouse Rocky, but uh, more so these are involved to be pure uh, advantage um, givers. Yeah, time to save. Yeah, exactly. Save all your points with these. This is where this is where I want you guys to use all your points because this stuff is really cool. It's all good. But yeah, like um, because some of them are like location specific. They will like only activate when in like the relevant situation. Exactly, they're here on purpose. You're not gonna encourage or discourage a true neutral, very true neutral. He sound. But yeah, thank you again, Dan, for the sub. I hello appreciate it. Very sweet of you. I think you should do. Yeah, I um I appreciate Hunter you linking the Discord and my uh, social. I I do appreciate that. I will also go over today's sponsors. Hello, Frankie, and also uh, go over the um uh the the recap and uh a quick little uh recap of last session because uh we were going to go into downtime but because of the situation and my internet being wonky uh we had to skip over a lot of it but i'll uh I'll, I, I shall recap those so that we don't uh we're not left out of out of the blue but yeah how, how is how is everyone how are you guys doing are you guys excited for today's session i've got some very cool stuff happening um and I've also got some exciting news. Uh, first bit of news is to do with Patreon and Kofi and subscribers. I'm going to be, if you're in, already in the Discord, you might have seen um, uh, subscribers specifically. I'm going to be starting to um, give out, not give out, but like I'm going to, as uh, extra co paid content, I'll be uh, giving out my tokens and my homebrewed content um, so if you aren't already subbed or um, or you want to use my tokens in your personal games or use some of my homebrew in your personal games, uh, such as like the Shabbaton, the New A, Hello Sam, um, and some other, um, and like some, some of the other uh, monsters I've, I've made, you'll be able to access those through, um, through that when it does roll out. We're going to probably start pushing it around... Um, September, mid September, because me and uh, Sam West, uh, Esme and Sam, over on McClunky Squadron, we're going to be doing something called Token Tuesdays, where we are going to be making uh, to every single monster in the monster manual as tokens, and those will also be a part of this. Uh, on my side, uh, uh, Sam will also have it, like we'll probably be discussing something for Sam to monetize his tokens as well, because your boy should get all the support. But yeah, so if you aren't already following McClunky Squadron, go go check us out over there. We do some wonderful content. A lot of it is D&D related, but we also do stuff related to pop culture, such as uh, a lot of the Marvel movies we did. Well, I say we. Uh, they did um, some Star Wars stuff. Uh, the Boys, uh, a bunch of Marvel. Um, and I'm trying to think, was there anything else? I think there was there was even uh, when when Vox Machina came out, there was also, uh, also stuff from them. Um, also... Uh, you'll see we have the fan art on screen like uh, like normal. If you want to be a part of this uh, uh, this scroll of fan art, send over your art uh, or tag me on Instagram or Twitter if you post any of it. Um, and it will be added to the reel if you give permission. And if you create posters for the poster challenge, 
uh the information is in my discord and my uh twitter uh your your poster will be a part of this scroll and also part of the game in uh in a few ways who knows every single one of them automatically for free yeah exactly like we're not gonna probably go like through not we're, who knows if we're gonna go through the whole thing but like we're we're gonna try we're gonna do absolute darndest who invited the v vcs to, to this room i'm sorry hunter i did He's he's one of my best friends. He's got he's always here to support me. Yeah, please please do follow us. We've just hit a hundred on the clunky squadron, and we're 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 hoping uh, to do something cool to celebrate that at some point. Uh, probably in September as well after I get back from Canada. Yeah, we just talk about stuff. We like probably going to talk about Haz yeah we're probably talk about Hazard Dragon when I come out as well. And I'll dang we'll have to we'll have to get on that. Um, but yeah, so there was that. Um, I'm gonna quickly go over our sponsors before I do. Um, before I do the recap. Oh no, you bet your ass we're doing it all. I just mean maybe we go. Oh, maybe. Who knows? McClunky. Yes. Uh, so yeah, the next thing we're going to talk about sponsors. Uh, first sponsor is Bard RPG. You've seen me doing... Um, you've seen me working on the Bard RPG uh, sci-fi uh, vignette, which was the... Uh, three characters firing away at like uh, spaceships flying at them. I'm uh, well. I'm doing art. I've, I'm doing all the sci-fi on that project, or most of the sci-fi on that project, and it's also alongside some amazing other content creators, or not creators, but like writers and uh, artists in the uh, TTRPG space. And it's going to be a a not a supplement, but a assistance, a tool for your personal um, games of like D and D, Pathfinder. Um, <laughs> thirsty sword lesbians and all all other types of uh, ttrpgs if you if you wanted to, to find someone else a bit more helpful at guiding you to a more narrative and cooperative a collaborative experience through role playing you can use um you'd be able to use bard rpg that is the goal for bard rpg so if that sounds of interest you go check out the kickstarter there will be a link to the website at some point when when that's sorted um but go 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 check it out uh, next thing is DiceRoll.uk. They make some gorgeous dice. You might have seen me show on stream or in the Discord my uh, rainbow dice and also my um, my blue cat eyes um, dice. They produce some gorgeous gemstone, metal, and resin dice and also a few TTRPG accessories. And if you're in the UK, this is a free delivery. So if that's something of interest to you, and like, but they do also do international shipping. But if that's something, and if that's something of interest to, uh, for you, their dice are cheap and affordable, and they are gorgeous. So if you want to grab some of those, go check out diceroll.uk slash casadm. And although Phoenix Dice and Games will be are a sponsor of the stream, they're not sponsoring Throne Top Santa sponsor Jailhouse Rocky. So we're not going to go over those, but we are going to go over our next sponsors, just very mundane, which is Jacob's uh, podcast where he just goes over life advice and just other kind of topics with his co-host Saga. And you've seen Jacob on stream, you know he's hilarious. You can only imagine it's just going to be as hilarious as he is. Go check it out, go support him. He deserves every bit of support you can give him. And then there's We're So Fucking Sorry, which is Remove Sam's and I'm Sorry Lucy, uh, Lucille, sorry, their podcast, which is a comedic one-hour little bite-sized podcast where they just go over random topics and... It is wild, it is chaotic, and it is hilarious. Go support them as well. They are they are wonderful. And finally, Georgia Marjorie. You you may uh, you may know of Georgia. She plays Lo Nico. I don't know if you've uh, if you if you've been around, you might you might know about this. Uh, you might have seen her stunning silver uh, d jewelry. She creates a, a wide range of pendants, rings, earrings, and necklaces. And the set that like I believe. That is how it is the Warrior Poet series, but there's also her Silver Dragon Sword uh, series, which is the D and D themed set uh, based on the Dungeon Master, the Rogue, and the Fighter uh, classes, and they are stunning. She produces stunning work, and you should go support her and go go grab some of her jewelry. It's not grab, purchase, purchase her jewelry. Don't don't grab it. It's <laughs> well, who's Lonely going? Yeah, no, we've never heard of this Lonely Go before. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's our sponsors for today. Uh, go check them out and thank uh, I. Uh, I want to thank them for helping support the stream. It's it goes a long way. And next, I would like to recap the session. So a quick recap. I'm gonna close Clip Studio as well first because like I have it open and I should have closed it. 
Where is my recap? It is. I've got pinged somewhere. Oh, that was Sam telling me something. So yeah, um, let me find. I was meant to pull up the recap and I didn't. I got distracted. So yeah, last. Uh, so this session, um, we'll start with Low Nico and Lo-Fi Boy in the early hours of the morning, opening the door to a Captain Satoshi Motoge, um, an elven man who um, who has come as the uh, as an employee of Mister 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 Kaitsu Seiya. So, uh, and how we got there uh, from last session was Lo-Fi Boy and Kira had a little uh, a little moment. Uh, it was at the beginning of the session uh, during a evening chat. They had they had talked about a lot of things about um, Kira's uh, just role in life, what she wants, uh, but what she has to do. And there was a thing that Lo-Fi, that had made uh, that had moved Lo-Fi Boy. Um, Kira had mentioned that, like, you sh- like even when there's, when it feels like there's nothing to do, like always, just just do something. And uh, Lo-Fi Boy taking his taking that uh, as initiative, he went and went to go find himself an eye, uh, taking a midnight walk to the uh, the Kasakawa Mecha-, Mecha Company walk-in and finding through the trash a old eye uh, that would be used as a flash a new uh, a new flashlight for him. Um, Katsumi annoyingly did a fit in for him, so he now has a one, one UI that is a big flashlight, one eye that is a normal his old eye. Um, and the next morning they had gone uh, with the uh, with the sisters and uh, Lee Hiri Uni, the sh- uh, the shaman lady with a big f- uh, koi fish headdress, uh, to go get brunch and do a bit of shopping. Um, and the party had f- uh, felt a bit of exhaustion from the events of the day before having gone through the sewers and the ancient ruins of Isoto and fighting the basket hack. It was it was a very eventful day. And while walking through the streets there was like word about or like a bit a bit like anxiety from some of the, the citizens about the um the giant mechs that were seen on the horizon. Um but they there was news that like this is these are um mechs sent from Kasakawa towards Isoto as a uh, form of protection. Um so like that's that's just something that was overheard through through the um through just just gossip and the, uh, the news around them while while going shopping and at the end of the day here you uh, had left the party to go uh, to go have a girls night um and the sisters also left uh, they went to to go and uh, to look into this wisdom king business um and and had left the party with um and then the group took a week off uh, from adventuring and did a bit of shopping, did a bit of uh, did a bit of downtime. And I want to, I personally want to clarify, I wanted to do the downtime on stream because I personally believe it would have been. I think it would be very fun to see. So it is, I, 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 I think this group is very entertaining and very fun to play with. And I, I wanted to show what like downtime looks like for these characters. But sadly, because my connection was a bit wonky, we had to. We had to cut that out. Yeah, he did find an eye in the trash. This is like in the the trash of the Mecha Company. So like uh, they had like parts that were broken and just like out of repair or like just like kind of like just like wonky in a little way. And he just just went. You may grab one one ease exchange. Yes, upcycling. Yeah. Um. But yeah, and so like they they uh, they did some shopping. While um, so yeah, Lo herself, she. She she started a new hobby. She's uh, she's she's she got a new fixation of potion making, and um, during this fixation of uh, potion making, she uh, like she, she she it was it was mainly to like learn to make uh, healing potions. But it's she was uh, kind of convinced by the the clerk to uh, to get ma- to maybe uh, buy buy a, a whole alchemist kit and uh, start making other types of potions. And uh, she also started reading some new uh, magic books, the same one, like the one Lo-Fi Boy had found in the uh, the Spirit House a few sessions previously, but also uh, picking up a few books from uh, one of the uh, the bookstores. Um, and she she's 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 learning a bunch of new spells and uh, learning a bunch of new skills. 
and she was also able to exchange her Bakoran coins that she found in the ancient mine. Oh, not the ancient mine, sorry, the ancient uh, ruined town. And uh, give exchanging, not exchanging, but giving the guild uh, the broken Kamainu statue to get that repaired. While Lo-Fi Boy uh, was able to get a refund and repurchase the jacket so he could get the 50% off that Omnius offers to adventurers. Um, and he also went to Gosuke's uh, armory to uh, get his uh, rusted dagger repaired. And while with Lo, he also bought a few books, uh, a few things um, such as sun noodles for the soup and uh, how to build a bookshelf to put this book on, which was part of a new hobby that Lo-Fi Boy is also uh, taking a gander into, uh, learning how to uh, become a carpenter and do a bit of woodworking. He also uh, damaged uh, some bookshelves as he was trying to like uh, find a book on necromancy, but like he, you can't find that in Shrey Leo. They're, they're, they're not... They're not things you, you, you find. So yeah, that is the recap of last session. Um, I'm going to go back to the party. Um, I'm going to put on the theme song and then we're going to go straight into the session. So yeah, see you guys in a half second. Before I do that, let's see what you, what you, what you guys what you guys saying. Where are we? Also, chat, if I haven't already... Um, I can, like... Um, I, I, I don't know if like it needs to be said just I, I like you guys in chat like you guys know but i think anyone new here or anyone that's lurking or anything that doesn't understand um because we're playing dnd we aren't exactly able to look at chat all the time we will try to message and respond in chat every now and then um but i am focusing on the game so i might not be 100 percent attentive but i will do my darndest and if you want me to see something very specific use the uh the highlight message channel point redemption to uh to catch my attention Low and lo-fi, more like Ed and Al. A, hey. yeah, we were talking about for Halloween. Uh, lo-fi boy and Lonika goes Ed and Alphonse. I'm not sure that was an anagram for Amaris. What? Oh, a mistress. I'm dumb. No, it's not. There's no T sound. Idiot. Sorry. <laughs> you f you did fail critically. Ye yeah. I'll see you guys in a half second. And uh, thank you for joining us, and we hope you enjoyed the session.
You're a star, Frankie. Star. Thank you. You missed it. You missed Sam saying slurpy slurp. Can you hear us now? <laughs> they can hear you guys now. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 Right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna jump straight into things. Sam, introduce yourself. Hello. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Hello, I'm Scientist Sam um, on Discord and the internet. But I'm playing Wolfy Boy, a wild magic barbarian who has emotions. Oh, he does have emotions. Going out of him, I'm a forged. Um, and here to kick some butt, but the right butts, because recently I've learned that like sometimes you try to kick things, but they they kick you hard, their back, and then it hurts, and then and then your your bard friend looks at you and cries, and then you're like no 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 wait 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 I, I don't want to be that stupid, and then and then and then yeah, so growth character growth yeah character growth. <laughs> it's been less than twenty four hours, and he's had a whole last character arc. <laughs> oh, it's been a week, sorry, my mistake. Yeah, it's been a week, my mistake. Um, yeah, just give me a second. Yeah, Georgia, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Georgia, or Lime Green Archer, slash Lime Green Artist, uh, and I play Lo Nico, and I am a 15-year-old human bard of creation, slash fire shaman. Let's Ooh, go, I've got baby. cantrips coming out of my ears now. She does. <laughs> She started reading and like now she she can do everything. Oh no boy, so got a cantrip for every day of the week. Um... <laughs> Although it's every day of the week. <laughs> I mean, eventually, probably. Mm, yeah, that's that's the goal. That's that's the end goal of that's Lonely the dream. <laughs> Lonely for level twenty. Every cant every cant cantrip, please. Where is, like cantrip, where is the please. isotope playlist? But it, oh, but it's to say we have been reading books uh, in our in that week of downtime. Uh, yes. You, 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 you should say some of the titles uh, All right. because they they are really. I know we're not gonna go over the full uh, downtime that we had to prepare off stream, but like just some of these. I actually titles, did it during the recap. You did. I did it during the recap. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember. The, but did you say the, the carpenter one? Because that, build that's a bookshelf for this bookshelf. Oh no, it's build a bookshelf yes. for this book. I also like flowers the, to towers, a history of Isotope. I do like that one. Yeah, because so. it got flowers. I'm weak for them. Yeah. I mean, we bought we bought many a thing. What was George's yeah. equivalent exchange? A guy to alchemy, I think. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. bro. Yeah. Yeah, and to those I don't know, I don't think I have actually spoke. I think I've only spoke about this like one, on one stream. Um, I do a thing where if my players read books, they will learn skills through those books, like new feats and stuff like that. And so by learning these books, they will gain after reading them for a certain amount of days. They'll uh, they'll do things and get things, while the spell ones they get straight away. But like that's either here or there. But yeah, <laughs> we're gonna. You guys ready to start the session? Yes. Excellent. So, uh. Um... Where's roll 20? <laughs> oh, uh, no, wait, that's Twitch again. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> I found it. Because I was looking at your thing and I was like, oh, how do I move my character? <laughs> <laughs> Clicking uh, on stream. Yeah, honestly. You just keep pausing and unpausing. <laughs> yeah. Uh... So, yeah, you're. You've been you're nice to tell you 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 spent like a week of downtime and like you hear a knock on the door as you can see just a few sun rays coming through the windows. Um, it wakes both. Well, Lofi, but you're already awake. Yeah. Lonico, it <clears throat> would it wake you up? I know you said you uh, Lonico's a heavy sleeper. I mean, she's a heavy sleeper, but she's also an early riser because okay. she used to get up early at the temple. So, mm. yeah, this would be around six a.m. Yeah, she'd probably be waking up. Cool. You hear the knock on the door again. I was like, no one. And you go, like, guys, go to open it. Yeah, uh, I'm like, <laughs> I don't know if you want to put on your mask, uh, Lonico, but I'm gonna go answer the door if that's okay. Oh, uh, yes, I shall put on my mask. <laughs> uh, 
and I, I go walk uh, towards the door. Um, do we have like an eye hole through the door? Yeah, there's a little peephole. As uh, you yeah, I'm gonna peep. Go on. <laughs> you you peep through the eye hole. As you're peeping through the eye hole, um, give me a second. I need to just do something. As you're peeping through that, Lonico, when you are. Uh, when you're um when you gotta put on your mask and like just look in the mirror, you you notice like at like when um before Kira and Kiko left, you remember like your one of your whiskers, uh the makeup for that it was still on. And you've not you've you you you're not sure if like if this is what well, would would Lonico know if this was makeup or not? Cause, like it's it hasn't budged in the week and a second whisker on the other side to mirror the first has also appeared. She's probably getting concerns, <laughs> um, but she doesn't know what could be causing it if it's not mm -hmm. the makeup, or she'll probably like look at it and go, maybe I need to buy new makeup. <laughs> mm. um, I don't know if there's any check you can do for why is my face <laughs> insight maybe if you want to or like um hmm. what's a makeup check? <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> oh, wait, what? Let me let me see. Oh, Yokai X Hunter is actually uh, a very good book name. I like that. Honestly, I feel like it's just a perception because it's like mm, you're how just looking well at it. you yeah. see. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look like Bob the Builder. That hurt my soul. Oh, yeah, you can't even fix it. <laughs> Not yet, but like, after he finishes his book, oh, he will yeah. be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> you, uh, your, your makeup isn't coming off. Um, That's because there's no makeup on. And you can tell, like, these, there's... When you um, it doesn't like when you when you when you go like pl uh, touch it. These, it doesn't feel like makeup. It doesn't smudge or anything, um, and it almost feels like fur, like like where the whiskers start at the starting point. Of the whiskers like it's a more airy. I guess you could say it's a very weird feeling because it's it's on your face. <laughs> yeah, you you know it's not it is not makeup. Also, I had a little, a little bit of a heckin' concern. Uh, <laughs> she doesn't really know what it's about, so I guess she'd just put on her mask and then just go to the door with no fly by. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she'll ask Yuki about it when he's next around. Yeah. When you think that, you you hear Yuki's voice. Everything okay, Lonika? Um, she. Uh, I gotta help my Kai. <laughs> she replied in the head and be like, um, "There's like um, where I usually wear my my makeup." Um, it feels... Uh, is it like bristly? I don't know. Mm. <laughs> like, um... <laughs> hmm. And it, it's like... The, well, it looks like my makeup isn't coming off, but it's not my makeup, and I'm not... Is this something that happens when you become a, a shaman? Or, um... Should I see a doctor? <laughs> you feeling poorly, or...? No, I, it's it's just not. I mean, I'm a human, so it's not really normal That's for fair. me. Yeah, I don't, I don't think humans grow whiskers. Mm. No. Lofi boy. Oh no, he can't see. Never mind. Never. Mind. You can't no, see. I know I wasn't hearing the conversation, yeah. but like. <laughs> You caught me off guard there. Sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> hmm. hmm. Maybe. Okay. Well. I mean, I personally wouldn't know. I've, I've, uh, 
I I haven't gone through through uh, shaman training myself. Shame that Hiryu isn't here and left straight away. Maybe that big fish on her head was is her spirit animal. Was has eaten her head and like it got stuck like that. Maybe that's the same thing. Like that maybe. You you can. Would you like a fox now? Does that sound? Does, does that interest you, uh, Lonika? Would I like a fox? Yeah, or ears. <laughs> Little moleskins. Uh, I mean, I I have ears already. Okay. Oh, but like mine, and he touches his. She just, you, see she just in... <laughs> you see him in in like in in your head. Him just like go play at his own. He's like my ears. Uh, I um I suppose I've, I've not really thought about it. Um, I wasn't expecting to change um hmm. physically. Oh. I it's, I'm just a bit confused. Um, That's fair. If this is normal, or if I should be worried about it. What What does your gut say? Um, My gut says I'm hungry. <laughs> but it's in the morning. So. Uh, would you like me to order any food for you in particular this morning, Yuki? I'll find something. It's okay. Thank you, though. Actually, yes, I'll... When, when you order breakfast, uh, put a plate on the side for me, thank you. Of course. Um... A, a single strawberry will do. The biggest one. <laughs> I'm, uh... Well, I guess I'll keep an eye on it. I'm not sure whether to tell Lo-Fi Boy he doesn't understand people as he is, looks... so I'm not sure. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think he would be the, the best to, to tell either. He's... I wouldn't want Very to rational. worry him. He already already started to worry when I didn't eat food mm. for a meal. <laughs> he's he's a panicky one. He is. Not to worry. I'll I'll, I... I'll ask around if I can. Oh, thank you. And you I see... suppose I'll just have to keep an eye on. It. You seem jump out of um. You like you can see like out of the corner. You seem jump. Are you still looking in the mirror out of curiosity? Uh, probably, yeah. Uh... Alright, All right, never mind. Yeah, you seem like in your where your forehead is, uh, like in the center of your forehead, you just see Yuki jump out and then just land in front of you. And then, okay, I'll be back I'll be back for before breakfast. And then you just see him just run out the door. Through the door. <laughs> oh, there's someone here at the door, by the way. You hear him shout. <laughs> <laughs> and then he runs. <laughs> She's um, just gonna put her mask on and sort of get vaguely dressed so she's not just in her pajamas. <laughs> just like put something over top of her pajamas. Mm. It's just steps before you become a shamisa. <laughs> <laughs> you keep us gone. It's not whiskers, it's actually it's strings, the, yeah. The yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Lo-fi boy, when you open the door, uh, how are you opening the door? Out of curiosity. With my hand. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Can you can you give yourself <laughs> minus thirty hit points, please? The door is a mimic. You're dead. <laughs> what do you want me to tell you? Like, How's that, like is I it look... a jar? Is it like? Oh yeah, you look no, through the peak hole. Sorry, mom's sake. Uh, mom's yeah, sake. That's you... what I'm doing. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. That's oh I'm, I'm very sorry. That's on me. Uh, my, my apologies. <laughs> you keep rubbing off on me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see this person at the door, a elven, uh, an adult uh, elf, um, with long pointed ears and a little nip out of his right ear, as if some kind of bird might have like popped. To, uh, plucked out a, a bit of skin. Uh, they have blue tealish hair that uh, looks to be very like just wet, but it isn't. It hasn't been raining, but the hair just looks to be just very wet and just like plopped onto their head. And you can see this person looking back at you with golden yellow. Well, not golden yellow, like yellowy uh, sun yellow eyes, just looking through the peephole at you as well. Um, I'm going to put the art for you on screen so you can see. 
Uh, just give me a second. I just need to rename it for a few for reasons. Actually, <laughs> uh, actually, I don't need to worry about it. It'll be fine. You see this this person? Sorry, sorry, chat. It's just opened a 3D art or 3D paint, whatever it's called. Oh, ew. I know. I, I tried that once and it like legit just crashed my computer. Oh boy. <laughs> Good. Yeah, Close it fast. Really bad. Uh, you see this person at the door. I put that on stream as well. And they're in, in chat. A elven person in a red, a flamboyant red uh, glossy uh, jacket that has... Um, like cranes uh a crane pattern all over it uh as like the uh it shimmers in the light of the um the hallway and you can see he's got a bluish uh gray scarf that like becomes like a gradient of a yellow as it trails behind him um you can see he just like tossed it over their shoulder or oh, sorry they've tossed it over their shoulder and they knock at the door again uh, just before you or they go to knock at the door just before you open it let me zoom into the beautiful patterns. Let me... Yeah, please do. Let's. There you are. The fabulous man. Look at it. I'm gonna put you guys on uh, ice toe. Look. Did you know, Sam, that this was <laughs> gonna be a character for Taz? Cause. Uh no. Cause I remember I you. I never know, Kaz. I know you, cause exactly I, you I, said. I, was it this one that you said? Cause I don't remember which. Like, I think it was for something else. This no, I said this was a commission. Yeah. Yeah, you see this this person at the door. Um and as you open the door, they 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 go to stand very properly. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what? I think that's just going to be my reaction. Just like not even hello, just seeing them. Just opens the door. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, is this um, a, a Mr. Lo-Fi Boy and a Miss Lonico? Uh, yeah, just looking back at Lonico, make sure that she's still Lonico. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, I am uh, Captain Satoshi uh, Motoge, uh, they, them. Um, could I come in or could I have a conversation with you for a moment, please? Uh, uh, uh yeah, yeah. Uh, I, uh, sh sh I guess. Um... Sure, come in, come in. Um, uh, by the way, uh, for, for me, it's uh, I know I'm a forged, but I, I use he, him. Um, Thank you. And, and Lonico, you you use she, her, correct? Uh, yes. All Thanks. right. Uh, well, well, uh, please, please, um, come in, come in, and I I open the door more. Thank you. Hmm. They haven't changed. As he just looks around the room for a second. Sorry, they look around the room for a second. And then goes to uh, a chair. Uh, may I? Uh, yeah. Uh, wait, not that one, actually. The, oh, sorry. Just, <coughs> I, I was, yeah, just... Well, just don't, don't worry about it. Just use the other one. Okay. Um, well, you you may want to sit down for this. Uh, for this. Oh. Uh, okay, wait, wait. Should I also lock the door? If you wish, I mean, I assume you don't want anyone intruding. Sure, and then I, I do that, and then <clears throat> bring the the chair that I was about to use and, and that they were about to take. Mm. And so I just I got her head tilted to the side and she's just watching lo fi <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, also, do you, do you want anything to drink? I think we have, like, just water on tap, maybe, or something. Do we have that, by the way? There, 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 there is an ensuite. <laughs> there, there is an ensuite for you guys. Okay. Um, I'm trying to find something because I can't. There we are. Ah, yes. Perfect. When yeah, when you when you you get a better chance to look at them, you can see their hair glistens as if it's wet as well, and it like just moves very animatedly as it like is on their head. Um. <laughs> I, I, yes. I, I, I get out my umbrella like, oh, like, um, do you, was it raining outside? Oh, no, no, I, I've, uh, I came out the shower. Oh, I see, I see. Well, you have nice, uh, uh shining hair, I, I guess. Thank you, I'm, I'm air drying it. 
Uh, it doesn't. Oh, okay. It's not uh, like it, it's. You you don't want to brush it when it's when it's like this. Ah uh, yeah yeah, it's better to let it dry naturally. Mm -hmm. I always I always think that. I could air dry it faster for you, and she just like holds her hands. <laughs> oh oh no 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 that, that that's very sweet of you, uh, Miss. But no no it's it's more more than more than fine. Thank you. I, I like I like the uh, okay. the feeling of like the the cold wind, as well as like I'm walking through the through with the wet with the wet hair. Okay. Um, yes, I uh, I am Captain Satoshi Motoge, um, and I'm a uh, a employee of Mister K Two Sayer, um, and we've we've uh, I've been sent to uh, as uh, an envoy and also a uh, assistant and also a a friend. Um, you 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 know of Miss Pymeri, yes? Uh, I think I would just nod. Oh, you know Miss Pymeri? Yes, um, Mister Mister uh, Mister Sayer and Pymeri, they they are actually um, they they they're planning planning the wedding, and uh, but they 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 had asked uh, me to to come uh, as a to help. Um, as as an, uh, as both an apology for uh running and skipping on on you all but also uh to help with 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 your travels because um miss primary is was was very saddened that uh, she couldn't continue venturing with you all but so i've been asked by mr sayer to come come and help oh uh, oh oh and, and are they already married or, or is it oh, no, like, no they're wait. planning the wedding it's it's tomorrow. Oh, it's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Yes. Uh, uh. So, so, uh, are you here for inviting us to the wedding? Like, oh, I'm, I'm confused. Oh no, no. I'm I'm here to help you. Uh, Miss Pymera mentioned you 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 had family in Kasakawa that you urgently wanted to meet. Uh, Mister Lofi yeah. boy. Yeah. Well, she's she's asked me to help you. Um, get there. Uh, seeing as you guys aren't having the the best time, and I, and and she, she explained it as it being a very urgent matter for you. It, it, I mean, the more we learn about the, um, and I cannot just look around. Well, and you know, the, the geopolitics. The more I feel like, yeah, the, the quicker I just get to that, the the the, the, the better it is, but. Uh, how? What kind of help? Travel. I I will be I will be um, piloting for you. I I'm I don't know if I said earlier. I'm Captain Satoshi Motoge, captain of the Red Lake. Uh, oh, so wait, what? That that's so really cool. You have a ship, Captain. I do. It's actually waiting for us. We, uh, if you, if you're ready, we, we can, we can leave as soon as you are all ready. Um, I, I actually just today. Yes. Well, this is a bit. Um, and I actually, um, you know what? Let me just uh, look through my stuff and um, because basically what I want to do here is that I want to bring out the I'm the queen feather that I have in my inventory mm -hmm. and I just want to show it to him because like if oh yes yes he... queen yeah. oh and he yeah. pulls out a feather as well she she said I should just in case bring one of these oh and she shows amazing. you both sorry they show you both uh would, would you like me to would you would you like would you like to inspect it just to make sure um I mean just you referencing queen um because I'm pretty sure Pymera usually calls Queen like Pretty Bird or things like that, so she does. It, it, Her accent makes it very difficult. But, um, yes, um, she explained this. Is, this is her Queen. Or that's was amazing. Feathers of her Queen. Um. Yeah, I guess. Um. If we can just probably, uh, figure out. Um. Wait. That means. That means our going um to Kasakawa. Well, yes, oh, whenever when, when you're ready. Um, 
Yeah, um, I just want to see by the reception first for the quest that we asked for some help with regarding the, uh, a friend of ours. Oh, I yes. just want to see if there are any updates on that before we before we leave the the adventurers guild. I want to. This isn't. Uh, this is me speaking. Um, I want to ask. Did you put in this quest with Pymera? At the time. Yes. At the time, I think Pimera. <laughs> yes, I think she was with us. I think so. Yeah. So I'm gonna and when when you mention the quest, he uh, sorry they t uh, they tip out their nose. I uh, guess so we, um, on on a technicality, I'm 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 cashing in this quest. Oh, oh, that's great news. We we almost thought no one would help. Um, He's, I, I'm sorry, not sure. Smile. I, I just gave all of my money away to the temple yesterday, though. Maybe I should have kept some for payment. Hmm. <laughs> I did say low five, but it's okay. I've got some. Um, oh. I, the quest was under my name, after all. Oh, yes, um, it was Miss, Miss Lonely Cook. He sh uh, they showed the card. <laughs> uh, Captain, if you could give us just uh, maybe at least an hour or so just to fin pack and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. get ready. Would you like breakfast? Uh, oh, is there somewhere... Oh, breakfast too would be good. Is there somewhere or if we should meet you or do, do you need want to stick around? I, or... I, could, I could meet in the canteen. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we'll make our way to the oh. airport. Yes? Uh, um, d so then um, I'm, I'm sitting the Pimera and you took on to that quest. I believe you, you then know about Rocky, right? I do. And do you have any any idea where he is? I'm sorry, I don't. But knowing knowing they're an edge, uh, they're 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 a rock genasi, I can only imagine the trouble they 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 had to go through. Mm. Okay. They look very sad when they say that, and uh, they start looking around the room as as to uh, keep away from your gaze. I guess it's not a common thing for Earth Genasi to just mm. kind of disappear like that. So, the, right. the situation with with Genasi, it's it's for lack of a better rocky. term, rocky. Yes. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, I. I guess let's go go to the canteen then, and um, uh, I, I'll actually um, oh, well, Nico, if you want, if you want to go with uh, Miss uh, with Captain Satoshi, then uh, then uh, I mean, you can start eating, and I can pack some of the things since I, I'm I'm quite fine with. Uh, with eating today. Um. Well, I'll pack up my things and finish getting dressed. <laughs> but I'll. I won't be long before I come down to the canteen, Captain. Okay. Uh, what would you like uh, for breakfast? Do you, do you prefer high protein, uh, a more 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 local uh, diet, or anything? Uh, well, I prefer pancakes. Oh, and oh. strawberries. Pancakes and Definitely strawberries. Okay, yes, noted. Um, I'm more a high protein uh, person myself. And 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 you, Mister Lofi Boy, anything I we I can get I can get you for breakfast. You can ask for any um, scraps, like um, if they're preparing strawberries, I can probably just compost a little bit of uh, the like greens of the strawberries in a little bit. Okay. They, they, uh, they, they know, things. just say it's for Lo-Fi Boy, they, they know by now what I eat. Okay, understandable. Yes, I shall, I shall see you, uh, I shall see you downstairs. Okay. And oh, then, and they thank, leave. Thank you. Uh, can I shake your hand before, mm -hmm. or? Yes, you can. Just, thank you. And I go to hug them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, they put their hand out and, do you, do you grab the hand or? Yeah, I kind of grab the hand and then I, I like kind of hug them at the 
same time, like the hug handshake yes. thing. When you go, when you go to hug them, or when you go to grab their hand, did we de did we describe that like Lofi could feel with thing with his fingers? Is yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So you can you feel their hands are very clammy and cold. Mm. It's it's a very weird feeling. Uh, and when you go to hug them, uh, you get the smell of uh, sea salt. Um, you, you assume the shampoo they 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 have is uh is a salty kind and um and they they, they kind of get like in shock when you gotta hug them oh oh, oh sorry it just it, it just means a lot that y y you you wanted to help us and that you know chimera and everything it i we just haven't heard from both of them well rocky even more but just I know, just I just meant to say thank you. Mm -hmm. Sorry if it, it they, crossed boundaries. They they pat you on the shoulder. It's it's okay. Okay, uh, thanks. Mm -hmm. Was I? Was she was her? No, I was I was just gonna ask. Did you say if Satoshi was like a Ganassi or like an elf or an elf? Yeah. An elf. They are, um, you having been someone from, um, living on the border of Kengala, uh, growing up, you've seen, like, the skin tone, and the accent they have is that of, uh, Sprinkle, so you can assume this, mm. this, this, this elf is from a Kengala. I mean, they make their way away uh, while you are making, uh, while you're packing. If if if, you, if there's nothing else you want to ask, they will go and get breakfast for you guys. Sam. Yeah, yeah they can go. They can go. Are you? I see. <laughs> I think once they're gone, Lo's just gonna like go and put her hand on Lo-Fi Boy's arm and just be like, is everything alright, Lo-Fi Boy? Uh, yeah, just, I mean, this is kind of like the, maybe it's too soon to call it a miracle, but the opportunity that we've been really, really, really looking for. So, uh, I, 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 I'm just kind of shook. And their hand was really wet, like, <laughs> almost like, no, but for real, like, my plants almost changed in the percentage of humidity and everything, like, but, oh. uh, but, um. yeah. Well, I'm sure they must have their reasons, but it seems like we'll be getting to know them. Yeah, we'll be traveling with them. Right, right. And Great. we'll have to thank Chimera next time we see her. Though For it's a sure. shame we'll be missing a wedding. Yeah. Do you think we should send a gift? Oh, right. How much money do you have left? <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, 261 gold. Low okay. five <laughs> <laughs> Next time I'm gonna. Next time I'm gonna um, not give all my money away. I guess. <laughs> I did try to tell you not to, but I know. But it was for the temple, and you're from the temple. And look, look, look at you, you, you <laughs> little like person growing up so well. Like I want to encourage that. Future Lonicos and stuff. Well, I'm sure the temples are similar, but they're probably all a little different as well. But mm. either way, 
what's done is done. Let's just get ready to go. You can have some of my gold if you want, low fi boy. Oh, no, 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 it's just for the gift. I would have contributed, but then I realized that I... I... Well, I'm on the streak again for making the right decisions, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe the captain can tell us what kind of person... <laughs> maybe the captain can tell us what kind of person Pymera's husband-to-be is. I'm... I've never bought a wedding gift before. Actually, I'm not... well... No, oh, I'm not I... sure I've ever bought a wedding gift. We can probably just give them a seat. Um, uh, uh, I don't know if it... like, I'm sure Pimera would like this. Oh, that's a good idea. Maybe we could buy, like, a, a, a nice flower pot for it, too. I, I could paint it. Oh yeah, that, that, let, let, let's go eat and do that. Mm -hmm. Pack my stuff and get dressed. <laughs> go get breakfast. <laughs> when you go down to the um, the reception, uh, <laughs> you okay? <laughs> <laughs> found it in his database. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. My I'm boy. I'm down to the fucking canteen. <laughs> when, uh, I have to say though, so, <laughs> look, your, your flower luck <laughs> is on fucking point. You guys can't see. Uh, Lo-Fi Boy has a flower uh, table that he can roll to like get a random seed. Um, and that, that's wild. Um, but yeah, when you, go, when you get down to the canteen, you can see the uh, not the canteen, sorry, the reception. The, uh, the clerk is a uh, silver dragonborn uh, woman uh, just reading a book. Uh, roll perception for me. As you guys are making your way down. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Wonderful. When you guys make your way down, you can see the book they're reading is um you can't see the tile it's obscured by the uh the giant scaled hands of uh, this dragonborn but you can see the uh the uh, the author give me a second i gotta find the note <laughs> <laughs> then uh the author um number one uh best-selling author kitsu seya and when uh, when they see you coming down, they put the book down um, and then just put it underneath the cabinet, uh, underneath the reception desk. And then they, um, oh, Miss Miss Lonico, uh, your your statue, uh, it's it's back from repair. Oh, is it is it fixed? Yes. Oh, that's amazing! Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like it just needed a bit of uh, just needed to be rewoven. It's all. And you can see that the cracks that were there are like gone, and you can see you, um, it's like being smoothed over. You can feel it's a it's a bit smaller than the one Lo-Fi Boy has. You can assume they've they've had to stretch the stone um, a bit thin, but it's figuratively it's the same thing. The Kumaina statue we're yes. talking about. Yes, the the Kumaina statue. Hers is now repaired. Um, and also. Um, when you get to the reception, you realize that like, you've, you've seen a few adventurers here and there. When they come down, they have to pay for their room every every uh, every night. You you mm. guys haven't had to pay since like you, you've been here. 
or ever since like like the week away your room hasn't like you you've never had to like pay for your room again and like, i don't know how you guys would take it but like yeah like that's that's just something you've noticed as well about uh, i say like in a low voice do you think us not paying the room like we see like a transaction happening probably at the reception when we walk by like do you think it's the temple that like is paying for us because we we gifted we made a donation um it's not usually something a temple would do mm. after all it is a donation so <laughs> i doubt they'd be giving it back to us this way right um, maybe i mean it can't be time like time is like sleeping in the in trash and everything Right. Maybe Miss Pymera made arrangements before she left? Ah, uh, maybe. I mean, if she can afford um, a captain in a wedding I'm in this economy, like... Maybe she can afford a few rooms, I don't know. Well, it seems like her husband-to-be is a bestseller. Yeah, I noticed that as well. A what, sorry? A best-selling author. Oh. Best-seller. <laughs> Look, I thought you said it called him a simp, I'm like... you, you NPC? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing listening to our conversation? You, you, sorry. You, no. You, you, you go, go back to Her husband is a No, 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 that was me IRL, I was asking. <laughs> I know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Lonico, her husband is a simp. <laughs> <laughs> Vicious mockery out here, teaching her all these words. <laughs> yeah. no, um... <laughs> we really will have to send them uh, that, that wedding gift. Uh, wait, I spaced out. What did you say? I was thinking about <laughs> the, the author again. <laughs> no, no five boys is him. Yeah. <laughs> I said we really will have to send them that wedding gift as thanks. Yeah, yeah. I'm dumb. I was trying to write down like timestamps and I was not writing the time of like how long the stream's been gone, I was writing the actual time. <laughs> Continue. I mean, uh, do I owe now, right? I yeah? Do start. I owe anything for the Kumaini statue? Or... Nope. It's it's just a uh, a service the the Adventurers Guild gives to Adventurers. Uh, just give me time. I need to quickly calculate uh, what the time was when you scared us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because. So. Uh... If anyone wants to Google it, it was the. Wait, let me find the role. Peony. Yep. Yeah, Peony. This yeah. is how you spell it. Oh, Peony. Yes. Um, peony. When you get into the canteen, um, you've been in here a while, a few times. You can see in the corner there is a band just performing uh, some, uh, some fairly upbeat, jazzy, poppy numbers as. Um, that are like trying to like just to wake up some of the adventurers and you can see some uh, some adventurers are eating breakfast some eating dinner and it's just a wide range of like people uh, and races everywhere in on these round tables uh sitting in groups um and like and like it's, it's it is a not a cacophony it's it's but it's a very restaurant -y vibe with how like the with the noise and like with people with the conversations are like you can't um distinguish what any of the like specific the conversations are that is not the noise i wanted alas i was hoping that was like people comments people speaking no it's refrigerator humming never mind <laughs> <laughs> i'm not gonna use that the refrigerators that are loud today they are. <laughs> but yeah you can uh, you you see see the um see adventures and you can see just like the staff of the uh the guild uh delivering meals and you can see very close to the door uh captain satoshi or um with a huge 
a palette of just various meats, breads, and cheeses. And um, and there's like a plate of pancakes that have been um, like with a glass uh, cover on top of it and a bowl of strawberries on the side covered and just a bowl of just um, essentially compost that is covered as well. <laughs> On the, on the same uh, table. Oh, hello. And you, uh, they, they flag you down, uh, waving, waving for you. Very excitedly wave back. <laughs> come, come. Uh, I, I assume you guys are carrying your luggage or your your, your gear and stuff. No, your luggage. How, how tall your gear. are they, by the way? They are a five seven. Ah, so they small. They small. <laughs> Everyone's tall to me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I ordered uh, everything. Hopefully, this is this is fine. Uh, and I ordered. Uh, I didn't know what you guys wanted for drinks, so I just ordered some water and a bit of apple juice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they they go back to eating. Uh, I don't need the water though. After shaking your hand, but <laughs> they look uh, at you with very like <laughs> suspicious and confused eyes. Um, what I mean is that my uh, humidity sensors are very sensitive, and oh. um, uh, if I unbalance them, some of the, well, ever since I fell into the sewer that other time, I, I just want to be more careful in the water, the, the, the amount of water that, oh. you, you know, just, mm. uh, thanks, and I just still just splash the water on myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, Lo's just gonna pick out the biggest strawberry um, in the bowl and put it like separate from the rest on her plate, probably just you know for Yuki. <laughs> As you do that, you can hear the uh, the Kitsune's uh, voice um, at the door. Excuse me, excuse me, coming through, coming through, <laughs> and you can just see him trying to get through all these adventures and waiters, and then um, jumping onto your onto the table. Hello, my Kai. I have found nothing. <laughs> and he just goes to eat the strawberry. Sorry, they go to eat the strawberry. <laughs> nothing of use. Uh, all the spirits around here are useless, so I ate them. Um, I'm joking. I'm joking. I only ate two. <laughs> and goes to eat ink for the strawberry. Lou was probably just quietly giggling to herself when he was coming over and then... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. She was probably a little bit concerned when he said he ate all the spirits. Mm. Oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's a circle of life. Circle of life. She's just going to... Sigh and eat her pancakes. <laughs> Good, well, thank you for looking, <laughs> Yuki Kai. No worries. Well, we'll find something. Well, we'll we'll figure this out. Don't you worry. I'll do my absolute darndest. And he turns to Lo-Fi Boy <laughs> <laughs> and just strolls over to him. <laughs> Hello, Lo-Fi Boy. <laughs> when when I when I feel. Roll, roll, Arcana. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Like, I got used to her, like just yeah, like you, talking you... to herself and like laughing to herself. I mean, she. Still, like, like... She now talks to him in her head, but she was laughing. Right. She was like yeah. giggling to herself out if, loud. Like, yeah, like whenever like... She, she like nods and stuff, like physically you can see her nod and stuff. Yeah, like whenever like low, lo, um, whenever Yuki is in Lonikyo's head, like you, that, that's telepathy is fine. It's only when they are present in the material plane, you have to communicate. Like you haven't learned how to communicate telepathically in that way just yet. But you can sense when you you've gotten used to it now, Lo-Fi Boy. You can sense something around you. Something's like very close to you, and like, it is like just staring at you. Very like it's like that thing. Like you know, like two people's heads like touch like each other and like they're looking at each other like um it's like a really weird perspective of someone's face that's the you yeah. keep on you wow. and you can, you can you can feel this presence on you 
these three eyes looking at you intently. I would know that it's Yuki by now, right? Because, like, Lomiko would have told me. Like, like, oh, probably actually I would just start to like, go, hey, hey, is Yuki nearby? I, I, like, I feel like he's doing something again. Uh, oh, yes, he's just having breakfast. Oh, has someone oh, become aware? Uh, he's got new eyes and now he can see me. Can okay, you... okay. Is he doing any mischief again? Oh, no, You see no, him put he... his hand uh, or their hand on Lo-Fi Boy's eye and just starts tapping it. Can you see me? <laughs> Hello? He's, um, he's just curious if you can see him. Oh, um, I guess I, I squint and... <laughs> or something. I, I, I don't know, like... Uh, with one eye, I try to see through my closed eye, and with the other one, I just squint. Like, not sure. Roll perception. Where... Yeah. Lo's <laughs> just trying not to laugh really loudly. She's just mm. giggling. When, with that perception, you can, like, when you squint, you can just see the silhouette of something fiery and animal like just in front of you and you can see you can feel this like presence on like tapping at your eye uh, your I flowers you. seem to be like almost in tune oh mm. you can see me now and he goes up to his ear but can you hear me <laughs> and then when he goes up to my ear I'm like ah oh, he's gone like oh well back to eating maybe we'll <laughs> need to go into another bin and find an ear for you <laughs> No, poor Lo Lo is, boy. Lo is just trying really hard to like, you know, when you try and hold in a laugh, but you just end up kind of like snoring. <laughs> <laughs> she's That's just doing that while head. she's trying to eat her pancake. When Yuki turns to you, up. Yuki smiles. I wonder if this friend of yours here. And he, uh, they walk over to uh, Satoshi. What about them? And it looks very curiously. Uh, oh, that's Captain Satoshi. Mm, Captain, and you and he goes up to uh, Yuki goes to uh, do like a sit up salute. <laughs> Hello, Captain. <laughs> and you, uh, you see? No, nothing happens. Sorry. Continue. He's got he's got a big meal. Sorry, they've got a big meal. My mistake. And he goes oh, to eat some see. of the chicken. <laughs> they seem to like protein. <laughs> well, you want to. I was just gonna you like side protein a to, be, because... to be a hot adventurer. <laughs> and Satoshi then also says the exact same thing. <laughs> a high protein diet is uh, good for adventuring, good for muscle growth. And he shows you. Sorry, they show you like they they, they flex, but like they like <laughs> the the jacket is very restricting. <laughs> Oh no. I mean, should you Yuki's tell him also or should flexing. I tell him? Yuki's also flexing. I mean, Satoshi, with all respect you being a captain and all, like, you. Do you. Do you want to do an arm wrestling contest? See if protein is really, you know, <laughs> is a it? huge deal on this. <laughs> yeah. No, Nico just did like a little like clap <laughs> when they both flexed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Love Boy Boy wants an arm wrestle. And then Yuki goes to put their arm out lying on the table. Because like they can't, <laughs> they're like too small to like. <laughs> they can see they're going to lie on the table. But then still, okay, okay. I'll, we, can, we, can, we, can have a, we can have an arm wrestle. Okay, okay, let, let, let's just move it aside and not, mm -hmm. not, not be in the way of the food, okay? Are you, uh, do, uh, are you a gambling man out of curiosity? If I had any money, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I don't. Mm. Anyways, I just wanna, you know, pull... this is more a test of, like, will, of, like, okay. trend versus... Uh, I mean, protein versus whatever, uh, like, Compost. matter, matter, 
against protein? I don't know, man. <laughs> okay. All right. Um. They put their arm up. They take off their jacket and they're wearing a the the t shirt. The, um, underneath they're wearing a long sleeved uh, yellow gray uh, shirt. Okay. And they uh, they reach out. Uh, funeral strength for me. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. Jesus. Poor guy. <laughs> when you both. When you're you're you 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 both have a grip and are ready and you you start, you like Satoshi gives like the most pathetic, just like attempt to move your arm and you can see him <laughs> straining, and Yuki is uh, there watching, realizing that like uh, they can't see him, so like uh, he isn't involved in the arm wrestle, but he's just there playing and like he's just pushing at their hands. <laughs> And um, Satoshi's attempting and just pushing against. But then, um, in, in, in that moment, Low Fiber, what do you do when uh, against Satoshi's pathetic strength? Um, or puny strength? I guess I, I kind of just wipe my hand off. I'm like, yeah, maybe, maybe... Maybe you should eat more than just protein. I, 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 I actually, I, I, I learned that like uh, 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 other types of entities, they, they need uh, like a very balanced uh, uh, like life uh, nutrients and stuff. It's kind of, we're kind of like all plants. I don't know if you knew. So, so maybe that, maybe you're, you know. I mean, yeah, like, I, I, I eat a salad every now and then. A balanced yeah. diet is very important, you know. She says as she just eats this big plate of sweets. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should share both of your food, or or have some of mine. I bet. <laughs> Yuki, oh no, uh, no, 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 thank you. Ooh. And uh, Yuki, uh, sorry, Satoshi's like, no, thank you. Yuki, however, is like, don't mind if I do. <laughs> Walks over and then starts eating at the spirits that are like wafting out of the compass. But yeah, is there anything else you want to do at like your at your breakfast meal or is he just just vibing? Not just vibing. Yuki still is just there teasing as whenever he gets a chance. But he's uh, mostly digging into Lo-Fi Boy's uh bowl of compost. <laughs> you I would have also known it was prestigitated so that there was no like smell coming from it by one of the waiters. Um Oh yeah, I mean it's just the this vegetable scraps that are yeah, just in case the ones that like are looking less less fresh. I was trying to worse for where was the word I was looking for. But yeah, um, it's, it's kind of like cheese, right? Or 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 any strong flavored of things. I, I'm thinking like is that how you explaining to... it to them? Or are you explaining it yeah, to me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because like I probably saw their face of disgust for like my wanting to share my food or something mm. and like yeah you know just you get you just get used to it like it's an acquired taste yuki uh sitting in with his uh taking taking their face out of the bowl of uh the compost and turns to satoshi as well and you notice uh Loniko, he has a pipe now yes it's uh it's quite an acquired taste but when you've uh when you're a bit more Refined like me and my fellow love pipe boy here, you you might enjoy the taste of trash. Lo's just gonna like look over at Lo Fiber. Like Yuki appreciates the offer though. He's enjoying it, Lo Fiber. Oh nice. Th thanks, Yuki. So Toshi's just you. nodding as well. <laughs> you can see he's oh. sorry, go on you go on Sam. Does Satoshi know who Yuki is? Yeah, like when <laughs> when you mention Yuki, like Satoshi is like just looking at you the more confused like, hmm. Maybe I I shouldn't have accepted this quest full of crazy people. <laughs> oh no oh, no no um, Uh <laughs> Captain, um I uh see I um well I I became uh, a shaman um 
not too long ago. And uh, when I did, I um, bonded with a, a Kitsune spirit um, called Yuki. Um, and I can see spirits and all the rest of it. So um, he's here, but I, only I can see him here. Him? <laughs> She's just going to like oh, put her hands up in like a shrug motion. <laughs> That's correct. And then when you, um, yeah, they, 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 uh, Satoshi's, um, expression still is con concerned, but like, is when you explain it a bit more clear, uh, clearer, right? they're, even with your confusion, they're still like, well, I mean, I can't, I can't do nothing about it like this. They seem nice enough. And like, there isn't this. <laughs> Adventure is all like a weird in, in a little way. So it's not nothing new in that sense. Um, yeah, yeah, like your wet hands. Uh, 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 I told you I came uh, from the shower. I'll have you. I'm know. sorry. I'm sorry. Just when we were doing the arm wrestling, it, it, I I meant to say that in my head. I, I I just because you know, like when you have a filter like this for voice, it, sometimes the pathway of like if is it gonna stay inside of me or come out? I. I maybe maybe I need to work on that. I, I don't know. I'm sorry. When you're saying that, Yuki sticks his head, or their head, sorry, into uh, Lohai Boy's body, and you can hear echoing through the metal chambers, uh, Lo Nico, and you can hear very faintly, Lohai Boy. He's right. He's right. He doesn't have a filter. <laughs> and then sticks sticks their head out. You hear, you hear this very weird voice that you've never heard before, um, Lo-Fi Boy, for a moment. But you see Logan Nico laughing, so you can only assume that is Yuki. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the story, Logan Nico. And they trot over to you, and then they jump back into your forehead. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, if, and if that's all uh, from your meal. Um, you guys spend about like an hour and a half in here, so it's about like a half seven. Um, and the light of the sun is uh, finally coming up, and like the the clouds are cracking gold um, and orange. Come, let's let's head to the airport then. Okay, let's go. And making your way uh, through Isoto, it's you following Satoshi. They're like they're walking through the main roads. Uh, they have a very enthusiastic quick pace as like they're just following the main road and like they don't really like stop uh like only every now and then just to uh, check to cross the road and making sure that you guys are behind them and then just can't following the main road towards the uh the airport which i shall describe to you when i open my notes because i closed it by accident wonderful so yeah the airport is a large tower building and it looks to me like the base of it is huge um and it, like it's one big building that like kind of has um the outside of it is like it's there's like you can see there's various floors and like as it gets higher there's like these landing docks uh and like landing strips above uh that tower upwards and you can't see the the ceiling of this but you can see a bunch of airships like blimps uh, winged boats and um, things like giant ships with propellers uh, like docking into place and some of them like making their way out of the sea and like the noise is even though they're quite high up and there is like you can tell like there's some magical like um, presence that like quietens the noise to like make it a bit more bearable the noise is still very present and a lot of the building is glass as it goes up and you can see it looks like a dragon that like kind of coils around this giant tower, uh, reaching to the top. Isotope Airport. You you have your paperwork, correct? Uh, what, uh, you mean in terms of like, what do you mean? I mean just identification, passport. Um. 
yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure I have, uh, we, we all have our... You must do, uh, I think Miss Pymera told me about the trouble you had at the gates. Um, so, yeah, I think you, you, sh you should be I fine mean, now. Our Adventurers League uh, license should cover for for travel and identification purposes, usually. correct? Usually it's fine. Um, but I'm, like... I, I mean, you, you have your verif verification codes, correct? Like, as, as, a, as a forged? Uh, we should have asked. Yep. I should have asked that the, before we left, to be fair. Oh, uh, no, no, that's, uh, it's a very, it's a, no, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. I, it's still, the, I, I clean it from time to time, make sure it, uh, you know, Perfect. it doesn't get too. And what about you, uh, Miss Lonika? You, you have your papers, correct? I believe, um. Mm -hmm. Your your guardian should have them as he looks at oh, sorry, they look at Lo-Fi Boy. Uh yeah, definitely <laughs> have them somewhere around here. Uh, just opening like different like uh like compartments of my body, uh You would have them. I don't know if like Lonika would have like because Pimera had them last. Uh she did yeah. leave them on her bed. Um so like they're, they're not on my inventory, but I you figured that it is yeah. traveling yeah. thing I would yeah, yeah. Have, yeah. Stepping in, um the smell of the uh the air is very sterile and like cool. And like there's like elevators and escalators that like go up to like next floor so you can see a bunch of like just different like uh, docking points and um tills with people lining up and like it's it is very noisy in here. Uh, and not from the airships this time. It's from people uh, looking to like uh, that are booking the holidays or like preparing travel. And some people are like, um, you can hear like there's like you can see the advertisements for various airships. Some of them look to be like uh, commercial uh, lines to like for holidays. Some of them are just for like traveling through the mainland of Shrey Leo. Some of them are to go to like other places like Halakis and Ranslak. Um And uh, Satoshi's like, oh, we we have a, a private uh, a private airship. So just follow me, and I'll. As long as you stick with me, we'll, we'll, we'll make our way up. That's, And you guys make your way to an elevator. And... As you guys ding... Uh, and uh, as you guys, like, are feeling... Like, it's... You, I, I imagine Lofa and Lonely have never been in... Oh, no, you guys have, I lie. Because the tower up to uh, the castle was an elevator. So, like, this is the continent. Right. You're, like, looking down on the sea. And when you are going through the elevator, there's a radio. Uh, and you can hear like the news um, on the radio amongst a bit of pop music uh, as as um, as you're traveling. Uh, just give me a second. Um, and like the the specifically the the news you hear is about um, those giant uh, statues. Oh, not statues. Sorry, those giant mechs that were making their way towards Kasakawa and mentions of that those uh, those mechs. Um, although had spooked the civilians and citizens and tourists of Isoto, uh, they have been um, declared a part of Isoto, like a protection towards Isoto, and have been sent by the Kasakawa uh, Mecha Factory as a um, as part of the uh, the guard of the uh, the city, and so it's nothing to be concerned about, and they have been uh, taken care of and taken out of the uh, the waters. And uh, put into put into position to protect the city where they need to be. And uh, there's also you hear, and also you hear like there's mentions that like one of these is also going to be sent to uh, Funaha, um, and that uh, the the local governments of Isoto, Funaha, and uh, Kasakawa had all sent their own separate investigation teams to check on these these mechs, but like. Uh, through like the various channels they've learned that this is uh, protection for Isotope. And other bit of uh, new. How do you guys react to that news, actually? I wanna, I'm curious. I guess there's a sense of. Uh, at first, nervousness when they start talking about it because the vibe that when we first saw it out in the distance was uh very intimidating but i guess there's a sense of relief knowing that like they're meant for protection but still uncertainty because it feels like it's um it's 
so remembering how intimidating they were, I kind of don't want to be around when they are needed. <laughs> yeah, so this is um, Gonga puts and you get you get the chance to see over the wall of the city to see the uh, the waters and see they're gone. Uh, you can and you can see looming over the distance of the western coast. You can see the mountains of Kasakawa and uh, the the faintest sign of the city Otani, which is like um, which is uh, a city similar to Isoto. Uh, you um, you can see some of the lights and some of the towers just very faintly in the distance um, through all like the fog, and and you also hear some more news. Strange occurrences in, uh, have happened near Taka uh, Takahashi Temple recently, where a large group of children and priests had gone missing. A group of passing adventurers had come to the rescue and brought them back, but in the process they had discovered a strange magical anomaly. With a crack team of experts, Professor Yuri Katsuki, head conjuration wizard of Iso, has been examining the events and they believe they have fixed the issue. You also hear. I turn towards little Nico. Hello, Nico, did you hear that? Yes, yes, I did. That means... That's, that's good. It means Pimera did it. And you mean Lucera? Uh, Pimera, I mean Lucera, <laughs> I mean, what am I saying? Oh, shit. Sorry, I actually clicked the wrong scene. I, I moved us from Roll20 to uh, the VRV screen by accident. But yeah, um... Oh, it so it's all, it's all good now. Um, but yeah, uh, continue, sorry. I hope Lacerre is okay. Right. They just said it was successful, but they haven't mentioned anything more. I didn't mean to do what I just but did. But if they believe they fixed it, that's, that's good. That's weird, though. I wonder how they achieved that. Because... Remember when we were in, and I just told my voice, in ancient Aesero, um, when, wasn't there like a... When you <laughs> whisper, because you're in the elevator with a few people and Satoshi, when you start whispering, Satoshi is going to try and eavesdrop. Yeah, for sure. Will you want to like have them not listen, or are you willing to like let them Yeah, listen? I'm trying to be sneaky. Alright, roll stealth for me. You are whisper quiet. Lonico is. I'd imagine uh, with like no Lacera's involved, like there's a bit of excitement. Mm. So like you're like trying to contain yourself, but you are every now and then slipping a slipping a bit in your whispers. She's also a little sad. Oh. Why so? Just because, like... Because it just reminds her of, like, the fact that Lacera had to leave and that she doesn't know, like, how she is and hasn't heard from her since and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. We can probably just... I, I mean, so, in regards to... Uh, there seems to be more than just one type of um situation Com you know like when we were down there like there with a basket hack it could also open holes or create situations like that right right do you think the professor knows about that sort of thing I mean, to be fair, they, with having dealt with it, maybe they've learned more than what we know. If they were able to close it and everything, I think they should be okay with like identifying further situations and and places yeah. like that. Yeah, I'm. Yes, I'm sure that's that's the case. And, and you know, Loniko, like, mm -hmm. thanks for coming along with me here for a 
us heading towards the Kasakawa, but I just want to say if you ever feel like like we should go back or or to the Sera sometime, some point, just <laughs> we, let me know. Thank you. I bet we we should keep moving forward. We have mm. to keep going. Yeah. Should be okay. I, I think so as well. And as you say that, the elevator stops. And like it's, it's been stopping every now and then, but like this time Satoshi like pats you guys on the shoulders. This is our this is our floor. Oh. Come, come. And I'm gonna show you guys a handout. As you step into this room, you can see in front of you is a giant window and like there's paneling um, on the windows. Give me a second location of hand marks. Yeah. Show to players. There we are. It'll do the thing that yeah, I, think yeah. I didn't want it to do. That. So I'm going to put it on screen. No, it's okay. I'm going to put it on screen for chat so they can see um, a better look at it. Um. Yeah, you guys should be able to see it. So yeah, looking in front of you, you can see this giant window. And like through the window, you can see amongst the the clouds and just the uh, shine of the sun, you can see this giant airship uh, with four like pagoda-like towers on it that like are like um, in the corners. And like it's, it's almost like a building on top of a boat with a giant, like, parts of machinery, uh, like, melded onto this red lacquered wood uh, with, like, pro uh, propeller uh, fans on the side that look to be suspending the ship. That's... That's our ride. That's the Red, that's the red Laker. As I'm gonna do this... Could you remind us as players, um, what does Leiko mean in Shirileo? It is the four-winged crane that is forever hungry. Ah, uh, yeah! <laughs> it, it's the one that we met, uh, yes, like, you, you next to the shrine, right? Yes. Those exact that's ones. So, that's cool. I'm just gonna make the put the hand out on screen for chat. That was in the second episode of, uh... Was it second? Right. I think yeah, so. Yeah, because the first one, uh, we were just next to it, and then the second one, we ah, yes, yes, actually... Let's do this. Yeah, so yeah, this is what you see, and you can see a bunch of people, like, a lot of people are sleeping, as it is... It's it's late. I mean, not late, sorry, it's very early for some people. Um, and some people are, like, rushing and moving their luggage. Um, and... Satoshi hasn't stopped. Satoshi is like, uh, you can hear their healed boots uh, on the tiles and like come let's go and you can see like on the uh, the railings of the windows and stuff you can see like the dragon motif is still very present we can also see um in carved into some of like the uh, the motif and the decorations of this of the airport uh, the walls and the um the furniture you can see koi fish uh, and um floral patterns and uh, lily pad patterns um and you can assume this is uh, you, uh, Lo-Fi Boy, having skimmed through uh, towers and flowers. You assume this is to do with the history of Iso, the the koi fish being um, a a symbol to the Bakoran when they first found uh, Isoto. I'm gonna do this. Make a bit more. There we are. So yeah, and um, Satoshi guides you to a door and leading out onto a uh, a, uh, a walkway. That is has a few railings, but when you step out, you are very high up, and I can imagine it's very scary uh, for Lone Nico and Lo-Fi Boy having be being this high up and like almost you feel like there's like if this were to fall, you'd just you would collapse and like you would like you would fall right down to the ground of Ice Toe, and Satoshi sees sees your anxieties and you feel come. It's okay. And they, they reach out their hand um, uh, to you, Lonico, seeing you're especially uh, dazed by this. <laughs> it's okay. 
I will gratefully take the hand and Come. hold on. <laughs> when you go to hold it, you, you feel the same clammy feeling that Lo-Fi Boy felt when uh, when he had um, held uh, held Satoshi's hand. And a lot of, a lot of people, would you like to hold Satoshi's hand as well as? As it, uh... Uh, I would just probably be nearby with, like, retracting some flowers so that they catch a bit less in the wind. But, mm -hmm. but that's it. Come, cool. and guide you to the red lake. Or there's a walkway on it that like leads up to the deck. And I'm gonna move you guys to a new map. As you guys step onto the the wooden uh, platform, you guys are on the deck here, and you can see like oh, looking down into the room, um, the through the glass, you can see uh, what looks to be a common room, um, and like but like looking uh, walking if you were to step up and follow the ladders, you can see there is a. Um, the, the wheel uh, that Satoshi uh, naturally goes towards when they um, when they step on the airship um, and start preparing to wheel and they uh, guide you towards the tables and uh, offer a seat. That's I'm gonna put you guys you want down. Us to drag ourselves. Or... There oh, you are. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you 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 can all look around at the um, this. Um, you can make yourselves at home. Um, I've got a sort of few paperwork and things out here and there, but then we will be ready to leave. Uh, uh, I'm gonna just do uh, this, and yeah, you can like just when you are on the Laco, you feel a sense of home and just safety compared to that walkway that you were just on. It still is terrifying being being suspended over the air but like you can see there's it's feels very secure and you guys like like if you move across the map you can see there is the different floors like um you can see the pagoda like rooms so you can't access those through the through this you'd have to go downstairs through the the hatch there in the back um making your way down you'd, you'd get into uh the common room and the kitchen let me actually walk over there yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Come on, Lonico. Let, let, let's let's explore a little bit. Satoshi comes with you as well. You'd have to go. Uh, you have to walk down uh, the stairs. Um, don't mind the crates as well. Sorry, it's we've. There's a few things we're moving and shipping and uh, moving about. The city looks amazing from here as well. Hmm. Every city of this high is. Always a treat. So I told you she says very proudly. When we come down to the, the, the hatch, we we appear. You appear. You appear. You come like there'd be stairs going down. Ah, I see. I see. So it's a hatch for the stairs. Yeah, and like when you look in the stairs, um, I don't think I have to that. Yeah, excellent. The this room is the kitchen, and you can smell just like there's um the bit of the smoke and like. You can see through through a bit of the fire. You can see there's like a hatch where the smoke gets pulled. Instead of going upwards, it goes down. And you can see around just like a clutter of... Uh, like this is, It's almost like a pantry and kitchen in one. Um, if, if you if you ever feel like you need, want to cook or anything, we, we, we can sort that here. There's the oven, obviously. We have all the... Um, we have the essentials, flour, rice... Um, we can we can collect water when we uh, th that barrel there has got water, um, and we can we can we can collect uh, water if we need to. Um, be careful of these, by the way. Uh, he points to these um, these uh, walkways. Um, while we're in flight, uh, be careful if uh, you need to go through these. Uh, please make sure we're not uh, they're not already twisted. Um, there is a gravity lock on them, so that, like you're not like it ain't gonna be too weird if you've already gone through them um but like during flight they do twist uh, as you you might not have noticed uh, the towers have um jet engines underneath them and they're used to propel forward as well and these t tunnels will twist if we need to gain more speed i see that makes sense 
it is, it is very the direction we want to be in, yes. right? Yeah, it's very, it's very confusing me uh, me mechanics, but like it, it works. Um, but we, you, you can, t you can take the, uh, the, you can go up the towers. You can make yourselves at home. Um, we have a guest room because I believe that, like, when we, uh, when, as as this would be your home, um, when you you do have Rocky, uh, there will be a room for Rocky. And if you have any guests as well, uh, if you want to go up the oh. towers, you can. And they walk. Oh. Do I have to crouch to go through the tunnel? Nope. It's a it's a uh, eight foot high. <laughs> yeah and like the so we haven't there's no furniture obviously there's just uh, the the bed and the shelving and the um nothing fancy but when when you get a chance you can make this make this a home and like you oh. like you'd go to uh this side so you like as you go up you you you'd move through the ship uh map if that makes sense so you'd move back onto the uh the deck level and when you want to go up again, you'd move over to the top level, which is this one. Oh. I've got to move you to the other side, because, like, if I do this, because you, you you came through this one. It's it's very small and cramped and cozy, but, like, it, you can make your own with, with these rooms. So, so what you were saying is that there was some... Um gravity adjustments made in within each of these towers so even if you change the orientation for a better maneuvering of the ship things should stay um upright correct yes yeah everything will be fine um when you're in them but like be careful when you're if you're walking through them through through right. between, between the rooms especially in the tunnel yes uh, it does take some getting used to on the first time, but hopefully, like the, this is this is, the, the the rooms are. I know the the adventures the adventures roots rooms are a lot more lavish and a lot more. And although, like Mister Mister Sayers, um, is very deep pocketed, the um, he never did have find uh, find the time to to furnish uh, the, these rooms to 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 a certain degree. And also, we wanted a. Uh, keep 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 on note that like you are the these will be your room so you you're allowed to make them make them as you see fit oh. and sorry go on. right uh mm, nah, this, is, this is a player moment but i believe basically we would have like sent the gift on its way before us leaving the city right yeah, you can you can tell Mr. Saya and like they can like I mean not Mr. Saya, you can tell uh Satoshi. And they can like I mean there are post offices or in like every city. So you could also like post it like that. Right. Um Before we leave, uh or wait. Hmm? Can we just say that it's already been done <laughs> or do you want us to have the conversation now? <laughs> I'm curious what the conversation would be. Okay, um, okay. But like we could have had it be like if you want us like if you want us to rewind a bit we could have uh, if you wanted to go to the shops while walking to the airport you would have had the time. Right. Um. Honestly, I forgot. So I'm just gonna have the conversation now because it's more natural to just the the pacing that we're at. But, oh 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 oh, uh, Captain uh, mm -hmm. Satoshi. Um. Though. Um, you, you, you spoke of uh, Mr. Saya, so... Yes, but we... Bef uh, before yeah. we get into the conversation, we are going to take a quick break. I'm very sorry. I, I, I just, yeah, I just saw I just saw the message. <sighs> no worries. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, we're going to take, uh, we're going to take about five, ten minutes, a break, um, and we'll be back okay. in a bit, in a bit, uh, <laughs> in about uh, five, ten minutes. Um, if you've been enjoying the session and have been hanging out, Thank you. We hope you're enjoying uh, what's happening so far. I'm going to just drop the links to the Discord and um, my art. If you enjoy the art that's been on stream, um, most of like, the maps and the character art are done by... I mean, sorry, the token art and the handout art and um, the character art is done by me. But if you enjoy the map art, uh, that's done by 2 Minute Tabletop. Go check out Ross. They do some wonderful stuff. Him and his, uh, his team do wonderful stuff. 
Um, I'm just saying before you... before you 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 call it the the break. I just want I'm kind of holding back about to cry because this is really cool. I'm waiting until we see the whole thing to then really cry. But but this is really hype, Kaz. You're you're, you're an amazing <laughs> DM. This is really 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 cool. I'm glad you're enjoying the airship. But yeah, see you guys in a hot second. We'll be right back. Shine a light through a prison full spectrum Pull the curtains back, you in my dimension Lay back and just forget the Star brain in a two star town, and I'ma give it back when I have enough money in my hands, enough for the friends and the fam. And I owe it all to Yahweh. Lord knows that I couldn't do it my way. Almost bought a ticket for the fast lane. Now I'm hopping on a flight to the Epiglades to forget the pressure. i
Bonsoir, everyone. Welcome back. I thought my camera was on just then for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Hello. I'm, I'm going to start this playlist again because it's I, I like the winds and waves. It's, it's, a, it's a good playlist. Also, I can't, oh, I can't hear the music. I'll start again in a second. Actually, no, I'll, yeah, I will. Um, so yeah, go on. Uh, what did you want to ask Slow White Boy? Oh, yeah, I was just saying, like, um, the, 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 basically, one thing that we could potentially do, uh, since Don Nico now has a painting supplies, is, um, and that I have, a uh, carpenter's, uh, tools, is I could frame some of Don Nico's paintings. And Lonico could like paint uh, each of the bedrooms and infuse it with like crushed purple Shiseki teleportation stones so that it creates little portals in between each of the rooms that we can just walk through. Did you just say crushed teleportation Shiseki stones? Yeah. So you would you would have wanted to get this from one of the shops. So let's see how much I mean, that would cost. I I'm just saying, I think that's, I don't, I feel like teleportation is a big thing, so, it is, I don't think that's like, yeah, no, I was gonna say, it's, 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 a, it's, it's up the level wise, uh, it's, uh, it, it, this is long term, seventh speaking. level, <laughs> <laughs> you, you want my, you want my teleportation, <laughs> I mean, with my zero dollars, sure, I mean, you are able to buy gemstones, and like you can, you can put like gemstones in, and, like. Um, in the future, guys. In the future. future. Oh, so it's, it's not for now. Oh, yeah. so it's not for now. So you just said you wanted like, so uh, all right, well, all right. Tell me the whole thing again. That like in 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 the, in the moment, because like, I'm confused. This, now. this was this this was a separate matter. This is this is uh, Lo-Fi boy, thinking, thinking. <laughs> yeah, this, this, yeah, it's when I said like, oh, we should like do uh, a fishing rod to catch Keiko with yada yada, and I was saying, oh, we should have teleportation paintings to teleport from room to room. This is the same. Ah, like a dimension door. I guess that's what it is. I don't know. Yeah. Or like mm. permanent. Is that what a dimension door is? I mean, you could make it permanent. I love it. We could, we could uh, talk like dimension painting. Basically. Yeah, exactly. Like it's in imbued uh, magical ink. So, yeah. what you, so what are you telling Satoshi in the moment? <laughs> <laughs> oh, ah, uh, right. The flower pot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right, the flower pot. Sorry, uh, kind of like spaced out here for a good uh, five to ten minutes. Um, and then talked about something random. Yeah. Uh, sorry, there. You confused uh, Satoshi. He's very confused. Sorry, they're confused. Yeah. Um, confused. back on track. Um, what was it that we we're talking about? Oh yeah. The, pie, pie. The, the... <laughs> you are a mess. Captain <laughs> oh. <laughs> Satoshi. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> we like to send. Uh, Miss Pymel uh, uh, a wedding gift oh. um, of a flower in a, in a flower pot. Um, oh, that's, that sounds lovely. When will we, will we be able to send this? Hmm. You, Kasaka, where did you? Otani probably is where we're going to port. Um, they'll have a post office. Every city's got a post office. Okay, uh, let me, let's check our map. And he grabs, uh, sorry, they uh, they pull up the hatch and grab onto the ladder and then they just slide down without like holding onto the <laughs> rails and they just slide down it. Damn, um, that's so cool. <laughs> and they look off yeah. through the hatch. Come, let's go. Come, let's let's look at the map. Okay. Can I try and do that? <laughs> yes, you can. Roll for me. Um, athletics or acrobatics? Do a have you seen Luca? <laughs> no. Oh, uh, there's there's, there's oh. a bit where one of the kids does like a cartwheel, but like you know how kids cartwheel and they don't even like yeah. raise their body halfway. I'm just imagining yeah. Loniko is like the least like a like acrobatic person on the planet, and she's, she's like very acrobatic. No, exactly, she is. It says there, but like, in my head, it was just like just the funniest thing. 
24, you are perfect. You slide down, almost mimicking Satoshi, and he gives a little. They give a little cheer at the end. Well done. Your turn, little boy. To dance with the Sarah. Okay. Mm. It just, it just, uh, because I'm quite heavy. Just make sure I don't. You're not right underneath me. Um, I'm gonna try. Stand back, Lonico. <laughs> He's <Yes>. very heavy. <laughs> That's probably a good idea. He just falls. <laughs> you, you, you think you think it's it's fine, but it's not fine. And like you just plummet and crash onto the next floor because the hatch was closed to stop you from going through to the next floor. Imagine myself like like bending down and like diving. <laughs> oh no, the hatch really. <laughs> Yeah, you try to die. You were just like holding on with your hands, and your legs were just completely pencil straight, <laughs> and you just dropped. Yeah, like a bullet. <laughs> you, so yeah, the hatch was actually undone, so you would have had like landed right at the bottom, so you would have taken a bit of fall damage. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Eight, uh... So I'm gonna say like in between each floor is 15 feet, so that's two floors you've fallen. Not two, sorry, three floors. <laughs> My boy dies. <laughs> <laughs> you take seven fall damage as you just hit hit the ground. Hilarious. You know, we should really secure the ground floor with a bit of uh, padding. Oh, uh, it is. It is. Like you, like, you create, like, a dent in the wood, but you can see through it. You The sound of metal clunking underneath. Oh, yeah, the, the engines are below this. For, like, the, the towers have their own separate engines I mentioned earlier. I'm just saying, like, if we fall, like, I don't know, well, I can't sleepwalk because I don't do the sleeping part, but if anyone were to sleepwalk and fall, that would be dangerous, That would be, right? yes. But Loniko seems very capable of, like, using... Good thing I don't you're, sleep, then. You're, <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're good with ladders, aren't you, Loniko? Oh, yes, and um, maybe you should go down the... Uh, normally, no fiber. Yeah, Next like that's what, that's what the rungs are for. You don't need to slide down. In my defense, okay. I shouldn't have asked you to slide down. That's my fault. But come, let's go. Uh, it's okay. It's the, li the living room. Where's that? They guide you back into the kitchen. Give me a second. As you just like, <laughs> walk on ahead. Guide you back to the kitchen. And opening the door, you... Get a very stuffy, incense-y smell, but then also the smell of books. As lining the walls are right to the ceiling of this room are bookshelves. And you can see pillows, rugs, and just um, cushioned sofas everywhere. And like, it's... Uh, Mr. Satoshi, it was... Did enjoy the bohemian uh, aesthetic. <clears throat> You want to roll an uh, investigation <laughs> for that? Like mm. they, they did seem like a match made in the heavens. Uh... Yes. Uh, you can, like, on above... I can't hear you. Give me a second. Uh, but he points to the ceiling and mentions there is... So that's obviously the skylight, but you can point to the sides. And there's small little windows that you guys can, like, look through that give a bit of uh, light. And, like, you can see down into the city from there. I cannot hear anything. Give me a second. Perfect. All right, I can hear you guys now. <laughs> yeah. So it points to the, the 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 windows that you guys can see down through the city. Just be careful if you are afraid of heights. It's it can it can be a shock, but you'll get used to it. Uh, Mr. Sayer, like, carried a, as, as a, uh, as a author of fiction, they, there's many a book, uh, here, um, for, that they used for inspiration. Most of them are fiction as well, but there's, you might find a, a handful of, uh, non-fiction about things here and there. They all seem to be very obscure, uh, when he was researching for a very specific topic. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Huh. 
Can I look if there's any necromancy books? Roll investigation. <laughs> I was holding back. I know you were. Now you've opened the door, so I'm. You could say I've opened in. the book. Uh, I read through Turn the line. page. <laughs> Dang. As you're flicking through the books and looking through all of them, um, you do. There is a bit of a struggle with your uh, with your twelve investigation, but you do pick up one book that mentions uh, about the magics of Shirelio and the magics and the darker side of things. And they, um, I haven't got a tile for you yet. I'll think of something clever very soon. Um, yeah. <laughs> but as he does that, or as you do that, Lo-Fi boy, you pick up the book. You see Satoshi go to the center of the map. I mean, uh, the the room, and you see this compassy device at the heart of the table uh, next to this radio and they spin the compass alone you see, you see them spinning it and as it spins and ends up pointing north it stops for a second and it like creates a projection of the uh the map of Hyde eo or the like the local area of Hyde or just around you guys i'll put you guys to the world oh. for a second it, it doesn't show rocky We'll put Rocky over here. <laughs> it just kind of shows you, like, if I do this around you, Lonico. I don't think 30 miles will be a good 100 mile radius. Yeah, it gives you a 100 mile radius of, like, the area around you. And you can just see um, Satoshi just start pointing at things. Um, points at ice, uh, where, like, ice toes. And you can see it, like, there's, like, a image of the uh, airship. Uh, they're glowing and it looks to be instead of like it's a mix of the airship and a four-winged crane visual and it mm. created a visual uh spectacle around them. okay sam speak or lonnie can speak mm. i can't mm. hear anything Hello? <laughs> that was not ideal i could huh hello i may need new headphones uh oh. Ah. Give me a second. Alright, sorry. Um, Look at this map, Lodico. Yeah, sorry, I can hear you guys now. Well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it shows uh, the area around, and the figure of the Leiko is the fo a red four winged crane. And mm. Satoshi just, like, starts studying it. Hmm. So. We're going to want to go to Atani, and you see them drag their finger from holding the red Laco, and it creates a line like this. <gasps> Not like that, but like, more like that. 83.4 miles. Okay. That'd be about walking speed. That would be about three days, four days, but... We're not walking across the ocean. You said you wanted to be there fast, didn't you? You, like, you wanted to, you wanted to go to the post office. Like you, don't, you don't want to go to the ice store post office. Would you rather go to Otani? We could, we could go to the post office quickly now before yeah. we before we head out. Okay, all right. We're not in that much of a rush then. We could probably get there in two days, if not one and a half. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, okay. I, I can wait. I, I, yeah, I you mean, can, yeah, no, that's wait. cool. Okay, sure. Uh, uh, well, Nico, before we, we post it, did you want to, like, quickly do the painting on it? Oh, yes, yes, I mean, um, I'll do that. This room might be uh, a fair place to paint this. Um, the the room doesn't, like, yeah, it's like the towers. There's, there is um, a, a, a magical field around the... Um, yeah. I'm gonna move you guys back to the the ship. The 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 ship, um, all the floors except for the dock have uh, a spe the special gravitational field around it that protect it. Um, with the end, um, we we have a um, a gravity stone within the uh, the engine, so that that keeps us keeps everything fine. Um, but yeah, uh, if you need to read, if you need to do anything, this. This is a fairly is is, is it might hopefully will be satisfactory. I believe so. As they uh, grab one of the corners of the map, 
and then pull it back into the compass and it like follows uh, Satoshi's hand and closes. Okay, let's go. And the next, then let's go down to the, uh, the lavatory. Okay, I thought Nico was going to paint. Oh, I mean, well, we, we, uh, you can paint after the tour, if, if, if that's okay. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Because we yeah. wanted to once. Sorry. I, we, can, we, can, we, can, we can get a head start as soon as. What's this on? Purchase Seeker. And he just guides you down the. Uh, oh, sorry, they guide you down the next hatch into another room that's similar uh, in shape, but just a bit smaller. Uh, and there is. You can see a machine with a bunch of like pipes and valves and just machi machinations all over it as it whirs and steams and smokes and you can see there's like vents with like um, a bit of smoke from the top uh, escape every now and then and you just, uh, they just point out that's uh, where the um, that's where the, the the smoke from the furnace comes down into and it powers powers this uh, the power here uh, for the steam engine uh, but we also have the engine uh, room below um, but here's a storage room, and um, if you need to uh, do a number one or a number two, guides into this room. What are those numbers? Um, he looks at uh, sorry, they look at Lo-Fi Boy, and then uh, looks down at you, Lonico. You don't need to worry about Lo-Fi Boy, I think. Then, if you don't know what a one and two is, you don't need to worry. You know what one and two oh, is, don't you? Don't it's just a bathroom, anyways. I know what those are. <laughs> Good. I, just, I never heard the numbers. Oh, don't worry. It's, it's... Are you supposed to do something in a certain order? Is that why one and two? Um, I guess you could call it priority, maybe. Uh, does, that, does that make sense okay. to you? Okay. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I'm feeling number one. Yeah, Thanks. yeah, like like as if your pipes are about to burst, and you know, you just need to release my pipes. Yeah, your pipes. I mean, sometimes the flowers get a little bit, like, like, something, but, I don't know. <laughs> don't worry, Lofi, but I don't think you, you need to worry about this one, Rube. Okay. And then, <laughs> walking around, and here's the shower, and also we have a washing machine in here, so if you need to wash your clothes, you can use the machine here. Um, just be careful, setting three doesn't work. And setting four drains a lot of power, so like make sure we're not boost, uh, we're not like going at a um, we're not wanting to get somewhere fast. What about session the, the setting five? Oh, setting five. Oh, don't worry about that. That's fine. That's just drying. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, there's a shower there. Uh, also, yeah, you might need you have to tap the shower head twice, uh, so the hot water comes uh, out that way. Okay. Oh. But that's okay. the shower. And, That's uh, nice. Oh, there's a mirror too. Yeah. Okay. Oh, feel free to use the uh, like put your like um, any of your things if you if you need to use the sh like this is your home now. You you can you, you're permitted to use the, the the storage if you need it for anything. And the final room is the uh, the engines. I think I'm, I, 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 this is a lot to take in. That's okay. Feeling a full personally, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, no, that's okay. Like, yeah, like you, like most of this you won't need to worry about. Like, we normally have a crew, uh, you guys will, uh, have to help at times, but like, I'll, I'll guide you through when, when it, when it becomes a problem. For now, uh, you guys can, uh, kick your feet up after, after we're finished. And he walks, <laughs> they walk you down into the next room, and it is a mess of noise down here. As I do this, give me a second. It looks just like inside of me. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, you just see like a variety of noises down here, and um, and like you just see yeah, it's machines whirring and sparking, and. See, like you won't need to you guys won't need to individually touch anything in here. Every now and then you might I might call you guys down to twist this valve here. Um just to like help release some of the uh the tension and then just in case. Uh but generally you'll be fine. Uh, we don't need to worry about this room that much. And when you guys do, I'll teach you guys how to 
had to fix a thing or two every now and then. What's the weird energy whirring around some of the the, the oh, that's, mechanisms? That's the gravity stone working. No. <laughs> Do you believe in gravity, lo fi boy? Huh? Do you believe in gravity, lo fi boy? Um. Note starts floating. Like... Yeah. No, no, I was like, yeah. Like, when you touch that, you won't anymore, is what I'll say. You won't believe in gravity anymore? Yeah, yeah. You don't want that, trust me. I've had three crew members have to. We've had to hook them, uh, like, have to, like, latch them down and rig them to the, de to the decking. Ah, I see, I see. That's pretty neat. Is there, other than that one specific valve, uh, is there anything else, like, in an urgent situation that we should know about? Like, if you're, you become unconscious and then there's a red blinking light, what do we do? Um, very good point, very good point. Very good point. Come on, let's go to, let's go Can back we... to the top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna explain. We, we just go to, we gotta go upstairs. Okay, I thought you were just running away from the question. <laughs> <laughs> they do not like questions about their mortality. Good point, good point. Mm, never mind. Mm. Have I forgotten you, Lofi Boy? So you anyway. There? I have forgotten him. Where, where are you, Lofi Boy? I don't know. Levitating or something. Now, where's he gone? He's, he's disappeared. <laughs> where is he? I, I don't believe in Sherry Leo anymore, so... That's how it looks like fairies. <laughs> I don't believe. I'll get rid of that because that's stopped. You guys are now up here. I'm gonna pull you onto the onto the map. There you go. So yeah, um, here's the wheel. Uh, if we ever need to, um, if on the very very rare situation I fall unconscious, uh, do not touch the wheel. It's locked in. Uh, it's locked so that it will like when when we're flying. Well, we only really need to go in a straight line, unless a storm okay. kicks. That's that's different, uh, or some monsters uh, or yokai come come and fly at us. But like that's who that, that doesn't happen that often. Um, but that happens like but they just, do? yeah, from time to time. Tengu or Nue sometimes, or uh. Raiju. I've had a dragon once. Um, but like we we try to avoid. Uh, that's actually why um you you see you see you see uh, that left plate there um you can see this like bit of like uh machine um or a plate of metal over hanging over the dock uh, the decking sorry that's latched onto the side uh, that was from when we bumped into a uh, a dragon once um, oh i mean it was an accident like i was trying to swerve away from it but like we 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 didn't see it in time this hotel is a couple of front that got knocked off apparently um, mm. So with yeah. all the um, so there's the wheel. Are there any like blinking lights of anything? If there's anything wrong, like or anything? Yes, good point. So yeah, uh, you see here, uh, you see uh, underneath the wheel there is like a like a um, not like it's like the equivalent of a dashboard, I guess, with a few buttons and levers. Mm. Should board. <laughs> yeah, should it ever become a situation where we need uh, to go on, like. He goes. Uh, they go in quotation marks. Autopilot. Uh, hit this red button. If um. If we need a boost, pull this lever. And um, if you need to like switch the uh, the the towers, uh, you can spin this dial here. In the direction you need them to be. Um. How good are your eyes, Lofi boy? You know, top of the line. At, uh, at being the best version that they are. What about you, Lonnie? Uh, they're good, they're good, they're oh. good. I, I can't... They're good. I, I have one that's better than the other, but uh, look. Like, give me... Give, point at something in the city. Like, and I'll... We'll, we'll do a, a looking at something contest. I, I'm sure I can see... A lot. Alright. <laughs> okay. Could you uh, point at for me um, the uh, the nearest blacksmith? Yeah. 
Uh, the it's more over yonder, mm -hmm. and okay. the blacksmith. If I remember correctly, oh no, wait, 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 wait. the nearest one. Sorry, it, it's it's right here. Yes. All right. Okay. Okay. Those are there's some good eyes. All right. All right. Let's see how far you can look. Um, where's uh where's the casino? Oh, that that's kind of uh past the adventures uh league. Uh, so that would be over. Uh, too uh, slow. Over here. You what said do you mean too slow? You said your eyes were fast, and also you were wrong. That's the pagoda. What do you mean? Oh no, you're oh, no, you, yeah, yes, yeah, sir. That's the uh, right. So, yeah, you point then, and you, uh, so talks, you grabs your hand. Nope, nope, nope. You point at like the tower of the pagoda, and he points <laughs> you to this giant skyscraper with like a giant like uh, um, GP sign on it. All right. Well, uh, I mean, you, 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 your eyes are okay. I you can see very... the pagoda very well, and it's further away than your casino. Like fair. maybe you just couldn't see the pagoda. What about you, Lo Nico? How's I was it looking that much <laughs> ahead? Then... How, about, how about your eyes, Lo Nico? Uh, uh, it's not too bad. Okay. Well, uh, every now and then, keep an eye out. Basically, when when we're, when we're fine, I want you both to keep an eye out, and then we know if the swings wrong. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yes, Captain. So, yeah. smiles at you, low when you say that. I swear, I could see, I could see the casino just didn't point the right thing. So it's all the same thing. Anything else you guys want to do <laughs> when um after Satoshi gives a tour of the boat? I mean, the ship. Where's sorry. your room? My room. Yeah. I just sleep on one of the couches in the uh, in the common room. <laughs> Sleeps on the fucking floor. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's very. Well, I'll be taking one of the okay. guest rooms as well. To be fair. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Anything else uh, you guys want to do uh, before, like uh, Satoshi starts preparing to take off? Uh, yeah, yeah. If if we're able to to post. Uh... Oh, Lonico, Lonico. And then I grabbed Lodico. Let's do let's do let's do the the, the let's do it. The thing, the the the, the gift. Let's do it. The painting. Uh, yes, right. Alright. Um could you, Lonico, cause are you proficient in it yet? Or are you still just like learning? Uh I am proficient in it. Perfect. It's part of my shaman thing. Wonderful. I <laughs> I've decided a new homebrew rule because I think it, it 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 works better. Uh, could you, with advantage, roll for me a? What would you think painting would be as a skill? Slight of hand, mm -hmm. I guess. Roll slight of hand for me with advantage. Using your painting supplies. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> We got an eight and a twenty-five. Describe and a what. Twenty-five being a nat twenty. It is a nat twenty, baby. Describe what you're painting as uh, Satoshi is. You see every now and then, like, are you where are you, where are you painting? Which room are you are you guys in? Uh, I guess I'd go to the the the, the I forgot what's called the, the common, common room. room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he said I could paint that. <laughs> he said I could paint that. Um, yeah, basically. I just want to paint like um, images of like queens, feathers, and probably um, maybe like some spider lilies, some of the flowers that grow on low fly boy, um, and just like little sort of patterns of nature and stuff, and some of them that relate to to us and. As well as yeah, like all the the colours and pictures of like queens' feathers mm. predominantly, but like little flowers and stuff, just like a little pan yeah. that goes around it. Perfect. You, yeah, you do a you do a stunning job, and it takes you no time at all, considering Lofi Boy is like, what is Lofi Boy doing as this is happening? 
as you watch it slowly pay a masterpiece in this part. Because it's going so fast, I'm just trying to keep up with like what Lil Nico's painting, so I keep walking around as she's turning the pot mm. to kind of try to keep track of like. It's it gives me the vibes like the cameraman who's like like uh, posing while <laughs> like taking the photos, and like that's the vibes. Like you're just can't you just surrounding Lil Nico as she's doing this and like just seeing oh yeah, <laughs> work it girl. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Satoshi would also come down every now and then, like move a few things and like look for a thing or two. Oh, that that looks lovely. And then he'd be, oh, sorry, they'd be stunned every time they come down. Oh, look at this! Oh my god. Oh, actually, can I ask them? Is there like a plant that um, Mister uh, say, say like, yeah? Carnations. Carnations were his favorite. Oh, ah, oh, his favorite. Sorry. I shall paint some carnations as well. Satoshi did have to think a while though, but then mentioned <laughs> his, his uh, one of his uh, favorite fire patches in his garden. Is that um, yeah? And yeah, you 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 you're you're worrying away while doing that, and as you're doing that, you can feel every now and then the airship starts rumbling. Um, and Satoshi would like when they come down, they mention, "Oh, just getting a few things ready. It's we'll be ready to take off any moment now." Oh, 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 Mr. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Captain Satoshi, I mean, um, uh, does the are there any rules regarding being on deck? Like, you break like, it, you are fix we it. To... Huh? You break it, you fix it. Ooh, uh, what I mean, is, are, like, is it safe to jump, or is it that as soon as we jump, the gravity just like lets us eat away? You can the... jump <laughs> if you want to. Don't, don't jump ten feet near the rails. Um, mm. Don't jump on the glass. Mm. Don't distract me when we're flying. And okay. well, you can distract me. I'll. Look. It's it's not that hard. Um, and you can. Uh, yeah. Not much. Just just use your common sense. Don't don't do anything too dangerous where, where you'll fall off and land in the sea or something. Because I ain't right. gonna come down and catch you. Because. I won't get there I mean, fast common enough. Common sense is kind of like subjective. Like if there was something really important to grab on top of the glass, maybe I would have walked on top of it. But now I know that like you shouldn't. So thanks for making it a sense that's more common to us both. When you are saying that, like he looks at Lone Nico with a deadpan expression. Sorry, <laughs> like this guy. <laughs> like common sense. She's is subjective. just gonna do like. She's just gonna do like that one shoulder shrug. <laughs> mm. Yeah, and like when you guys like mentioned, like you asked about post office, like there was mentions that like in the airport there are there are post uh, poster offices, or there is a post office in the airport that you guys can like use. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. After finishing, what are you doing with uh with your painting, your masterpiece? My masterpiece. Um, I guess we need to put it in a box or something so that we can post it. There's probably a small crate or something yeah. that you can use. Yeah, there's a few small crates out in the uh, the kitchen actually that you are able to use. Um, okay. like you like you see like there's like some of them like, contained rice, and you just like tip that out into the uh, into the one of the rice jars. And then uh, use the crate instead for, for the for the new pot. And it fits very snugly within. Mm -hmm. And uh, if like you if you guys head into the airport, are you guys uh, gonna wait till you get to Otani? Mm. We can probably wait. Or. Or just send it. Uh, actually, it could get damaged in transportation. If we're, if Captain Satoshi still needs a, t a minute before leaving, we can probably take that minute. Yeah, you, yeah, you, you'd have time, Satoshi. Would say, yeah, if you rush over, um, you guys would. Be, and then he, uh, sorry, they, um, they give you five gold. Uh, here, get get a card for them and. Uh, put my name on it, please. I, I forgot to get something as well. 
Oh. Sure. Thank you. Should probably write a note and put it in the box. <laughs> <laughs> what does the note say? Um. I'll probably uh just did it. Miss Pimera and just to say uh, congratulations. Sire. Sire. <laughs> Sire. <laughs> congratulations on your wedding. Um Hope you have many children. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's what I would say. Thank you for um the help and for the very welcoming and lovely airship assistance. <laughs> um, uh, wishing you all the happiness in your futures. Uh, Loniko, Lofi, uh, Tenei and uh, Captain Satoshi. <laughs> hmm. And yeah, you taking it to um to the post office. It's in like it's it's a uh, there is a few floors down, so you would have had to take the elevator down. Um, and there was a bit of a line with a few people that like were shipping out stuff, and you can see like some of theirs like, are covered in stamps, some of theirs are like covered in like nothing, um, and someone just letters, and you can see just the post uh, post staff is fairly fairly welcoming and like they're like but they are exhausted and just strained. And then they just quickly weigh the, the box. Um, uh, when, what's the, uh, is this, does this need to be expedited? Is this okay, same day delivery next week? Uh, what's, what, um, first class, second class, what, what's, what's, the, what's the posted situation, ma'am? Uh, same day if possible, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. First I'll, class also, I think. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. That'll be uh, 10 gold, please. Sure. I will hand over the 10 gold. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for using Isoto Airport Postal Services. We hope you have a good day. Oh. Wait, oh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait. Can you bring the box back for a second. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wrap it up. Wait, wait, Oh, okay. And then I just take the letter. I cast Druidcraft in it so that it smells like carnations and then i i try to close it up so that like when they'll open the letter they'll get that little draft of uh, mm. the carnation smell and then I, I i put everything back in the thing like there, there there you go i i was about to forget i was so happy thinking about that idea did you cut out for you or huh? you cut out at the end for me oh right at the end uh, I just said I was so happy thinking about it that I actually forgot to do it. Oh. But then when I saw it go away, I thought, oh no, wait, wait. And then and I'm giving it to you. Thank you. you know, you're taking it. And uh, now I'm, I'm, I'm taking back it. And yes. I'm waving mm -hmm. and I'm thanking you. Then oh, can, can I just be pushing Lo-Fi Boy like, away out of the yeah. if people and out of the queue and just going, thank you very much, man. Have a nice day. Mm -hmm. And you see them, they, they go behind into a room behind um, behind the, uh, the post. Like, the post office was like, kind of like a kiosk, but like it, there was a room uh, behind it, and they go into that room. And yeah. And when you got return uh, to the airship, um, you did have some staff stop you, uh, but Satoshi then like w you could see through the window Satoshi seeing you, and then he rush it. Sorry, they rush out uh, to get you and like say no no no, no they're fine they're, they're they're with me, um they would they with Red Laker and then shows some uh, some paperwork, and uh, the 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 security guard uh, leaves uh, you guys alone. Yep. Ready to take off? Oh, can we? Let's go. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, let's go to this thing. Come. Let's go. And I'm gonna move you guys over to uh, a different map. Oh. Clown. Whoa. And I'm gonna do this. Lofi. Loniko. And Satoshi. 
you guys would have um if you wanted to like all right so yeah um you'd be able to have a long rest in this little interim moment where you guys take off um when on the lake um satoshi guides you to the to the to the top uh in the steering um in the on the steering uh portion of the deck and just, just take a seat and just 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 be careful this is when 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 for new flyers it is an experience and um then just start to see them pulling a few levers here and there and start spinning the wheel and you can see the the turbines on the side just start spinning a lot faster and you can see the pagodas begin to shake a bit and some of like the metal also starts shaking and don't worry about that that's it's 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 meant to do that i promise um and the entire floor starts shaking and slowly you feel it just push away from the airport and the the dragon uh, tower of the airport looks smaller as it's gone away and you looking out just over the edge you can see the 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 shapes of the very <laughs> wow sam <laughs> you can see the shapes of the um the city grows smaller and um as you guys are like going over the flying over the walls and roll for me perception you guys are able to like um satoshi this oh no it's okay you can like go over the uh actually low nika and low fiber well, how do you react to like just like this sudden uplift and like movement Um, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Lo was probably standing near Satoshi and like looking out from like near the wheel, um, but probably just braces herself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Make sure you <laughs> like, hold tries to stay standing up. <laughs> yeah. It is a very sudden um, Jack. Um, I don't know if that's the word actually. It's just a sudden just burst of movement um and just takes you completely by surprise but like hold on to real ui would like stay up perfect oh perfect. Got the perception yes, over. yeah uh low fiber what about you uh i'm just looking at the engine and being like amazed that like it can work and that it like puts up uh, in the sky mm. and like i try to like turn one my arm really quick to see if it makes wind and then I it probably doesn't. It does create a bit of wind, but not a lot. Yeah. Not like, not like this. As the air just rushes past you, and you feel, you can see the ship going up into the clouds, and you start touching, um, and it gets a lot colder as you guys are getting higher. Lonika, you're fairly warm, though. When you are like getting upwards, and you feel the warmth of like your magic still just surrounding you. With your 22 perception and Lofa Boy, with your 26 perception, you were able to look over the edge and could see. You you were able to like look down and see a tiny speck of uh, outcropping on the rock that Isoto stands on, and you could see the hidden cove. And you have a feeling someone down there is looking up at you guys. You have just the slightest feeling of eyes looking up at you, and. You can only assume that was um, it's here you down there, but you you aren't exactly certain. But you can only you can only assume as they're the only person that knows I'm of that other end. Throw a seed in that direction. <laughs> as you toss the seed off, you just see it just get billowed backwards and just gone. Uh, it's a speck you don't see anymore. Okay. As you get pushed up into the clouds, and you start cutting through the clouds and are now just above them. And as the, as you guys are like billowing through the, um, through the winds, you can see, uh, you take a glance at Satoshi and spinning on the wheel, you can see their hair starts like moving, uh, more animatedly than it normally does. And it starts rolling over itself and begins forming waves. And I'm just going to change something here. But you, yeah, you see their hair begin to change into waveforms. And like it's just rushing and crashing over itself as his scar, their scar, sorry, billows behind them. 
and you can see this skin tone turn a icy blue as they um they look very happy behind the wheel um and they don't really like you they don't realize that you're looking at them and they're just sailing away on the on the airship but you know they are they have taken a very different form to to uh how they were in isoto oh are you cold are you okay huh oh oh looks at his uh their hands oh um no uh oh, this... wait look at your hair yes it's like a fire genasi but wet they 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 they, they like kind of not roll their eyes but they kind of like, like peek their um they like give you like a like head nod and like raise their eyebrows when they do that and like ah eh? close uh, a wet water genasi lo nico <laughs> having been grow having grown up near kengala you've seen a few water genasi in your time yeah and so you know that this this uh this form is a water genasi and yeah, they're just like staring away. I should probably explain, shouldn't I? I mean, does that have anything to do with you, your interest in Rocky? I wouldn't say interest, concern, maybe, but I. It doesn't go much further than that, I guess. I... I mean, obviously, I'm um, a water genasi. Uh, you probably might not have seen a lot of those around. Um, yeah, that's... I'm a... Uh, just gotta... Just, just, I, 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 I parade as an elf to, to get by when I'm not in somewhere that might not be super super hospitable to to our kind i i mean right. i feel like being like it's not that much of a problem being high to eo but with the situation of uh Edosha and and kengala being taken i feel it's, it's it's better to be safe does mr sarah know that you're water genasty of course they Good. I, I, w I wouldn't I wouldn't want to work with someone or this confidentially and so involvingly mm. with someone who, who didn't know who, uh, the real me well you know water liquid wet genasi whatever kind of genasi what like, genasi is fine no no I'm just saying like it doesn't <laughs> really matter to us Good. No, 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 I'm just saying, like, you could be, you could be any kind of genasi, I think. Like, I'm glad. Your, your demeanor and your, your kindness goes way beyond just your appearance. Well, you are just, I mean, <laughs> just look at me, right? I'm like, mm. half some things, half something else. And, like, people love me. Like, it doesn't <laughs> matter. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, that's very, very kind of you to say. And, uh... Yeah. So I can't imagine, yeah. yeah. The, the persecution your friend Rocky went through. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. You wouldn't say sorry, Lonika? Um, she's probably still holding on to the railing um because <laughs> <laughs> she has never been this high before mm. um and she probably looks looks down um at the mention of like rocky's persecution and stuff um thank you for telling us though, captain um, 
thank you, you for you need not worry. Yeah, no, thank you for not worrying. And thank you for not being so terrified. <laughs> I live near the border of Kengala, so I oh. met a few water Ganassi before. Ah, uh, your accent it's it's uh it's got a, bit, a, bit, a hint of whistle. Mm-hmm. That's nice. Hey. <laughs> I came here because I'm learning to be a sh fire shaman, but I hadn't really left my temple before. And it's a little bit of a shock, all of this. Hmm. I just hope we can find Rocky. I hope you do too. And as sorry, go on. Sam, go on. I don't know. I just I'm gonna bring the ship up. Hopefully, it doesn't do what I think it'll do. Are you guys still on the same uh same same level? Yes. Perfect. It's just so I can move it around, like so. I move you guys as well. There you are. Yeah, as, uh, as you guys are, like, uh, flying, and you see, uh, Low Fiber, when you're looking behind, you can see these uh, engines here start uh, s spluttering out and combusting and, like, just throwing out jets of, like, uh, blue fire. Oh, no, sorry, blue fire, red fire. That, like, um, makes it... You, you feel like it, it's, it's helping add a bit of speed to the ship. And you can see the pagoda towers then start rotating. And the propeller fans rotate with them so that they're uh, pushing, they're adding more speed as you guys are uh, flying towards the mountain range of. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> as you guys are flying towards the mountain range. <laughs> you guys are falling towards the. Uh, flying towards the. Um... You can't see the mountain. Um, mountains from. Actually, no, you'd be able to see just some of the mountains peek through. And when you look behind you. At the mainland of Kastakawa, uh, Isotope, sorry, you see um, eight mountains um, that, like, some of them, like, very far in the distance, but you can see the ones that are closest to uh, um, Isotope, there's about five uh, on the, like, uh, peeking through the clouds, and they go even higher up. And, like, it, like, you can see just... Um, the, t the tips of them like look almost like there's a forest of strange colored um, plants growing around the tip of these mountains. But you can only just see the um, in the faintest of shapes and colors as you guys are like, flying forward. And is there anything you're doing on the first day or like the first like few hours? The, the feeling. <laughs> mm. It is very difficult. Satoshi does mention it uh, to you uh, like a few times. It's okay. Like it's like you'll you, it'll get easier every time. And who knows when something if if let's say the gods forbid something bad were to happen, that'll make it easier too. From experience, so I could say he gives a very uh, like. He, he smiles at you like as not real sorry they smile at you not realizing what they said probably isn't the most comforting thing <laughs> she's just like make, make it easier yeah like let's say there's a storm and the clouds start rolling over by the way look what you i'd let you you'd be able to be um uh, back to full health i'd kind of short rest until or like a long yeah. rest ish if you, you you guys can see like the the um the sky begins to turn like a pinkish uh, purple as like the cloud, like you can see through like the pink clouds around you as the, um, as it starts turning to nighttime. But and like this conversation was, uh, like, he starts, uh, sorry, they started saying, see when, um, 
when when I was uh, learning how to fly at the initial the, the first time, there was um there was a thunderstorm on the the second day. Um, and as that was coming in, the there was uh, one of the 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 wings caught fire. Um. And uh, when that caught fire, there was obviously panic. Um, so we had to set that out. But like as that was getting set out, there was a few uh, a few things here and there came in. Um, a few few uh, new way uh, took advantage of that and started uh, attacking the crew, throwing our, our all every, all our like luggage off. And um, it was it was pandemonium for a moment. But our um, but luckily we had we had a good few strong hands on deck. And um, they were able to take care of that. Um, but like that bit of panic and stress did uh, like went after after the initial moment on the initial uh, adrenaline. I, I found uh, the the calmness of nothing happening while flying uh, took over. And now I it's 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 a lot easier. And even even when like panic does happen, it's you you learn to get a level head over time, mm. and you're young. You you've got time, and I I think I was around the same age as you when I when I was flying first, and my my uh, my magic was coming in. What kind of magic do you know? I am I'm a sorcerer. I. It's it's always there, but I've never like I didn't play into it. Mm. When I when I when I ran away, I I wasn't able to get the training I wanted. But then, when when mm. when I was picked up by a few pirates, um, I I learned a few things and was able to come into my own. Yeah, we and now once I've... ran into some pirates as well. Oh, good pirates, I hope. Uh... Lou just holds sure. on to the railing tighter. <laughs> It was the best no. of times. It, it was... No, not good pirates. I mean, pirates are pirates, you know? Like, mm. just... it's a coin flip. Are you, are you, do you consider yourself one? Not anymore. Mm. Those, those times have passed. We're on calmer waters now. Mm. But, but do you consider yourself? Be or just a pilot. Do you strive to be just a pilot? Just a pilot. I I enjoy, I enjoy this line of work. It's fun to be on the winds and the waves. Too. It's it's yeah. nice. It's like the sky is your garden and the ship is your gardening tool, and you and you you go through it all and like mm. look at the nature. When uh, when you're saying that, like uh, Lo, you see Satoshi let go of the wheel, and in his place you see two watery hands hold onto it. Come, you guys want to you guys want to go to the front of the deck? Mm -hmm. Come, let's go. And he uh, they reach out their hand uh, to help Lo. Yes, it's just like a guarding tool. She'll take a deep breath and then take his hand. <laughs> Their hand. They they smile. It'll be fine. And then they walk you you guys to the front. And as you guys are as like they guide you to the front, you feel the coldness ease up as you feel the airship like dip into the clouds for a moment and you guys are back well not back on but you guys are in uh you guys start flying you you can see the waters now just in between a few of the clouds <laughs> as you guys are flying and then dipping further down and deeper you uh you get even closer until you're just over the waters. And you can see the mountains of Kasakawa in front of you by 
they, it feels like a while. There's, there's a while still to go. But it's so close. And like... It almost feels like it's in reach. How's that feel, Oniko? I think her... Her fear from before... There's still, like, a little bit, but most of it's probably turned into just, like, wonder and amazement. And she'll probably just walk up and, like, stare down at the water, like, all around and just be in awe at everything. <laughs> mm-hmm. As you do that, Satoshi lets go of your hand. Um, but you don't realize that he's done. Uh, they've done that. And now you're just taken by that wonderment for a moment. And just in, in the moment. Satoshi just smiles at you, uh, love white boy. And then uh, makes their way back to the wheel. I can kind of give them a nod as they... Mm -hmm. They nod back to you. How do you feel, love white boy, in this moment? Like, it's finally happening. We're actually going towards Kasakawa. I'm just going to move the ship just a bit. Oh, whoa. <laughs> so I, was, I was moving the ship just a bit. And I'm going to do something with the clouds again. Uh, it's going to look a bit weird because like, it's not the way I want it to work. But, like, as you are, like... You get that moment to like kind of like look at the water and like you can see a few fish below um and like you get like the moments are still as you're looking down at the water um but then you feel the ship rising again but and that like that fear doesn't return from like the moments as like you feel the ship still rising and you you still have that just awe and amazement of like seeing the mountains in front of you and as these moments as this moment is happening you see you feel Yuki jump out of your forehead. And then go to run at the front of the ship. And then balance himself on the railing. And they look to be just as excited as you are. <laughs> I'll probably move up and stand sort of closer to them. Hmm. I'm going to go back to you in a second, Loniko. But Lofi boy, how are you feeling? As like you're thinking that you can see this in this you can see 
every when when um you guys were over the water uh look where you could see in the reflection of the water you could see just the faintest figure of a spectral green fiery uh fox walking on the railing of the ship uh just a few moments ago just before it like raises up um but now you, you wouldn't be able to see like as you're looking at it you it, only through the reflection of the water um yeah. low you see yuki in front of you and uh they turn to you with us with a smile on their face You, do you think you're ready for the next portion? The next portion? Mm -hmm. The next step. She's just gonna like take a deep breath and stand up straighter, I guess. <laughs> it's okay. Just, yeah. We're nearly there. It's, um. It'll be a trial. It'll, uh, it will be tough. And that's okay. I think, I think, I think you'll do wonderfully. Can you tell me what kind of trial it will be? No. He turned to you smiling. And I do, I, I wish I could. I do. That's okay. You are the blood of my Thank blood. You. And I don't wish to keep secrets from you. But I cannot. I cannot. I I don't know myself. But I know it will be hard. Then I suppose we'll find out together then. We will. Soon, uh, soon we'll be able to talk without needing to, because you, you're speaking aloud. And like when he, like he turns to Lo-Fi Boy, soon, soon you'll be able to talk telepathically. You'll not need to, to, to waste energy with words. Soon. Just, just one last push. Mm-hmm. And don't worry about those whiskers. I think they look nice on you. Oh, well. She kind of touches the place on her mask where they are on her face. <laughs> so, um, thank you. They go to do like a deep bow. And then prance towards Lo-Fi Boy. But then doesn't say anything. And then turns back to you, Lo, and instead of jumping back into your forehead, they kind of coil themselves around your neck and they kind of like just like kind of like slot themselves in um in just like a little like small of your neck so they can like just fall asleep there. And there's a a wealth of warmth from Yuki's spiritual body. She's gonna sort of turn to to Lo-Fi Boy and be like, Lo-Fi Boy. Yuki says, I'll, I'll have to face another trial soon. I don't know what it is, but I just thought I should tell you. It's like... Okay. I mean, oh. if, if you need help or anything, you know, I'll be there to help. I know you will. I... But is, it, is it something that... I don't know how to say, like, are you expecting it to be easy? Uh, no. Apparently, it'll be hard. Um, that's all I know. Mm. Well, 
a lot of things are hard, but you, like you said, like you said in the past, you know, like this past week was kind of rough. Like Kira would say that like sometimes you just need to do things, right? So don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to do what you need to do, even if it's hard. I know. Thank you, Lofi Boy. Lofi Boy would kind of like put like a hand over, over your shoulder, over Lonico's shoulder, kind of like in a half hug, kind of like gesture, while still looking over the horizon. <laughs> She'll give him a full hug. <laughs> so then I just turned into a full hug. <laughs> As you hug, and you hear in the distance, Thunderstrike, as you can see some of the clouds below you, as you reach, you pass through the clouds again, you could feel a staticky feeling as you pass through the clouds at that point. And like you could see just around you, some of the clouds begin to spark as thunder starts striking around. And you see... You, you feel like you, you've already pass through the roof of the clouds, but you can see behind you some more clouds rolling in behind you. And they are grey, and they're thundering as they're ch uh, giving chase for a moment. As I do this. For a little, little few, uh... Few, few, few tokens to yeah. <laughs> Don't mind me. Uh, yeah, uh, the, you, you're seeing what I'm seeing, right, Loniko? Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I'm glad, I'm glad, uh, you know, you're, you're more confident in disguise, but I feel like this is the kind of moment where, you know, um, Maybe, maybe we should just mention that to Captain uh, Satoshi, just in case, uh, that, uh, I, I know they have better eyes than me, apparently, or something, but, yeah, you know, just, uh, never hurt. What are your expressions as you guys are coming up close? Uh, um, I mean, I'm wearing a mask. But... Oh, yeah, you are, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my mistake. Like, uh, my hands are getting kind of wet here, but, uh, Captain Satoshi didn't hold it. Like, you know, that's kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> when <laughs> when you guys are making your way, uh, Satoshi does turn the head, and seeing you guys make it rushing upwards, they, t uh, they look just as panicked as you are, and you can feel the ship uh, push forward. But that doesn't, uh, that doesn't stop the chase as the cloud matches the speed of the airship and it starts sparking and throwing bolts of lightning all around you. Uh, chat, uh, if you want to use your layer actions, you can now. Just, uh, just notations. And I'm going to get you guys to roll initiative as this one spark hits the back uh, the railing of the ship here and when it hits crashes into the railing you can see uh it hasn't destroyed the railing but it, it like it causes some of the wood to splinter and shatter uh if you want to roll initiative for me <laughs> where it um the, the the lightning's yellow where it hits it leaves a humanoid creature with a monkey-like face, and it kind of sits like a monkey on a branch. Um, and you can see on its fur, it's um, striped like a tiger's uh, pelt. Um, where it's got this white mane of uh, fur around its uh, red face. Uh, it raises one tail. That turns out to be a snake. And then it splits into three tails. If I put this token down, Monster Bank Yokai. There we go. 
Let's zoom in on that. And then add the turn and I wanna change the music in a I second. Have nowhere initiative, but I would just say like uh Nah, I'm gonna wait my turn, I guess. Oh shit, the ship's initiative's twenty-four. <laughs> And I'm going to just do Satoshi as well, because they will be in combat with you. Why do you want to let me put down the sheet? That kind of scares me. Why? Because there's just one of them. For now. <laughs> I mean, every... Okay, so it's either like there's a bunch of them and it's scary, or there's one of them. And that's enough of a threat that's scary. So anything that exists yeah, it is does. scary. <laughs> that's all it needs to be. <sighs> clear and clear. So yeah, you see this and then Satoshi kind of panics instinctively and kind of gives a little shriek. Oh, sorry, sorry. I, I scared me. Uh, <laughs> and as like they panic and like go to like tell you what it is, it charges at Lo Nico, being the closest person. Hi. <laughs> and it is gonna make two, one bite attack on Lo, and then a slash. As when it jumps at you. It, it goes for the one slash and you step back. But as you step back, you see one of the tails lash round and grab onto your shoulders. Uh, the same shoulder Yuki's on. You see Yuki kind of sidestep quickly. <laughs> well, that was rude. <laughs> Roll for me a con save, please. <laughs> as when it lashes at you, um, you see its first sizzle. Um and spark and you can feel you can see the the fangs on the snake uh when they rushed or go to, uh, to um go to your um your shoulder you see them begin to spark and sizzle for a moment um and as they spark and they like lash into your into your shoulder um you see like you feel like uh you can kind of smack it on the head and then it stops sparking for a moment but you do take seven damage. Ten. Not seven, sorry. You take B seven plus four. Oh boy. <laughs> As two more lightning bolts strike the ship. Owie. <laughs> and you see the cloud make its way around. And get closer. It is Satoshi's turn. And Satoshi is going to let go of the wheel. Um, and you see Satoshi press on the red button, and as he does so, you see um, Lo-Fi Boy and Loniko. You see a spectral figure uh, surround the boat, and it turns, it, it glows red for a moment. As you see these giant wings sprout off of the uh, the body, and become four wings, and it just starts flying. And like it's as if like this thing is, in, it's as if like the the ship is inside this giant four winged bird, this spectral four winged bird. As I'm gonna put the uh, the other new way that have uh, struck the ship behind you. It's Satoshi turn, yeah. So it's Satoshi. Let's go to the wheel, and then seeing the one attack Lo Nico, they are going to. <laughs> I should have thought what I'm going to do with this. They are going <laughs> to rush over to Lonico and uh, cast Thunderclap. Oh no, they're not, because they'll, uh, they'll hit Lonico, so they're not going to do that. <laughs> oh no, sorry, no, that's what they can do. They can do Lightning Law, sorry, yeah. They, um, you see Satoshi like create a whip of water that like sparks and storms. Uh, the water uh, that like he forms in, in his hand. Uh, start ch churning um, and letting off sparks of lightning um, and tries whipping it towards the new way. 
Uh, it is going to try to roll a strength save. Succeeding. Uh, you s feel this lash uh, fly towards you, Lonika, and the new way kind of like with it, as the new way like um, pulls away, it uh, it pulls you with it, and you both miss the uh, the lash of the lightning law. And Satoshi then. Just turns to uh, Lonely Cohen and says, "All right, when you get a chance, create a, like just step back from it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send this chair flying at it. Okay, be careful." <laughs> Low, it's your turn. Okay. Um, I'm going to cast mirror image on myself. Mm, there she go. <laughs> What does that look like? Uh, I forget every time. Um, three illusionary duplicates of me appear in my space. <laughs> so they do the same moves and mimic my actions. So there's just three lows. Three, three lows. Three extra lows. Three extra lows going around doing the same stuff I am. So it's hard to tell who the real one is. Um... And that's my action. Yeah. So... <laughs> no worries. Anything else you want to do? Oh, I, I can do Bardic Inspiration. That's what I can do. It's been so long that I can't remember what to do. Here we go. Mm -hmm. um, I will give my pie boy a Bardic Inspiration. <laughs> Good. You want to, as you... How, how do you inspire Bardic Inspiration? Um, you also have a inspiration from chat, I believe, from our last session. Mm. Uh, uh, Lo-Fi Boy. Ah. Oh, really? Um, yeah. I... Go... I don't know. Brain. That's... Um... <laughs> just go, please help me. Lo-Fi Boy, smack it. <laughs> or something. <laughs> smack it back into the sky. <laughs> she does it in a very sing-songy manner, and... <laughs> I mean, she's got her shamanism on her because yeah. she just always carries it also for comfort. So. Oh, yeah. yeah, so yeah, you, you just strum a quick little uh, little tune on that. Yeah, now you have body inspiration and you feel like just Lowe's magic. It You see, you feel little tiny, uh, like the notes turn into uh, fiery foxes that circle around you. Um, and you, Lofi Boy, when... Oh, yeah, have you pulled out your sword and shield across uh, your umbrella into his sword and shield configuration? Uh, not yet, but that's no. always the first thing I do. When you, <laughs> yeah, when you, when you gotta pull it out, and um, you feel, you see the the blade begins to start glitching. Give me a second. You, yeah, you feel uh, the blade begin to start glitching, and like, as it starts glitching, you feel its form alter and change into something completely different roll for me a d10 please as when you're doing that you feel the um you feel the when 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 it's, when it's, it has like this strange glitching a glitching effect coming off of it it feels like the same energy that the world week gives you when you would go near it and just the rippling energy of your wild magic um <coughs> As you feel like the form of the forged magic blade change. Uh, what is uh, number three on malleable magic? It's a glaive. You feel the sword change, uh, elongate, and causing you to have to like let go of your shield. Uh, so you will t have to uh, take off your shield off your AC, Sam. Um, yeah. As you feel your. It, you have to go to hold your your forged uh, magic glaive with two hands. Describe what it would look like if you if you would have an idea. Well, the way that I imagine is that like with it glitching and everything, uh, like basically when I separate the top of the umbrella from the umbrella stick and then becoming sword and shield, there'd probably be still this kind of like energy flowing through both of them and kind of like glitching 
And so, seeing that something weird just happening, I probably like uh, approach them together. And I'd imagine that the round part of the umbrella would like kind of like close to become like the like long, like kind of like the sharp part of the glaive. Mm. And then the rest of the sword become longer to become the pole. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if you could all roll for me a strength save. As you see the uh, the the lightning cloud begin to thunder again, as roll perception as well after you've done after you do, do that. For yep. Me. Yes, Captain. Hmm. Alright, then it doesn't want to work. My sounds don't want to work anymore. <laughs> Oh, I hear that, though. Oh, do you hear him? Oh, I, I couldn't hear the thunder. Yeah. No reason. Um, so, yeah. The... The what's it called? As you see this cloud, the, the thundering cloud, uh, who... You got 27, 22, 17. You guys could see a strange humanoid winged creature inside the silhouette of it as the lightning sparks within the clouds being sw circled around by uh, this, this thunder cloud. And... You could see it just swat one of its hands as if waving a fan uh, towards you guys. And you just see a gust of wind billow out of the clouds uh, towards all of you. And Satoshi also will have to roll a strength save. Yeah. Lo, uh, you... You get... You've... Lo and Satoshi, you two are fine. You um, you both kind of brace yourselves and kind of hold on. Like you hold on to the chair and start somehow. You feel planted by that. And you also grab on. Would you grab onto the new way, um, Lo Nico? <laughs> Accuracy. I don't know. Is it still holding on to me? <laughs> it is still holding on to you with one of its tails. Would you hold on to it while it's? No, I'll hold on to the chair. <laughs> you know, you hold on to the chair and like you use that. You kind of like push all your force into it. And you feel like all that starts scratching and scraping against the floor, um, against the wind. You guys, like the chair and you, with the force you're pushing into it, you're able to like, brace yourself. Satoshi grabs onto the rail on the wheel, causing it to spin and kind of like causing the entire airship to kind of like, uh, careen, not careen, but like, um, just suddenly turn right. And as that happens, Lo-Fi Boy, you, with that and the wind, you get like pushed off the railing. Okay. And you fall off and land over here onto the glass. It's very heavy, hard glass, but you just fall off the the, um, the top platform and just like land onto the glass and look down into the common room as you just thud into it. And the new way turns to you, and you hear like you hear its tails hiss. So go on. Wait, what? What's happened? Did I fall into the common room? No, no, you fell onto the glass just above. Oh, okay. Oof, I'm, okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. Go, go, go. Give me a second. Yeah, uh, the new way turns you and hisses at you, and you it gives, like, a monkey's jeer that kind of glitches and just distorts when it, like, shrieks at you. And, like, it like it gives a similar, like, jittering that Shabans give. Mm. Yes, yeah, back to your turn. What would you like to do? As you are now prone, well, I will also like to know. Okay. Uh, to unprone myself, uh, that would cost half my movement, right? Is that how it works? Yep. So I would unprone, like getting up, like holding the glaive to, to push myself up. And then, I guess, not trying to be doing anything fancy, I'm just trying to be safe. Uh, that wasn't I, meant to happen. Uh, that wasn't meant to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I was. <laughs> Yeah, the clouds are really strong here, right? <laughs> yeah. This should work in theory. It didn't work. Basically, I'm an idiot. I've played myself. <laughs> <laughs> I tried making a really cool, like, interactive, weird, one funky map. Alas. 
<laughs> I'm gonna put it over here. All right. Uh, keep going. Do you do you turn? Sorry. We'll pretend. Um, Hopefully, this isn't too jarring. <laughs> you haven't grabbed us right now. You know. I know. No, I know. I know. I know. I know. I'm trying because I'm trying to make like the the water be in the right place. <laughs> But like I'm not doing the right thing at all. <laughs> no way. Uh, I'll still do my movement, I guess. Um, doing ten feet to place myself in front of the new way, and yeah, enter rage. Here we go. When I find the shit. Oh. There we are. I think the new way was there, so yeah, you would be you just like just yeah. leap over the railing. And the new way like follows you and tracks you. You see its tails trying to like go uh, are like ready to like launch at you. Uh so I'm going to roll on the table. Yes. 62. 62. What 62 do on our random wild magic table? Let us see. 62, 62, 62, 62. Oh. Oh no. What's happened? Where? It's the one where everything. Uh, I'm gonna. Well, it says. I've got no. This is like. Stable. <laughs> Start up each of your turns for the next minute. There, I'm gonna have like a circle next to your name with a zero that like refers to like how many to like the next minute of like to, that happening. So yeah, you. Begin to start raging and you give off this white magical uh, glitching aura similar to the. Um, um, your your forged magic weapon, and you can feel your Shiseki Stone core kind of like ripple outwards as this is happening. But you feel something like there's a like your your plants all give off this uh, a sign like signals that like oh, there's something wrong in that moment. Mm -hmm. What else would you like I to do? I see it as having an allergic reaction to the glitching of uh, the forged sword. Mm -hmm. Um, and, but yeah, um, I guess I will just, uh, basically, uh, also do a, a glaive attack of the new way in front of me. Go ahead. And maybe you should uh, make, sure you ch at, like, make sure you check, uh, rage as well. Ah, uh, yeah, I hadn't, sorry. That's okay. How much does rage give a bonus to your attack? Plus eight, was it? Did you say? Plus two, plus two, plus, plus two. two. Oh, so you know, then it doesn't hit. So you describe. So you go to sla uh, attack with the glaive, but like it's a very different weapon to a sword and shield. So you kind of like just very like sluggishly and very um on just like with 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 no grace at all, and you just like kind of charge at it and just like slash at the um at the railing, and the new way kind of jumps off it. And as it jumps off it, it just uh, pounces on you. Is there anything else you wanted to do on your turn? Uh, Before the pounce. When I don't have a shield anymore. You don't. Um, so, this is so interesting. I love it. Um, no, I don't have any bonus actions that I can do right now. That, that will be it. Yes. So yeah, when you when it when you tr when you try to instinctively go for your shield to uh, like cover your arm, mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. it pounces on your arm, and then goes for two bites, and then goes for one slash. Uh, 
only the bite, only the one initial bite on your arm hits. So it's kind of like perched onto your arm as one of its snake heads um, lashes into your um, into your arm. Could you roll me a con save? Yep. Oh, uh, I do have the. I think what is it? Resistance or something against poison or oh, but it's I don't poison. poison here. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. Never mind. Con, 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 con. Save. You succeed. So yeah, you feel like this shocking pulse go up, and you can see the scales of the snake kind of jut outwards for a moment as like this pulse surges through it. But as soon as it hits your arm, it just like surges around it and just stops, as if like the magic kind of cancelled it out. Um, the one grabbing onto you, Lonico, is going to try and um, bite at you again and then slash. Does the 13 hit? I think the 13 does, doesn't it? I have to, because I have my mirror image. Ah, yes. So each D20. time a creature targets you with a attack, roll a d20 to determine whether the attack instead targets one of my duplicates. Mm -hmm. uh, must roll a six or higher. So I think I rolled that. <laughs> One of them hits my duplicate. <laughs> hey. So yeah, no, it, yeah. the snakehead instead goes to bite at the the duplicate and completely now missing you. To... Oh, roll because it says for each one, so mm, I have to roll above an eight to the two duplicates. So I have one duplicate left, basically. <laughs> I gotcha. So yeah, like you see, the snakehead pierce through two duplicates, and what the duplicate catches it. Um. The other new way, new way behind you, though, is going to charge towards Satoshi, and you see you just clamber up the railing and just rush towards him and then just pounce on him. Or them, sorry. Going for a bite and a slash. Getting him with the bite as uh, he gets... He goes also... Uh, sorry, they go to uh, block it with their arm, but catching the uh, one of the snake uh, snake jaws. And when he um and he kind of like just like swats the, the 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 snake uh snake fang off him and just like just like starts like just like slapping it away from him, or them away from them. Sorry, I keep I'm I'm so bad. I keep mis mis uh, mispronouncing. <laughs> That's okay. You'll get better at it. Avenge, yeah. But he uh, they do take six damage. Um. One of the snake head, two of the snake heads turn to you low on the new way in front uh on Satoshi. And this, uh, you see one of the snake heads nod um, as like you hear them gibbering and j uh, jittering. Sorry, mom, it's like only one of the duplicates gets destroyed then I believe. It is now Satoshi's turn and Satoshi is going to cast a spell. Oh, as like Satoshi's slapping away at the new way, you... It, when their hand touches onto the new way, you hear a thunderclap. Or a thunder, um, a spark of like thunder as the snakehead kind of like gets pushed downwards. And you see just around Satoshi and the new way, just this like shockwave give off. But luckily, no one else is around. The wheel does start spinning again, though, uh, from the force of that. And they need to roll a dex save. It fails. It takes max damage. 12. As, like, that snakehead kind of, like, just, like... As it, like, gets um, pushed down by the force, you see it fall off. Um, as if, like, it got torn off by the force. And as it falls off, you can see where it, um, where it fell out. You hear the sound of fire uh, as um, that white cold fire lashes out of it. And just, it it's like a hose. As it just like starts um, waving in the air wildly. Um, if I find the thing I want. And you can just hear it glitching as it does that. And you see Satoshi just try push it away. As, as it's doing that. Back to you, Lo. I'm gonna... Uh, uh, I think 
this is how this works. Is it a medium or smaller creature? <laughs> it is a medium. Excellent. I'm gonna try and cast Gust oh. on it. Um, so it must succeed on a strength saving throw. Or be pushed up to five feet. I could actually, hang on. I've got so many spells in my brain, you it's do. not. I, I could do uh, Thunder Wave is only the squares around me, isn't it? Yeah, so it'd be like here. So it's a 15 yeah. foot cube. Yeah. Or it'd so be the one behind you. Hit both of those. It, no, no, it, it hit three or squares. Just... Like, like this. Oh, right, it's a little cube, isn't it? Yeah, because it's not um... like radius, it's just a 15 foot cube off of you. Whereas if Thunderclap is a five foot radius of me. Yeah. So. so that would get that. Okay. No, it's okay, it's okay. There's a, lot, there's a lot of new spells you have. Spells, radius, maths. Um, five feet radius would be this if I do the thing. Bang. So it would get both normal but not Satoshi. It would, but I think... You know what? Yeah, I will do Thunderclap. <laughs> Changing my life. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do... Oh. <laughs> I, don't I don't know what I did. I just clicked you, it. You, you, did, you did Thunderclap, so they gotta roll a con save. <laughs> And if you want to roll for me, um, oh, how, describe how do you want to how do you want to do it. Um, you know, she might as well just strum a killer chord on, on her. Hey. Just Let me just the, check something. Um, okay, Let me just check your forge magic pick if you got all the tune things. Oh yeah, no, it's already included then. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, when spell you... save is mm -hmm. they one succeeds, one fails, so they both take one damage though. Oh, oh no one the one in on you takes one, but the one on Satoshi doesn't. Um if you want to describe sorry, did you already describe it? Sorry, my mistake. Oh uh, yeah, just the just Oh yeah, you, the, the one. Yeah. On so yeah, like there's um like it just ripples out from you and it kind of fuses with Satoshi's for a moment, but they kind of form harmoniously for a second and create a just resonating tone. And um, oh you also you. have... <laughs> you also have... Um, and as this is happening, you see... Um, you can see a tiny white cloud just above you, um, slowly making its way towards you guys. And you see a tiny little blue spirit just push out of it and fly towards you, Lonika, and circle around you. As you have now gained uh, a chat inspiration. Yay. I'm also going to give Satoshi a bardic inspiration while I'm here. <laughs> also for uh, chat wanted, uh, well, Skylar wanted to see, could you, could you put Lonika with stars on for me? Her name actually means uh, lo uh, see with stars in her eyes. This one? That one. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Um, it is now... Anything else you want to do, sorry, Lo? Uh, I gave Satoshi a bardic inspiration. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh... As your resonating hum goes towards them and then circles <laughs> around them. Um, and that's all I can do for now. I'm going to sit and read my spells. <laughs> oh, As... uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> And as that's happening, you see the thundercloud begin to start surging once again. And you see Satoshi just look up at it and then you just hear him shout, Look! As it starts sparking. And 
his sorry their face is very panicked and you can see as the clouds sp I, I hope you i hope you <laughs> got the, God, God. the <laughs> you can see in the thunder cloud you can see the figure uh with its fan a red lacquered mask oh, wearing no. tengu uh with its eyes all s staring down at you all and it as it flies um a few feet above you or a few feet away from you in between you can just see in between the two pagoda towers as it's being framed by that and you can just see it's like black wings just whole uh floating in the air like almost as if like it's controlling the thundercloud around it and it swats a fan at um at satoshi uh and you see this lightning ball just surge and fly straight towards him where he will take 1d12 this is so rude <laughs> we'll need to roll strength, uh, no, deck save, sorry, as he tries to dodge it. Sorry, they try to dodge it. They fail, as like, they, you see him try to run, but the new way kind of holds it in place. Or like pins him in the, uh, pins them in the corner, and he takes... Only five damage as when it hits him, he begins to start, uh, sorry, they begin to start surging. And you can see the hair begin to turn dark and stormy in that moment. And lightning starts sparking up as if like there is a storm happening above his head. Or their head, sorry. And they kind of shake off the, the sparks around them. Your turn, Love Piper. Having the confusion inside my heart happening, I must roll again. 57. <laughs> wow. Now I am rooted. <laughs> um, as like you try to move yourself, you feel the bind in your uh, chasey kind of like start cracking. And or the the the, uh, the, the ch your chassis start cracking as vines push out of it and sprout you to the railing and the decking and you are just stuck in place. Your speed has been reduced uh, to a zero. Yeah. Um, can I use my action to just cut at the vines um, to unroot myself? Go ahead. Okay. Uh, using the glaive, uh... It will be tricky, you will have disadvantage. With, oh, sure. Because it's huge. You struggle, but you are able to cut out some of the vines. And most of them, you can, like, pull yourself free from that. But it is a bit okay. of a struggle. Yeah. <laughs> You're able to like move around it and like as long yeah like the way i uh to, to those that don't know the way i run um attack of opportunity and stuff like that as long as you're not targeting what you're moving around as long as you are targeting sorry you won't get attack of opportunity unless you like actively move away from it and like stop targeting it but yeah um you are able to move out of, out of its way but it does turn to you and then it tries to like pin you to the wall with its tails And give you a give you a slash. Do any of those hit? No, 
No. As like you're dancing with my glaive. <laughs> as you're like dancing with, like with your glaive, you are like the roots are trying to latch into the ground and pulling you in. But as that's doing that, it's like causing like the new way to like not predict your movements, but like you are becoming very unpredictable because like your your weight is becoming very unevenly distributed by both the glaive and the roots now. So the new way is just like is has no clue where to expect you. And at one point it does almost uh bite at you, but it, you glaive is able to just catch it. And the ones that are up here, this one that is on Satoshi and uh, you, Loniko. Loniko? I don't know why I said that so weirdly. <laughs> it will. You see it begin to start. Uh, its mane starts turning black as dark clouds form out of it. And now it has a 10 foot radius of... Uh, I'm actually going to change it to 5 feet. Nope, not... My mistake. Is it a, that one changed the color of that because it's useless. There you go. That's bright. Let's 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 change that again. <laughs> Sorry. As yeah, you see this dark clouds just start forming out of the new way. And the clouds start storming as this is happening as well. And it's gonna end its turn there. I'm sorry, it's doing what? <laughs> that one starts, like, uh, clouds start forming out of its mane and starts circling around you and Satoshi and um, making it very hard to see. And you can just about see through the darkness. You will have disadvantage as you're fighting in this dark cloud. You will see, um, hello, the, the eyes of this new way go from the purple uh, blues to a, an electric blue for a moment as you see lightning surging off of it. As it casts Thunder Wave. Roll for me. A what's it called? I believe it is a con save. Because it's not meant to roll damage. I don't know why it rolled damage because it's stupid. So rude. Mm. <laughs> Let me just fix something quickly. I think it was. So there we are. You are able to kind of like brace yourself for this, but as it lashes into you, you feel with the clouds surrounding you, you see the, the lightning kind of surge in on you in this moment. And as it like forces itself off the new way onto you, you you take 12 damage. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> Get it. Is that, is that, I don't know if that counts with my, my mirror image thing. That's an attack aim, aim at it me, is. right? Is that how that works? It's a AOE, so it's like, uh, it's, done, it's like normal uh, Thunder Wave, so. Does it still get you? Um, it just says each time a creature targets you with an attack. So I, <laughs> I think yes. And so if you want to roll a d12, uh, that d20 for me. As you also see the chair, just f you don't see, but you hear the chair break <laughs> beside you. Oh, not the chair. Um, I'm seeing what do I have to roll an eight or higher. Okay. Where are we? 18. So yeah, um, what's the situation with that? Uh, it means it would target one of my duplicates. If that's how this is going. <laughs> if it's if, if that counts as an attack aimed at me, it would hit my duplicate. One of my duplicates instead. Uh, which means the duplicate is destroyed and I wouldn't take the damage. Yeah, so then it does get the duplicate. And you, so yeah, you're able to actually kind of like just dodge and the chair, as it like just starts flying around you, essentially, that like kind of is what 
catches all the damage that would have went towards you. So you, uh, you're good then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but your duplicate does catch that one. It does. One. I've only got one left. Yeah. It is the other one's turn. No, it's not. It's none of their turns anymore. And now it is the Tengu's turn. Now the Tengu is going to start flying around you guys. And you can just hear the clouds thundering as it's sw swirling around you guys. Oh, dang. And it's gonna... On you, Lo-Fi Boy. Roll for me a... Roll for me a strength save. Yep. I mean, just to say, earlier today I won an arm wrestling thing. So, uh, I feel pretty confident in this uh, stretch roll that I'm gonna do. Um, and and I, I might use chat inspiration from last session. Go ahead, <laughs> roll with advantage. Very well. With advantage? Yeah, with chat inspiration. Okay, good. You're all golden. You only take half damage. You also have that body inspiration from lower, which reminds, which is a reminder. But you see this, the Tengu look down at you very intimidatingly and you see swat one of its uh swat its fan at you uh when you get a better look at it, you see the fan is like that of a banana leaf you being a uh a botanist you would you would know you can tell the distinction but yeah you see it swat yeah. its banana fan at you and you feel this gush of wind just push straight into you and it feels like it's trying to pin you against one you almost feel like you're about to trip over the the railing uh, but you've and you you buckle down using the roots that were there for a moment and allow them to root in for the second, and you just get pinned in and just get planted. Uh, but you get the full force of this uh, smash into you. Well, not the full force. You able to brace yourself and only take half damage. Oh, you you you're raging, aren't you as well? I am raging as well. So you have half to bludgeoning anyway. So that's oh. six. Yeah, you, you only take six damage from that as you able to brace oh. yourself. Yeah, uh, anything else you want? Um, that isn't the, it's the Tengu's turn no more. It is Satoshi's turn. So Satoshi is going to kind of panic in the darkness for this moment. Um, and is instead going to create a gust of wind. And they start, you You can see around uh, you low, you can feel this, uh, this rush of air in this moment. As um, it casts gust of wind. It will not target you. Hmm. I'm trying to think, will kind of is there any way he can like not get you? But I think he does get you. <laughs> Actually, no, he mm, it does. This. It does. Mm. Uh, wait, no. If it's a bit more to the right, it doesn't touch the square at all, and it does the other. No. Nah. Give me that, because it's from center. Give me a second. Yeah, I don't think like there's no what like. If he leans in a little bit to one side. Yeah, what else he... <laughs> still get, that'd still get low, low. So yeah, he doesn't do that. So he just focuses on this one in front of him. Anyhow. Oh, sorry. They, they focus on the one in front of them. And they will need to roll a con save. Or oh, strength hey, save, sorry. Hello. DC 15. That fails. As this blast of wind pushes all the dark thundering clouds around you low as well you feel them just get pushed aside as this blast of wind uh flies past you so you see satoshi with his hand outstretched sorry with their hand outstretched uh push out this beam of like um like it looks like the like waves but they're like airy just crashing in on themselves as they go blasting past uh into the new way and i'm uh I'm going to change Gust of Wind's ability just a second because I think this was near. I'm going to have it be pushed back. By 20 feet. 
instead of using the other uh, ability that he normally has. So yeah, it gets buffeted back, but then he drops. Uh, they drop the gust, uh, the blaster wind. Lo, it's your turn. So is it still like dark here? Not anymore. Or... Anyway, that's been okay. buffeted, buffeted away. Um. Then I shall not do that. Uh, I shall. Uh... Thank you, Turk, for the fifteen. By the way, uh, and thank you as well, Turk. I, re I that means a lot coming from you. If I cast f fire on the ship, is that a bad idea? Again, <laughs> Will I burn? If I do a fire spell, am I gonna set the ship on fire? Is what I want to know. <laughs> you wanna ask Satoshi that? <laughs> yeah. Um. We, we could put it out surely if like this if we we can, we can we can control it i think it'll be fine i think hopefully maybe aim upwards <laughs> try don't don't aim aim up oh, okay because <laughs> i want to cast burning hands mm. <laughs> oh i did it the thing again <laughs> i wanted to put it in chat god fucking <laughs> well, sorry. Okay, I want to cast burning hands. Yeah, describe um, what that looks like, and and yeah, you are able to like kind of like aim it upwards and catch both of them. Yes, so it's not directly at. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, yeah, just holds um her hands out. Mm -hmm. Into I guess like a yeah like a little triangle in front of her and just like pushes them out when her, you do that i love her mask yeah it's a little jingle oh yeah that like adds you feel that like kind of Im imbue the magic and you see yuki kind of worm his way down and like run towards <sighs> your hands and you just see him or them waft with their tail a fan uh, on your burning hands and causing it to just burst outwards towards the new way and what's the dc uh, it is 15? 15. 15. 15. So one of them takes half. 15. So one passes. You see one kind of zip and zap, but they both do get caught by the fire. Um, if I do the thing. And the railing behind does get caught on fire, just a nip. It's fine. <laughs> but the one in front takes the whole brunt of it, and the one in the back is able to just like zip in and zap in. Zip in and zap in. It did roll damage before, so I guess I yeah. just use <laughs> that. Yeah, so uh, the 10. So I'm going to put the fire down yeah. when I find it. Yay! It begins. It does. Oh gosh. <laughs> There we are. It is now. Love boy, your turn. Unless anything else, Lonika? Uh, nope. It is time for my heart to beat. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> <laughs> and my heart beats at 11. 11, what does that do? I drop the beat. <laughs> I'm sure what was that, what does that do? <laughs> you were uh, beautiful. Uh, I'm also. Uh, so you are surrounded by deafening white noise until your rage ends. As a ballist action, you can cancel the deafening white noise for one round by emitting sound waves of the opposite frequency in a ten foot radius. Um, and then the creatures must make a con or take. That's uh, the most confusing bullshit I've ever read in my life. And we wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> Can I put it in the Twitch chat as well? Yeah, go ahead, yeah. You're trying to buy death. And, I, and I, thought, I thought mirror image was confusing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. So what, what's happened is you're for like one round, you're emitting this like white noise. 
Yeah. Um, and anything, like, any noise that comes in can't be heard. So, like, the thunder, like, noise and stuff, like, you can't hear that. That's been deafened mm-hmm. by this. Satoshi's, like, you uh, like, you can see Satoshi covering their, one of the, their, um, their right ear as, like, you can hit, you can just hear the faintest of strange noise, like, hums coming from Lo-Fi Boy. This metallic, strange ringing noise. And Satoshi's just, like, wincing, trying to cover, um, cover their ear. And... It's a 10 feet radius, so I don't know if Lonely Ash might be in range of this. Possibly, yeah. Um, I think it's just... She oh. just is, yeah. So, Lonely, if you could roll me a... Um, a dex... a uh, con save, sorry. And the new way can also roll. Con saves today. Oh, and the con save, my DC is... 10... Proficiency you have to roll a con save as well. Barbarian. Lofobo has to roll a con save as well. Including yourself, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, la, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> Am I at level 3? Plus yes. 2? That's 15. No, you're 4. You're 4. You're 4. I'm level 4. Uh, so that's a 14. Uh... The DC is 14. Okay, okay. Low and you uh, succeed. Uh, the new way failed. Roll a D6 damage. Yep. This is so whack. I love as, it. As like the noise <laughs> buffets outwards, the new way kind of just, like, gets pushed back by the force of this strange noise. And just you see it trying to block, pull in its ears to like cover it, uh, cover them over its, uh, over the side of its face as it's just shrieking and jittering at you. But you can't hear the noise because it's, it's what's it called? <laughs> it's Ukraine and emitting a white noise. Anything else? Um. Oh, that's uh, basically it, it's as in a bonus action that I cancel the thing. Blah blah blah. That was the effect of my bonus action, but that was the first thing I would have done anyways. All right. Um. Uh, I would just uh, yeah. It's basically like what that means is that I can hear. Until the my next round. Mm-hmm. And yeah, this would be uh, at the end. Until, yeah. Yeah, but then as soon as my next round starts, the white noise is back in. Yeah, the vines on your legs also they pull back in, into your into your Do chassis. They? Yeah. Bruh. Okay. Anyways, I'm just gonna. As you can gonna... see around you, like on the sides, the damage of the wind, uh, buffet from the um, the fan attack from the Tengu. Uh. I just want to see if I have anything long range. Um, eh, not really. Uh, nah. Nothing I can do. I'm just going to, uh, again, try to better position myself. This time, I'm trying to use the fact that like the vines are trying to slow me down to zero speed. Uh, to uh, like try to hold my position and use that to like attack with the glaive with more force. It does a 16 hit on the new way, yeah. yes, it does. And so I slash in at the snake, in you get it for. You, yeah, you cough one of its uh, one of the snake tails, and cause it to like just wince and shriek in pain at you. And as it shrieks at you, you push it back by with that uh, deafening sound, and kind of causes like just panic as it gets pushed back. And it uses using its like tail that like has been cut off, and uh, the fire roaming. Like it covers its ear, plugs its ear with one of those, and then pulls in its ears so that it's like trying to block them from the noise. Anything else? Nope. Uh, that is it. Unless uh, I have a little bit of nah, 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 nothing. I can't. Uh, I'm not tied in just yet to the ground, right? No, you're no longer tied into the ground. Oh, okay, okay. Then, because I cut them off, uh, I, I think I'm just gonna adjust my position to the edge over here, just because. Well, if something happens again, I don't wanna <laughs> get little <laughs> eagle. Yeah, no worries. When you do that. <laughs> Uh, you feel the spirit kind of like nearby you. It looks like it was. Um, you can see just this, this faintest tiny spirit here um, on the railing, and it looks like it was it was about to like start fighting you. This tiny spirit, 
um and but when it sees you look at it it stops and then it flies towards lonico and then lonico you feel this this spirit swirl around you and in that moment you uh you gain uh some uh some extra hit points thank you the spirits of shirei leo for you helping gain, us a, you gain 10 uh 10 extra hit points Yo. i'm alive <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sorry. Uh, I was just checking something. I was very confused. <laughs> um, yeah, you get healed by uh, 10 hit points. Um, anything else, uh, Lofi boy? No, no. That is it. And Sam. Uh, sorry, sorry, Sam. Uh, Lofi boy, you see in the same area <laughs> where like that spirit was trying to fight you, you see another spirit that was in a similar position of trying to fight not you, but fight the spirit that was trying to fight you. And, but like, it's a bit more groggy and dazed, and it looks more greenish as it, like, very hazily tries to, like, move. But it's, it's very slow and sluggish, but like, and like, it turns to you and then gives you, like, a very lazy thumbs up. And then a little, like, you, you hear a very faint chuckle as it flies towards you and it heals you by two hit points. <laughs> Uh, that counts. <laughs> did you add your health? Uh, oh, no, I haven't added my I'll, I'll add them for you now. Uh, Anything else? Okay, okay. Honestly, uh, I'm thinking once again that like it was worth it to give all my money to the temple because now this little spirit <laughs> came to, to, to heal me a little bit. <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, that's super sweet. The new way behind turns around as you try running away from it and try once again instead of leaping on you it um you see it just burst with uh a lightning uh as um as it surges outwards from it as it sparks uh, begins sparking and pointing its hand out to you it tries to crane a uh, thunder wave on you, a blast on you dealing 13 damage if you want to roll a con save for me Is that on? Sorry. Uh, Love my boy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yep. <laughs> 18, you succeed. So you feel this trying to try to push you back um, as it surges on you, but you are able to just brace yourself and only take 13, not 13, you take 6 damage. Was it trying to push me up the edge? Yes. What? To be fair, this platform, this area here is a bit raised, and like there's like you could like, you could step down in terms of the next sections. It's when you fall off this side, this quest, it's a worry. It's a situation. But yeah, that okay. new way is gonna get ready for once you next hit it, it's going to um I'll need to remember it's gonna do something. Yo, uh Lonico, the one on you is going to try to bite you twice and then slash at you once. How much damage should I take by their little stupid thing? I've already done the damage. Ah, okay, thanks. Below, you're able to, like, using your... Like, you still have one mirror image left, don't you? I do, yeah. Yeah, so you you guys are still, like, just, like, dodging and ducking and weaving. Yeah. Oh my god, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's like, oh, like, uh, Skyler was like, what level is this uh, campaign going up to? And Sam's like, oh, it's next level. Oh my god, you fucking asshole. <laughs> yeah. You're able to dodge and duck and weave this um, Aloniko. The one that's near the fire, however, is panicking, seeing the fire come and starts <laughs> swatting at it. Starts patting at it, trying to s smolder it out, and is able to do it. But spends his entire time doing that. And you see just like jittering and um and japing and it rushes towards satoshi but it just keeps just a bit of distance and the tengu still circling around it looks down at all of you 
and it flies over the cloud. Flies over with its cloud. And then just looks back down at you guys. It's Satoshi's turn. Why hate us so much? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you such a hater? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> As you guys say that, Satoshi says, I'm gonna get it. And then satoshi stands on the railing balancing themselves and realigning the wheel as they do so and then creates a lightning lure again and tries whipping it towards the tengu actually no they're not sorry no they're not they're gonna they're gonna grab the chair as they said earlier and <laughs> grabbing the chair they catapult Give him the chair. they grab it and like they pull it on the rail as if like it's on a slingshot and let go of it and the, the chair flies like um like Over. a cannonball towards the Tengu. That DC would be 50. I don't know why it's doing that. And the Tengu is able to... Let's see if it... <laughs> Wait, yeah, no, the Tengu... got more chairs. <laughs> it goes into the clouds and you just see the chair on the other side fly outwards. And you don't hear a noise there. You just see the chair falling <laughs> through the clouds. This fisherman, like, having a peaceful day, and out of nowhere, chair. <laughs> and you see Satoshi just now. <sighs> Satoshi looks at Lo and then looks at the uh, Lo-Fi boy and then looks back at the Tengu. And decides it'll stay up here because, like, it'd rather not leave Lo on her own. <laughs> and then... Oh my god. <laughs> Give me a second, I'm gonna check something. No, it's not gonna do that. So yeah, it is now. Low your turn. Oh, the music stopped for a second. Um. Oh, shit. It's Sorry. Still there, or... No, I, I actually put us on the BRB gel house. <laughs> how I don't know how high up is the Tengu? Good question. Thirty feet. Um, I'm. <laughs> debating. I'm not debating moving, doing burning hands again. Definitely, that's not what I'm <laughs> that's doing. Not what no, no, of course not. <laughs> but I might. <laughs> um, can I? Am I able to move around this one so I'm standing on the other side of it? Yeah, as long as you're still t focusing on it, you can move around it. Yeah. Amazing. Um, <laughs> I might end up setting more things on fire, but that's fine. We'll find out. Uh, <laughs> it's part of the. It's part of the the whole the whole the, the arrangement. You you you, you cast fire. That's your whole thing. It's my thing now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do burning hands again. <laughs> Go ahead. Make sure I. Do. It is a Dixie. Sorry, I mean roll two. Oh shit. <laughs> They're both able to just zip and zap and like just move out of the way. And you kind of like trying to chase after them, but when they go separate ways, you set the table on fire. <laughs> and Yuki just turns you. Oh boy. <laughs> but they do get caught. They do. They take four damage. Uh. <laughs> We're really in it now, Yuki. Well, I mean, you wanted to be a fire shaman. This, this was in the contract, so like, they should have expected less. I, I, think. I mean, I didn't want to be a fire shaman. I... Oh, sorry, my, mis my mistake. Sorry. I... The fire shaman wanted you. 
I, 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 I just thought you wanted to be part of the cool kids. But okay, no, it's fine. I mean, I do, but Good. I didn't choose Cause you, cause to be a fire shaman in, in, in particular. I just am. Um, yeah. yeah, that's that's uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Ex uh, not exclamation mark chat a little fourth wall break uh, chat you guys can actually summon yuki with uh, a shaman and a fox just saying ah. yeah anything else loniko um... so toshi's also like oh my god <laughs> <laughs> oh my god sorry my miss correction i don't think there's anything i can do with the bonus action so um, damn, okay. <laughs> no worries. Lone Eagle, Lofa Boy, it's your turn. Roll your wild magic for me. Yep, yep, yep. 51. What's 51? 51. 51. 51. 51. 51. Zulu Lane. It's not, it's 64. Also, oh, chat, I hope you guys are enjoying the session. Sorry, continue. within 10 foot radius centered on you completely lose their saturation become gray oh the f oh yeah it's the magical darkness that trails behind me and uh it's kind of like basically the darkness spell but instead of being in like a circle it's like this like line behind me okay and, and yeah so and they can't see through it so it's cool uh, I think it's cool. Um, oops. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. No, no, that's, that's okay. I, so I guess, you. um, what I do then is, um, how much movement? I just want to see. Bloop, 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 bloop. Okay, uh, right, okay, okay, I know what I'm going to do. It's going to be really weird AF, but... I'm gonna start running around the boat. <laughs> I, I know, you, I see what you're doing. You know what I, you, you see where I'm going, right? Yeah, okay, I see where you're going. Wait. Just... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. All right, so, go, go slowly, go slowly. I'm gonna go like this. And I'm gonna use an action to also dash. To just create darkness all the way around. Can you see all these spots? I cannot see nothing. Wait, 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 let me do a screenshot. Oops, I dropped it. Like this? Yeah. So you will get attack of opportunity. You know how high a 5 cube... Uh, yeah, so it, it's basically... And then I, I duck behind it so that like the Tengu doesn't see me anymore yeah. and yet the, the thing would get attack of opportunity on the me. Tengu I does, me actually. Tengu does trail around trail chasing you. Uh, the new way does try to attack you when you run away though. And it's gonna... It's gonna Thunder Wave. Okay. Roll a con save. Con save? Yep. Another day, another con save. <laughs> Nineteen, you succeed. You take only seven damage. Right. As Yuki leaps out of um, Loniko, uh, Yuki um, on your sh uh, on your arms, um, like as you like, you're reaching out to burning hands, like they're on your like uh, where like your wrist is, and they leap off it and they turn into their uh, normal size. And Lofi boy, you actually see it this time, and Satoshi, you see it in Satoshi. Um, panic seeing this green fire creature uh, <laughs> leap onto their deck. Uh, no more and fine. He's it, with me. <laughs> it turns to Satoshi and Lofi Boy and gives a little playful smile. A very teasing smile, I would describe. Um, below Nico, a base. It... Sorry, go on. sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, 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 could I do my bonus action or is it too late? You can do your bonus action. It's, it's still your turn. Okay, okay. You can finish your description and then I'll do the bullet section. Yeah. So yeah, the when Yuki jumps out, uh, Yuki um, Loniko is able to use any of your spells as an action and a bonus action. So they can cast 
two oh. spells on a turn if they wanted to. <gasps> they only last for three turns, but they have no, uh, what's it called? But they only have one hit point. Oh, my boy. <laughs> you feel more like OP. Like, and they have OP. your AC of 16. Anything else? Oh, sorry. Uh, it's your bone section, sorry. Uh, low five. Yeah. So the bullet section would be the the previous thing with the, the drop the beat, because the white noise is still, um, like... Cool. Okay. Um, so the 10 foot radius would get the, the one that's in the corner right here. Okay. And that would also include myself, but, I mean... Mm -hmm. It's got 13, so it fails. Cool. So basically... You succeed. Alright, oof, the dice gods are with me. Um, the... what's it called? Then what happens is that they become deafened until the next round. And they also do the 1d6 thunder. That's if they take any damage from mm -hmm. thunder, but... As it ripples out of you, you see when it hits the yokai, it turns to you and goes to like cover its ears, but as it does that, you see these shockwave cut it in half, causing it to like burst outwards and just glow with white fire and like sizzling uh, white lightning and um, glitching around it as it just like splutters out and not splutters, but like it like kind of like just distorts in front of you and disappears. Oh. Let me get the music going again. Anything else? So basically, uh -huh. I just dropped, like, the, the white noise, it just, like, I cancelled it. Mm -hmm. It got cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> Out of existence. No, that's it. <laughs> no, it's, it is now. It is the new ace turn. And this one that's in the darkness is going to... Instead of being in the doctor, it's going to rush up and then climb, scamper up the, um, scamper up the wall. And as it leaps over, it sees Yuki and it gives a shriek and jitter, almost in panic, and then steps forward, doing Thunder Wave. Uh, Lo, could you roll me a con save for Yuki? And the way Yuki works is similar minion rule. So if it either it succeeds a con save and takes a uh, don't doesn't take damage, or it fails and takes the damage, Yuki succeeds. So Yuki's able to like just like jump over the lightning and stand on it for a moment, and then give a smile back at the new way as it like drops back to the ground. Satoshi, however, does not get the same benefit. Oh no! I gets buffeted, but uh, when Satoshi gets caught by it, they catch the lightning for a second, and they are going to do something. as they have a reaction, I believe, if I remember, to something. They do not, never mind. How is the health looking, by the way? Satoshi seems to be, although panicky here and there, they, they seem to be holding up pretty well. Lo-Fi Boy, however, you can kind of tell, is like, in, like you can see like bits of it falling off. He's falling apart again. Yeah. You're tearing me apart, New A. <laughs> We're full of full Oops. of the references today. Um yeah, so the new A is gonna thunder wave and surge outwards. And the one on you, Loniko, is gonna once again create a cloud of uh, smoke. That surges around you. As you can see its eyes for a second on you, but then you can see Yuki's eyes uh, glistening through the darkness. Um, as they look like the setting sun, similar to the same uh, to the night or the evening you met Yuki the first time. Actually, I believe it was nighttime, so like it would actually be um, their mm. eyes would be uh, like the star, uh, like the night sky. Sorry, my mistake. Let me change that. Now is the Tengu's turn. 
The Tengu sees you crouching and is going to fly towards you. But they will get disadvantage, I believe, with all the uh, Lock White Boy, because you're darkness. Because you are crouching. Yeah, basically, uh, yeah, I'm crouched, uh, like, to be, like, hidden behind the cover of the darkness. Mm -hmm. You see that they have four, um, they have, uh, three arms. And, like, with, uh, they put the banana fan in the third arm in the back. And with the two in front, they grab onto its staff. And you notice the staff is, like, this four-pointed, uh, star of Shirele, uh, of uh, the Shio car. Uh, but it's distorted on some of the uh, the points, and it flies towards you as if it's trying to swat you with uh, with its uh, with its staff, as if it was a um, as if you were a fly. Able to make uh, its uh, attack twice on you. Luckily, it's got disadvantage, so it, it, the first one fails. And you're able to just hide in the darkness and just start swatting away at the darkness around you, but completely missing you, as it's now on you. Oh. Bringing the clouds with it, but like, not as close anymore, so it just circles around the, uh... It is now... Satoshi's turn, and Satoshi seeing this, but seeing the new way, and seeing the table on fire, it's in a bit of a, a bit of a state for a second. It's fine. And seeing the darkness. They're gonna they're gonna rush over to the the water. I mean the fire and create water, creating a blanket of water that envelops over the fire and like uh, washing it out. And now as like these this uh, it's the sun saying and you can see some of the skies coming through. That was like a lot of the light around the arena was coming from the fire that like that was creating and the torchlight but the torchlight had to also be uh, washed out and satoshi's going to wildly try and attack at the um they can't they have no uh they have nothing else they can do give me a second i need to remember that. so yeah no they end then they'll end the turn there loniko it is your turn Okay, so there's darkness again, isn't there? Yeah, darkness around you, so you will have disadvantage on any sight-related things. Um, and I use Yuki on my turn. Yeah, so you'll be able to move right? him. Yeah. Um, this will be the first turn, so you, uh, this won't count towards the timer. Okay. Um, with Yuki, so I basically... Can I basically cast two spells with Yuki? Or... Yes, one action spe uh, spell and one bonus action spell. Okay. But you're able to cast two um... spells in the sense that, like, as long as you, you can cast a bonus action and a action spell, but not two action mm. spells. Okay. In that case, um, I'll do Yuki's turn first, and I will get him to do healing word on Lo-Fi Boy, because mm -hmm. that's a bonus action. Um. Six. As you hear Yuki's voice, Lo-Fi Boy, are you hurt? <laughs> Everything okay there, Lo-Fi Boy? In a very condescending it's a, tone. It's the first time I actually hear him, though. Well, that's a shame. Yuki, well, that's okay. is that your voice? No. <laughs> It's me, Lo Nico. <laughs> Hello, Lo Fi Boy. If you're if you're just here to be mischievous, now is not the time. <laughs> There's always the time. <laughs> and you see his their starry eyes turn to you, Lo Nico, for a second. See? Blood of my blood. <laughs> so you feel the these little foxes circle around you, Lo Fi Boy, and heal you. And like they uh, enter in through your chassis and you feel the healing. How much? Oh, fairy fire. Uh, already they gave it six. So they're uh, casting it's, fairy uh, fire. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, yes. <laughs> who, who are you casting fairy fire on? Um, or each object? It's a, it's, a, it's a, yeah, it's a 20 foot cube. So it's a pretty. It's a big I don't know how big that cube is. It's a big cube. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's enough to catch the air of the darkness or it most is. of it 
So mm -hmm. any creature in the area within the spell is um, each object. So yeah, everything has like a. Um, oh, you get to choose what uh, what has the fairy lighting and what it looks like. What color? Uh, we'll go with green because it's Yuki. He's you see Yuki kind of like bite at the new ways. Uh, I assume you're, you're casting on one of the new way. Uh, any creature, yeah, in the area when the spell is cast is outlined in light if it fails a deck save. Oh, sorry, my mistake. The new uh, Yuki is gonna go to bite at the legs of the uh, the um, the yokai. They have your he has your uh, deck save. So what is that? Uh, it's a fifteen. Fifteen. So yeah, one the, the one closest to you fails, but the one furthest away succeeds. Uh, but you see, you can see through the darkness, uh, just like the flames of Yuki like fan some of the darkness away and you can see him just bite at one of the legs of the new way and it begins yeah, to glow it green sheds, it sheds dim light in a 10 foot radius mm -hmm. so, there will be concentration yeah. so I'll have to remember that's concentration um, if I, yeah, if I were to move Yuki would they get a tech of opportunity on they him? would okay. well I and guess you can chill out with me in mm. <laughs> in whatever the situation is that we're sitting in yeah. um okay so that's you keep so now i can use my things uh <laughs> didn't know mm. what i wanted to do um <laughs> so i can see well, if i can get you turn ready in a second yeah born ready i was forged for this moment you were well actually not more like for gardening <laughs> but that, that's another mm. <laughs> that's more to the backstory uh um I've... i would do sacred flame oh. no i'm not i'm gonna do can i do firebolt on the one next to me. That... You can. You will have disadvantage. Oh no, you don't. You will have. Um, you have just a normal on it because it it cancels out. Oh. Unless you want to use I'll your chat inspiration and get advantage on that. Yeah. <laughs> you can. You can still get advantage. You just, you just have to use uh. Sammy's advantage. Um. I will. Sure, let's do that. Let's use my chat inspiration. Um, on my, yeah, the one in front of me. Mm -hmm. uh, you can roll again. Oh shit! Oh. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> you. Describe, describe what this fireball looks like and then roll damage. Actually, you wouldn't... Yeah, roll damage. It's not a deck save. Anyway. Um, I guess now that Yuki's out, my fire probably looks more similar to his. Um, let me click on that. Hey. And with... As you like... How, how do you how do you cast it? Sorry, my, my brain fired. Um, <laughs> she'll probably um, she'll probably strum her shamanism and because her mask is like her shamanic focus. Mm -hmm. I like to think like the because it's been carved from like wood. So I like to think like the little sort of grains of wood in it kind of glow a little oh. bit with like yeah with, like fire. Um, and then the fire itself is like the same color as yuki's because mm. he's chilling with yeah, it it glows red as like it leaves you and like you can see amongst the the fire you can see foxes running through the fire and you can see spider lilies blooming outwards from like in like these large bursts as they go towards the um the new way and you can see that spirit that was around you circle around your arm and go swinging at the new way as it's charging towards it. <laughs> and you keep beside you, you see opens their mouth and sings with your shamisen and causing green fire to burst out, L joining your fire as it swirls around this new way, consuming them. And then amongst 
a... I wouldn't say rainbow, but like it's like a very vibrant fire show of white fire, green fire, and red fire that begins to glitch and spark. Your red fire and green fire consume the white. Destroying uh, that new way, and you, uh, like it lights up all the dark clouds around you. And Satoshi, uh, you can't see, but like as like this uh, fire burns at these thundering clouds around you, um, Satoshi's panicked seeing the fire thinking that the, the ship is about to catch fire. And Lofo, you see this fire as well. Like, these dark clouds be consumed by the fire. And the Tengu's gaze moves. As the, tang as the fire um, diminishes, the Tengu's gaze turns to low, uh, low Nico. Hi. <laughs> and oh my god, I can move. gives, like, a crow squawk <laughs> that distorts. You can move. Oh. Um... I don't know where I can prove <laughs> Um mm. I mean, is there any of the... Uh, I don't really know if I want to move now. There's not really anywhere to go that's going to do me any good, really. You, if you went, like, you would be able to use cover if you went around. like Yeah, if I, well, if I went right round down yeah. here. Yeah, like you'd have cover up till this point. Okay. Even on this um, side, to be fair. What if I stood... Hang on. Here. Is that... Still cover on that bit? Sorry, repeat that again, sir? Uh, is it cover if I come over yeah. here? Yeah. You're short enough to be able to crouch and scooch. <laughs> scooch. I'm gonna go scooch. <laughs> mm. Anything else? Um, no, I think that's it. That's all I can do, because everyone's still got Bardic Inspiration. Yeah. So. It is Lofa, your turn, and also I will note that the t when the Tengu flew down at you, they uh, their height matched yours, and they tower over you. <clears throat> Alright. I'm just gonna say, oh, nice one, Moniko! I really feel inspired by that. I know what's happening with me, but it, it's, it's kind of exhilarating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the error thing, like, happens again. What do you do? Aww, <laughs> oh, it resets. <laughs> oh no, the rip like, it ripples outwards. And then... As it comes back in, you feel like your parts form back onto you, as if like it's resetting. Um, in that moment, the parts that were knocked off you, though you could actually see some like metal, uh, like bits of lo-fi boy, like fly upward and scratch against the wood as it flies towards him. Like it's really awesome. I don't know why, but it's really cool. And then I just like attack, I guess, with the glaive. How high is it above me, the Tengu? It's matching your height. Like, it comes up to, like, knee. Uh, like, its knee reaches the railing and it towers over you by, like, at least 10 more feet. I see. It's a big target. <laughs> well, 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 well. <laughs> so, basically, like, after talking to little Nico, standing up correctly to attack with the glaive. Uh, yeah! It catches, like, as you go to uh, slash at it with your glaive, it catches the glaive in the central part of the the four-point star. And, like, just holds it there. Oh, dang. That's so cool. And two of its uh... eyes look down at you. And you can see one of the wings, eye, like, the eyes and the wings are all looking at you. While the ones on his face are still focused on uh, Satoshi and Loniko and Yuki. I guess I just pull back uh, the glaive and um, I just want to see something, something really, 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 really quick. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, okay, no, that's it. Okay, yeah. Uh, I will just stand my ground and that's it. Not move, not do anything. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Nice. Like anything actually, uh, wait, I'm, oh no, 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 staying here. He's staying there. The new way is going to attack Yuki. Oh, there we I go. have a question. Far away. We said it reset, though. It goes back to zero. Yeah, we're uh, ten. Make it reset, right? Yeah, it goes back to ten, instead of sixteen. Okay, okay. instead of like doing both, that would yeah. be like just weird. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no, no. Okay, yeah. good, good, good. The new way is going to turn to Satoshi, slashing at him twice, and then sending one a uh, bite towards um, Yuki. Does thirteen hit Lonika? Uh, no, it's fifteen. Sixteen. Yeah, able to dodge. And it. both Yuki uh, and Satoshi both jump at the same time, as like the um the the new way tries attacking both, and then tries to scamper away. Actually, no, it's not. It's gonna stay there, but it is going to ready in action as soon as if once you guys try to hit, it will use its reaction. The Tengu now is going to swat away your attack, Lo-Fi Boy, and then flap its wings at you. Could you roll for me a con save? Ooh, you take minimum damage. As the new way, I mean not the new way, sorry, the Tengu starts thundering and lightning, surging around him. Starts surging around him. If I do, sorry, 30 feet. That is the one, yeah. Um, it starts surging around it, and you see it, when it flaps its wings, the the clouds swirl around it and they start sparking and then they buff it like a jolt of lightning towards you. Luckily it only deals the minimum amount of damage. If I find the thing. It only deals um, one damage to you. No, sorry, one damage. Six damage is minimum. But then it's going to swat its wings again on you. So it goes for two. So another like, con save? No, no, no con save on the second one. Okay. But you, oh. you, you're able to dodge the second one. That's like you pull your glaive away from it. You know what? Like, just like it stopped me with its uh, thing, I'd like to imagine I stop it with my thing this right. time. Yeah, you, you, <laughs> you parry it. And as you see, like, as that lightning bolt surges past you, uh, low, you can see this lightning surge outwards like a wave, and as soon as it touches the new way, the new way goes to slash at Satoshi one more time. But Satoshi is able, even in like the panic, instinctively just moves away from it. And you see that spirit again, a low five boy that's still on you, uh, the one that's like looks a bit hazy. Um, they look up at you and give another smile and a little <laughs> noise. As uh, you <laughs> feel them heal you, giving you uh, 10 hit points. Uh, I fist bump it. Fist bumps <laughs> back and it gives another laugh at you. And now it is the, um, the what's it called's turn. Uh, Lonely Coast, your turn. Wait. No, it is Lonely Coast, sorry, my mistake. As now it starts raining and thundering around you very heavily. Um, is there like an area of darkness, or is that no, no? That's what? um, that was from the Tengu's uh thingy. Sorry, I'll get rid of that. Oh. Um. Okay, so I am going to. I didn't think this far ahead. Um. I will, uh... is the is the deck higher up, or can yeah, I still up, yeah. hit this? Well, you'd still be able to like you you'd be able to reach over, because like you're still on okay. the step, so you can like just step up over up a bit if you yeah. wanted to. Um, I'm going to do another fire bolt. That's the word. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Oh shit, yo! <laughs> <laughs> Real damage. That's crazy. You want to describe it again, or um, do you want the same kind of effect to happen? Same, same thing, I guess. Jesus. 
So this time I'll yeah. go throw away. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, you like just launch a ball of fire towards um, the new way. And as it's doing so, you can see the ball of fire turn into a fox. And as it's just chasing after the new way running through the air, you see Yuki jump up with it and join in with it. And they both just together just burst on the um, the new way. And it consumes it, wiping it, like turning it into a mess of fire. As the fire just consumes the entire arena. Oh, not the just entire arena, just that, that one time. little area for it. Um, yeah, you're having, a, you're having a good old, good old, good old time. Having a good old time. Okay, that was my go. So I will do the new way out off the map. You keep go. Um, and I'm going to do vicious mockery. Go ahead. On the tank. Then do it so and then tell me what. Do... Or you want it me must succeed in wisdom saving throw. Would you like to say what tank? Sorry. Would you like to say what gonna... uh, my boy says? I was going to I was going <laughs> to. I mean, I, I assume you know what I was going to say, but. I assume you were going to say bitch. <laughs> yeah, I was going to call it a bitch. <laughs> oh, hello, Mr. Birdman. You big bitch. You can just say How's that? Is that is that good, Low Nico? Was that good? That was How's perfect. That? Thank you. Perfect. The Tengu looks at Yuki. <laughs> it will need to roll a wisdom save. Yeah, you, you, nice. you feathery <laughs> bitch. Yeah, with your, with your, your, your bird wings. Stupid. You, you just, it takes, <laughs> just it takes it. more psychic damage and it has disadvantage on its next attack roll. It makes before the end of its next turn. Excellent. Um, Long, oh, sorry, gone. Yeah. I was just going to ask Yuki to, to come up with me. <laughs> coming, coming. I don't want it looking at me like that. Yeah. As it rushes towards like, call me. Call it a bitch and then come over here. Yeah, <laughs> bitch. As it, like, tries to go, as it runs under the cover. Did you, do you think it saw us? No, I think, I think we're fine. It's on your red dot now. <laughs> you think we're safe? Um, Good. That's hilarious. Love her voice. You're going to do a healing word on Satoshi if he, yeah. if he wants it. He can. Satoshi will happily accept. There we go. Here, uh, Mr. Wetman. <laughs> have, have a bit of healing. Thank you. Uh, shots back. You can't tell when he's doing vicious mockery and when he's not. Mm. <laughs> Anything else? No, that's it. <laughs> We're gonna hide now. No. Yeah. Love my boy, it's your turn. Alright. So, 65. Five. Oh, yeah! Oh, I was really excited for this one. It's the delayed self. So, uh, basically, I glitched uncontrollably in and out of existence, and, um, for one minute, old oh, tag, that's gonna be so long, oh, wow. but, and whenever I take the attack action, multiply by two if I hit, but also cause attack of opportunity, uh, if I'm within reach of the target. <laughs> so, with that, I will try to attack, um, yeah. But does it then does basically, it get attack you back? Yeah, it gets to attack me back, basically. Because there, there's like, now whenever like, the fight boy can like moves like, on like, a little bit, like he, there's like, a little, another version of him like a little bit in the past. Yeah. Uh, so he's just like rippling in and out of existence as like this, like the phasing in and out with two different versions. 18 hits. Alright, so whatever I roll next, that's gonna happen twice. 
Because he did total damage by two. That would be 16. 16 damage, yeah. The Tengu tries to parry, but this time it isn't able to catch your your glaive. And it gets plus four because of the rage. Oh, not like that. Minus eight. There we go. As it tries to carry, catch you, but like you, like with two glaive slashes, as you phase in and, and out of existence, you catch it and cl almost like like you clip one of its feathers, as you do so, and it just sh sh uh, you hear this like core that like just shrieks outwards at you. Anything else? Uh, I, you know what? As a bonus action, I will do the little thunder thunder thing so i roll a con for myself see if i become uh... mm -hmm. uh, uh, it fails. i lost where the cult save was is that for a minute as well that if it fails uh no it's just for one round that it becomes uh no no, no the definite state because like is that was that for like one minute or was that how like uh, does it? Because I don't think it continues, does it? Until your rage ends. Oh shit. Yeah. That we. Yeah, you succeed to roll d6 for me. Yep. As he gets buffeted once more by your, like, sonic blast from your. just this white noise that you emit. Anything else? Uh, I would say... Nah, I'm gonna stand my ground again. And I'm looking at it in its eyes, and like, I feel like super... <laughs> Shoot! <Bless> Sorry! You. <laughs> <laughs> you feel super achoo. <laughs> Stupid yoke, I'm allergic to you guys. <laughs> He's allergic to feathers. Mm. <laughs> I'm just gonna roll with that interaction. You will get an attack opportunity if you want to roll for me. Okay. If you want to attack it, you will get attack opportunity on it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'll attack you again. Go ahead. Glaive, glaive, glaive. You miss. As like you try yeah. to like catch it this time, it catches you again with its uh, with its staff and pulls your glaive. So you kind of jolt outwards. Um, I believe. Inspiration that I got from Lil Nico, am I yeah. able to do it now or is it yeah, too late? Yeah. yeah, you can, yeah. It'd be a D6 like, on Like, even after knowing that, like, it failed, I mean? Yeah. Or. Yeah? Because I don't know Bart, but if you say so, I will add the D6. It's a D4? No, D6. It's a D6. Oh, cool. And also, it does something. Oh, shit, your moat. Yeah. 15, yeah. 16, that hits. Um, what does it do? It's an attack roll, right? Okay, so uh, the moat thunderously shatters. The target and each creature of your choice I can see within five feet of it must succeed on a constitution saving throw against my spell saves DC or take thunder damage equal to the number rolled on the bardic inspiration die. So oh, it needs yo. to roll a con save. Or get five thunder. Yeah. They thought they thought they were the like the big deal with their thunder claw. Like, look at it, just look at it, like taking all that thunder damage, just like a little weakling, little flying bird. How much other damage does it take? Five. 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 And did you roll damage? Not yet, no. Uh, does the delayed self still apply? For I think it's for a minute, minute yeah. So, it so, apply. yeah. yeah. <laughs> so go ahead. So, yeah, then that becomes uh, 8, so 16. Mm -hmm. As, like, you glitching in and out, and, like, you get, like, this... 
you feel those uh, fox spirits around you also join in and like glitch with you for this moment and but then like it kind of like it like thrusts itself in a way like as if like it's trying to fly backwards uh clapping all its paws in on one space and creating a blast of uh, thunder towards the tengu and causing it to try and shield itself with its banana fan and its staff and taking it all though getting pushed back it now charges in on you with its staff and goes for one uh swat with you on you you will get a, you already did the attack of opportunity as it did so yeah um this 15 hit nope nope you're fine and as it flies into the center into the middle of the uh the airship um dock situate uh area it looks around it can it looks down through the railing at you lonik on yuki turns to satoshi and turns to um a loniko and f swats its fan around itself all these roll me a con save please oh no <laughs> that's spooky am. <laughs> Do I need to uh, roll one for Yuki? Yes. Ho <laughs> ho! I've Long. had like four natural 20s today, yeah. and I, I haven't know. had one in like years. So what is I happening? <laughs> the Toshi also needs to roll one. Aside, you're on fire for real. <laughs> Become a shaman. Mm, that's, that's it. <laughs> 12. Okay. So you all succeed. Lo, you grab Yuki and run down the stairs <laughs> and crouch. And you get some of this blast hit you. You get the absolute minimum damage, which is 10. No, it's not 10, sorry. sorry it's, not, it's not 10, sorry. It, it was uh, 4. That's because that's the minimum. Mom, uh, no, <laughs> Wait, mom, half sorry, mom, no. mistake. <laughs> This is meant to kill, like, holy frick. And Satoshi only catches uh, half of it as well. Satoshi kind of like leaps over the rail, not leaps on over the rail, sorry, gets under the table <laughs> and crashes underneath the dive. It. Yeah. It's how you protect yourself from earthquakes and hurricanes, I think. <laughs> dive, dive. <laughs> Satoshi the hits the ground. And you, the area begins to start uh, freezing and frosting as this cold wind takes over all of you and lo you're able to kind of fight the heat but it's still just it's very difficult to push through and yuki is also trying to give up as much heat as he as they can to keep you warm you can see uh through the railing um lo-fi boy you can see the waves of uh, satoshi's hair freezing <clears throat> and just the entire deck becomes frost as all your speeds have been reduced by 10 no sorry you guys are all fine, but like you'll need to roll a con save on your next turn. Actually, no, you won't. Oh, yeah, you will. Yeah, sorry, my mistake. As long as you're within 20 feet of the Tengu. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. Well, for all the times you said it, Kaz. Mm, I know. You're kill a little five boy. And as, you, as that's happening, you see Satoshi <laughs> under the table touch the table. Causing it to catapult into the back of the Tengu. <laughs> I respect them so much. And the Tengu just like catches it with his wing, and the table just explodes over, um, over its um, over the wing as the force just smashes into it, and completely caught like it as it touch before it even touches the Tengu, it turns to ice, and even the fire that was on the torch. Um, well, not the water torch, the, uh, the, um, the crate water that was on top for a moment and turned to frost and just shatters before it even, like, gets... Like, you can... If you you guys are able to, like, squint and see, like, before it even touches the Tengu, like, this, like, frosty air magic around the Tengu catches the, the table and causes it to, like, just turn to frost and explode and just splintering wood all over the... Um, um, flies out of the ship. As uh, Satoshi's like, oh, shit. <laughs> and then rushes and jumps over the railing. Into the darkness. <laughs> As once again, Lo-Fi Boy, you feel this hazy spirit 
l crawl out of one of your uh, one of your uh, the, the the your flower spot on your chassis, and you just see it holding a uh, a, a little uh, a little pipe. And look, hehe, <laughs> hehe. <laughs> And you get uh, four hit points. I'm silvery barbs. I didn't realize we were getting so much damage. God. <laughs> My brain is it's not okay. computing. <laughs> it is lonely, but your turn. Okay. I'm gonna misty step. <laughs> Go ahead. Are you misty step. Um. Well, I'm, uh, I guess I'll misty step there because mm -hmm. it's thirty feet, isn't it? You get wreaths in fire for a moment, and you keep panicking. Wait, wait, where are you going, Lonico? <laughs> oh, you're over there. It's okay. Never mind. As you were. Um, and I'm gonna come up here and slap Lo-Fi Boy uh, <laughs> with the cure wounds. Mm -hmm. If you wanna, yeah, you just get this this warm slap on your back. As uh, you I'm feel trying. Lonely Cut's warm hands um, heat your metal. Can I cast it at second level? You can. As long as you haven't used uh, your second level spell slots. This is Yuki's last turn, by the way. Okay. Because um, I have a... My shaman spellcasting thing, I cast at the maximum level mm -hmm. that I can do. And I have one of those. So I think that's... <laughs> What I'm gonna do. You get 18 hit, hit points as you feel this warm fire swirl around you. Oh shit, that was the wrong, wrong button. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, wrong button. That was an accident. <laughs> as this warm... <laughs> yeah, she slashed me back, <laughs> killed him. <laughs> this is what you get, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> for those, for eating that spirit and being stupid. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Christmas tree going up and down like this. And then, um, I don't know, I guess I'm gonna go hide around in this corner. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so that's my spells. When you run to hide, you hear the jittering, distorted voice of this thing. Only you can hear it. <laughs> oh no. Lofa, well, you don't react to this noise, but like Lonika, you hear this shake around you. Girl, don't hide from me. Why and not? Lofa, will shatter. I don't think it wants us to hide, Lonika. You hear uh, Yuki shout that, Lofa boy. Honestly, I think with the white noise around me, oh, I succeeded, so I can hear right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that, that, that's it. That's that. As soon as my turn starts, uh, I don't hear things anymore. The white noise just whoop, like bloop. Uh, pops right back. Mm -hmm. I haven't done Yuki's. Yes, you haven't. So you can. Thing. I don't actually know what I was going to make him cast. Um. I don't want to stand in the open. <laughs> That's You scary. feel low Nico is wavering for a moment in that like he's like, it's okay. I'm going to go in a second. Uh, tag me in coach. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to think of what I want him to, 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 uh, words. Um, you know what? Can I get him to cast burning hands on it <laughs> he can and you see you you can run up and like he's fading as he's doing so but as soon as like he casts it and like he materializes uh stops for a second he like he retains his like uh presence so he's no longer like spiritual again uh because roval has redeemed shaman and the fucks <gasps> So he's back. Three more turns. He's back. Wait, no, I was meant to go. No, low, low, Nico. I don't know. I, I, you, I don't, I, I don't you, know why you're here either. Why did you betray me so? He shouts I back. I didn't do it. You were the Maikai. Blood of my blood. As, I was so kind. As the Tengu's going to roll deck save. 
succeeding. I believe succeeding because it's your deck save. Uh, yeah, it's fifteen. So it takes... Fifteen. Mm -hmm. So it only half, takes a half. Yeah. So the fire turn like is green and like as it like it does the same thing. You see when it turns to like uh, uh, block itself from Yuki's fire, uh, the fire turns icy and materializes and turns into like is actually a physical frozen fire. And as it hits the ground, it shatters. Low Nico. <laughs> Did it hit him at all? It did. It did like some of the fire okay. did. You can see some of uh, the, like the fire burning, green fire burning some of the feathers, but most of the fire has hit the ground and shattered. <laughs> Just gonna tell Yuki to hide it again. Okay. <laughs> okay. I can't get him to do anything else because uh, it's mm. not like he can cast Bardic Inspiration for me. <laughs> <He cannot. laughs> Also, I'm just standing there to low fly boy now because I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought you, were you did you want to hide or? Um, I, I don't you... know. That's okay. I was going to and then he was like, don't hide. And now I'm like, well, <laughs> hands my hips. What am I going to do? I want Yuki to hide. <laughs> um... <laughs> Yuki just crawls into a ball. <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant behind the railing, Yuki. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Runs behind. It is Lofa your turn. I'm just gonna stand there. Ah, uh, you're it. standing there, alright. Uh, well, good luck to you, because I'm about to roll something. <laughs> <laughs> Fireball. <laughs> Peak Seeker. Heat Seeker. Oh? <laughs> that one is so stupid. What's this one? <laughs> oh, Peak Seeker. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Any movement that I spend, <laughs> I try to go on the highest point that I can. <laughs> oh, okay. Dang. So the highest point you can get is on top of the roof, <laughs> I don't know. or on top of the pagoda towers. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh. Uh. I like. It's like basically <laughs> right now. You have to climb. You, have. Don't you have to climb? You have to. Oh, uh, maybe. You know what? You no. have to. Roll acrobatic uh, athletics to climb. climb. What are you climbing? On the pagoda, then. Like, the towers? I don't have it. I mean, what's worse? What's they, they are taller, but like you could climb onto the ceiling here. Of the... The airship. <laughs> okay, okay. So, so here... Uh, first I'll throw the hand axe still, but then yeah. I'll climb after, if that's okay. Yeah, go ahead. Um... Uh, well, that would be with a dex when it's thrown, right? Instead of strength? Yes. Okay. Just want to switch that. That hits. Alright. And you still have your glitchingness. In... Yeah, yeah, still the glitchiness. That deals 10. Yeah, and as the hand axe uh, flies through here, you see a second hand axe following it, uh, Lone Nico. As you see Lo-Fi Boy kind of glitching in and out of the place as the Tengu tries to catch it, but it gets one of the eyes, causing it to burst into white fire. And you can see the green crystal on its uh, on its uh, head crack. Uh, and so I want uh, the rest of my... Uh, I'm going to try to climb. I guess I have to do a roll for that. Yes, acrobatics athletics. I'm gonna go with uh, athletics. 
Like, let's use that strength. Yeah, you, with no trouble, you're able to spend 30 feet of your movement and climb onto, like climbing onto the ceiling of the pagoda. Uh, the ceiling, the ceiling. So you're able to climb onto the ceiling, and you are on it now. Oh shit. <laughs> the perspective change and closer to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> you are now 20 feet in the air. Alright. You would, and then... to get to the highest point, you'd want to move to the center, actually. Because yeah, it right. kind of inclines upwards. See ya. This and Lo, you can idea. hear the f you can you see Lo Fobo just suddenly start climbing <laughs> upwards, and you see the Tengu's eye some of the Tengu's eyes follow Lo Fi Boy on the ceiling as if like like hearing him walking on top of the roof, and you can see Satoshi's look up at you like what are you doing? <laughs> no, no, wrong way, wrong way down, down, fight me here. The high grounds now. This is a good point. You can't see him. There's no vantage point. <laughs> Trust me, it'll work. <laughs> I don't know, you don't look like someone who's read the book on strategy. I've read books before, trust me, it'll work. It's another day, another foolproof plan. <laughs> <laughs> I think that should be a shirt. <laughs> oh my god. Anything else? try to I don't know if it works through objects um, because I can do the do. bonus action of the the sound wave thing I think again I'm gonna have it be you have to see that I have to see yeah that's fair then I'm not gonna do it I'm gonna end my turn there All right. could everyone roll for me a con save or is it not I think deck save let me check um yeah yeah deck save Con save, sorry, most sake. Con con? Yeah. Yeah. And do you want to roll for Yuki for me? Oh, oh no, Yuki. Oh, God. What happened? Low for five. <laughs> I said that was three. <laughs> yeah. So, low five boy, you. What did you get? You got 17. You're fine. You, so, yeah. now. <laughs> you feel the cold seeping through the tiles, but you are able to like, move. And you're like not having much trouble. However, Satoshi, you see Lo Nico is freezing in place as he's trying to crawl they're trying to crawl up the stairs. Um and trying to pick themselves up. Um Yuki, however, isn't having much trouble um uh, uh heating the air around you. And Lo but Lo, you for some reason feel the fire within you kind of turn off for a moment as you freeze in place. You have no movement on your turn. That's fine. By the way. Yeah. The new darkness that would have trailed behind me probably would be like, like, mm, like that. It's yeah. It's supposed to be forty-five feet. So if I was here, one, two, three, I would still get. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you know the the thing. The Tengu flies. You don't see it, Loni, because there's darkness in front of you, but you see this. Just the shadow of the tank just blasts through the darkness and tower over you, flying over you. Oh. And as it looks down at you, I told you not to hide, girl. Oh, Face oh, my retribution. For what? <laughs> and it looks at the fox. Look, it, like you can, you feel it, like look through the um the walls or like like where it's at it can see through the railing and you can almost see through uh yuki's eyes for a moment and you can see yuki looking through the railings at uh, the tengu if how I dare you come I'm into sorry. my lands bringing this monstrosity into my space as it flaps its wings <laughs> I am offended. <laughs> yeah, bro. You need a chill pill. You hear the the spiritual bird that is the airship quer in disagreement. Quare. 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 As it flaps its wings on you and you I'm you see <laughs> it turn to ice as like these daggers like just fly towards oh, you. God. 
Those swats. I've got one duplicate left. If that counts. <laughs> Go ahead. Roll, 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 roll. Oh, what do I have to roll? Uh, I have to roll above a. I've lost it. Where is it? There it is. Oh. Here you are. Um, roll a d20. And 11 is what I have to roll. Well. <laughs> Your duplicate goes to catch the ice. And it gets stabbed and disappears. If I. Oh no, it only gets destroyed. It gets destroyed. If it, if it hits it. Oh wait, no, that does hit it. Okay. My yeah. brain is not working. Oh, sorry. No, I'm, I'm reading it wrong. Sorry. Oh yeah, no, so you got to roll above 11. So yeah, no, it does disappear. Yeah. And the wing attack gets you. And you feel your... Uh, roll me a con save. Actually, I don't know if you'll need to. Yeah, you won't need to. As you... You drop. You you, oh. you fall unconscious and just get buffeted <laughs> into the wall behind you. And okay. just get knocked out. And you hear Lo-Fi Boy... This strange, distorted voice struggling to form words, but it's, you can like you are able to like just understand, um, like through the glitching. You haven't escaped my gaze, Tin Man. Oh, sorry. Um... Sorry. What? <laughs> Yuki still is up, by the way. I will add. Oh, reaction! You you would be able to use the reaction on the first one. So go ahead. Okay. <laughs> I, I clicked it and I can't remember what it does. It's okay. Um, the trigger creature must re-roll the d20 and use the lower roll. Still hits. Well, <laughs> it still hits me. Well, yeah. goodbye. <laughs> well, you, well. Uh, Loho, uh, lo you hear Satoshi just shout. Lo Nico! Everything okay, low Nico? As he can't, as they can't see because of the incline on the stairs. But hearing you go down, <laughs> Yuki is still up though. Yuki, Yuki would still be up. And I'm laying on the cold hard mm. ground. <laughs> and it flies upwards, and you see it uh, just come into eye level of you, low fi boy, as it looks at you. It is now in the air with you. You'd be able to walk over to it because the ceiling does what's it called. Hangover. Are you saying, yeah, are you saying that it also is now yeah, it's among it, the highest points yeah. that I can see? Yes, yes I am. Yes I am, Sam. Okay. That's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I know what I know what you're thinking, you stupid ass. <laughs> And as has happened, um, you, Lo Nico, you can see fading in a. Um, you see Satoshi run up. I was gonna say running up that hill. You see uh, <laughs> Satoshi run up the stairs, see you on the ground, and then just kind of drop down, and um, God like shield you from all the snow and the ice as it's frosting around you, and um, it just stabilizes you. Lo Nico. Low. <laughs> you see one of the eyes, Low Nico, though, as like you're like you can see uh, in the like the shadows uh, Satoshi's body. You can see one eye looks down at you. Hello. What? <laughs> Satoshi isn't gonna do anything on their turn, other than stabilize you and bring you back to back to consci consciousness. Low, it's your turn. So you're back up, but you're on zero. Okay. Um. Uh. Can I do anything if I'm on zero? You are able to. Nah, I think I think like you're like you're still like just exhausted from this. So I'm you, just yeah. yeah I'm just you alive. Aren't... You don't need to roll that save. Okay. Uh, can I make Yuki do things? <laughs> You can. Yeah, Yuki is still able to do stuff. Do stuff. Uh, can he? Uh, where is the? 
10 good. It is 30 feet in the air above you. Above me, okay. Um, 30 feet in the air. Can you do a uh, firebolt? <laughs> Yuki rushes towards you. Oh shit. Oh no, he wouldn't even need to move. But yeah. We'd have to move in to like be able to see him. So yeah, like bomb happened there. And then yeah. Fuck you bitch! It just adds <laughs> uh, uh, the Tengu. How dare you drop low Nico? And it will roll uh and it hits. Six as the fire is furious when it goes to consume um circle around the Tengu. Um and as it swirls around, catching some of the ice, melting some of it, as it and um, as that like some of the sparks fly downwards towards you, Loniko, and you can see Satoshi's hair stop because like it starts moving again, but very sluggishly as like it's defrosting from the heat of um, uh, Yuki's uh, green fire, and some of the sparks swirl around you and they just reinvigorate you just a bit, but still like you're still dazed, but you are able to gain like you're able you feel more conscious. Can I get Yuki to cast a healing word on me? You can. Sick. <laughs> Where is it? There it is. Oh Nico! Oh Nico, you don't 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 scare me like that again, please. I get up, please. Hi. Please Blood of my blood. Kai, you Lo Nico Kai. <laughs> up it's no 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 time no time to be sleeping it's it's looks at his wrist planning on it. it's, it's a time not bedtime yet <laughs> we, 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 it's, it's okay no 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 napping can't we got work to do okay now that's half a can i do stuff <laughs> you can i will say actually no 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 what because you were on, I'm gonna say bringing yourself back up. I think that'll be that'll be your whole okay. turn. I'm gonna say. That's fine. It's it's an it's an exhausting uh, exhausting <laughs> being knocked unconscious and brought back to life within seconds. It's a tough time. Yeah, tonal <laughs> whiplash. She saw the light and she didn't see it anymore. <laughs> Just lying on the ground like oh, this this is fine. This is great. Uh, yeah, that's it. No worries. Lofa, your turn. And so I roll. What kind of cursed thing will happen this time? 92. Uh. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> I can't see you. It, what does the fox say? You summon a kitsune and have a location within 30 feet of you. <laughs> As suddenly, <laughs> as like you see Yuki in the corner of your eye, Lonika, you see him get, wait, hang on, whoa, 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 hold on now, and it gets pulled in and just gets put on the roof. Hello? Lonika? You stupid robot man, what have you done? Wait, what do you mean when I'm done? How can, what, why can I see you? Don't. Don't ask me why you can't see me. Why have you brought me here, stupid? I didn't bring you here. You, you came here on your own. Oh, no, I didn't. Was... I was downstairs with Lo Nico helping her, and now I'm up here with you. It's your fault, stupid. <laughs> Idiot. Robot man. I didn't try. Look, this is a mistake. I just tried to... to no, the only mistake... So fast. Oh, you... I'm just trying to... Oh my god, the tank was so high. Go, go oh hit god, Go, go hit it. So okay, okay, I'll go do that. And, Stupid um, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> what I want to do. Take a vicious mockery cause... damage for me, actually. No, I'm joking, Dami. <laughs> 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 oh, this is so funny. Uh, I want to, uh, if that's alright with you, I want to try to run up uh, to the Tengu. Mm hmm. Uh, 
so this is 15 feet of movement, but I'm still running. It's just for the, the last bit here. Yeah. Uh, and basically, I want to uh, also... What's it called? I want to get out the stone combine new thing. Oh, shit. Like, basically, I don't know if it will work, but like... My, my idea is still that, like, I throw the stone kamainu at the thing, and I jump above the stone kamainu, so that, like, we're both kind of, like, pouncing on the thing. Oh, shit. And I don't know if, like, taking the stone kamainu out counts as an action. It does. Okay, okay, but that's, uh, that's alright. Um, when you summon the Kamainu, it leaps in the air with you, um, and you're able to, like, look, did you want to climb onto it? Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It, it, you wouldn't need to rock it, it would allow you to get on top of it. And running with you on the roof, and you hear Lonika above you, the sound of tiles smashing and shattering, <laughs> as this he something heavy is now on the ceiling. And it's just, you're charging towards the Tengu on the Kamainu. And you put you want pants? Yeah, yeah, Go basically. Ahead. So uh, let me uh, click the pounce here. Uh, there, we'll have to roll a strength save. And you would need to roll uh, a claw attack for me. Uh, bite or claw? A uh, claw attack. Okay. It succeeds a DC. But it'll be able to attack. It misses the attack, but it does pounce on to the Tengu. And lo, you just see what leaps off the ceiling is one of the Stone Kamainu. And it crashes into this tower here. Oh, as really? you see Lo Fi Boy riding on it, and sm it's, the Tengu <laughs> smashes into it as well. Like they both crash. And the, the Kamainu tries holding itself onto the tile slanted ceiling. But the Tengu is still flapping its wings and just pulls itself out of the crevice as the Kamainu tries biting at the uh, at it and it bites into the wall. Sorry, slashes at the wall, causing some of the plaster in the wall to fall off. And you see Satoshi just like gasp in just terror of this all happening. Is, he's, he's, he, he's known for less than a day. We set his boat on fire, we crash into the fucking walls. Oh, uh, wait, 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 I think I'm too close to- oh wait, where are we? We're uh, here? No, 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 you, you're there. Oh, we're there? Okay. Yeah. Uh, how much movement have I- oh wait, when I got on the- on the Kumainu then, did it count as-, as The Kumainu movement. movement, yeah, yeah. Okay. So then, I would spend the- uh, if, let's say, because for the pounce it was just 20 lines, so I'm just going to do some calculations real quick. Uh, 20... Let's see, so that's that, and I would have spent 10, so I would have 20 left. I would try to... Oh, does the combine have any movement left? How much? Sorry, I'm just going to look. I'm going to say... You have 10 feet. Uh, okay. So with the Kamainu, I try to get up still like to the highest point because huh? you're already on like Gadget. you'd have to climb even more, but this isn't through the stack. Yeah. You have to climb vertically. The Kamainu can't climb like that. Oh, okay. So it's it struggle. It struggle to try. Actually, no. I'd like it, it. It allowed to climb up a bit. Yeah. Like if it stays there, it's all right. Can I climb? Like yeah, you'd I be able. The, the you'd, yeah, you'd be able to reach if you get onto its face. You'd be able to reach the top. Okay, so I'm you are now on the highest there. point. Yeah. And then, from there, the 10 foot that I got the... Wait, from here, so difficult to select the right thing, but just move up to here. Mm -hmm. And the bonus action is to do the thunder thing again, where it's got to do a, a con save, Go myself ahead. included. Oh, I'm, I'm stupid. I was like looking at that as if that was my role. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> 17, so it, it succeeds as well. Yeah. yeah. The Kamainu, I think, would also. No, it wouldn't. It's out of range. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Satoshi now is gonna. Anything else you wanna do? 
Oh yeah, uh, the the Kumainu. Uh, what I wanted to do. Uh, wait, wait, wait. It only did the claw attack, right? When it jumped. It did, yeah. Oh no, that was a bonus thing from the pounce. Was it? No, no, that yeah, that it did a claw attack. Ah, uh, okay. I would have had it cast a spell instead, but too late. Next time. Like two pounds, it has to claw attack. Uh, um, I see. I don't know. Cool. So yeah, Satoshi on his turn is going to, you see Low Nico as they get up, um, stop protecting you. They get up and like they're in panic, they're shocked at like everything's happening. You see him create a whip again and like their hair starts storming and thundering again. My boat! He's, they, they just shout as they create a whip of lightning and then lash it towards the Tengu. Onto it, trying to grab on his leg. <laughs> Lose just very weakly. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not your fault. I, I I guess. As Yuki, uh, not Yuki, sorry, Satoshi lashes and completely misses the Tengu and almost gets a Kamainu, knocking some of the tiled off the ceiling. Oh. <laughs> 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 you just hear him make that noise and just like, oh. Be careful! Time, oh shit! <laughs> hmm. I don't know. You, uh, if I like, does it work reverse? I don't think it'd work anyway. DC sixteen. It'd have to roll max, so he's not gonna do it. <laughs> Actually, see what his meta magic would do. Um, nah, it's not, not nothing of relevant. Nothing that's useful in the situation. So yeah, he's gonna uh, just sorry. They're gonna just do nothing because like they like they can't do nothing. It is the Tengu's turn now. Uh, and the Tengu's gonna to turn to you, Lo Fi Boy. Trying to push off the Kamainu, <laughs> trying to push the Kamainu off it. Uh can all of you guys roll me a con save? Yeah. Uh, uh Yuki doesn't need to. Lo Fi Boy, the con Kamainu con. Like wait. Uh Lo Fi Boy, you're the only one that has this. Like the the roof starts frosting, and you can see the uh, the propeller starts freezing over as well, and starts slowing down as you it begins to start smoking, and you feel the ship start to lose a bit of altitude in this moment. Oh, yeah. and as it starts like to begin to start falling uh, downwards, you can see you can hear the the fans of the um, the bird trying to keep it up, but it's struggling as it starts smoking and trying to push itself upwards. Um, but you, and you start feeling your feet freezing to the tiles and frost forming around the roof as you now have uh, 10 feet reduced movement and the Tengu is going to use its wings to swat at the, uh, the Kamainu and, uh, attack it with its staff. Does it get advantage just because the line of darkness now? I'm not sure how it is, but it's like above in the sky. Hmm. And. That's fair. It would, yeah, you're right. That's the wrong character. Does it, does it 15 hit the Kamainu? Uh, it let does. me see. As okay. it takes 13 bludgeoning, as like the, it just smashes the staff. Into the Kamainu. Um, give me a second. And you guys see the Kamainu just like lose half of its side as it just bursts off from the slash of the, uh, the Tengu, and the bricks, uh, the stones smash into the the, uh, the machinations below, and it turns to you, Lofi boy. And you see it swat its fan at you. Okay. I see you take 24 damage. That's bludgeoning damage or? That is. What so you only take half. Yeah. You take half, you're right. As you get like this buffet of wind fly towards you. But yeah, you feel um, as like the wind buffets into you and almost sh you feel like your body's about to fall, like you're you're struggling to gain your balance on the roof. Um, and you feel some of your roots even try hold into the tile 
but, but underneath you but some of them slip and you're struggling to like keep balance on top of the roof as the kamainu sorry the tengu flies upwards to get eye level with you the kamainu would get attack of uh, opportunity okay uh then he would go with uh just don't want to think stupid uh yeah just uh it gets it and as like if swats the fan at you for a second it kind of pulls gets pulled down a bit as if the, as the command you guys see the command you pull it down but it keeps trying to fight its uh flight and keep eye level with uh low fly boy it is now uh, Satoshi's turn, and Satoshi is going to once more try and uh, use his lightning law. Um, actually, no, he's not going to use his lightning law. He's going to ready his action to fly should Lo-Fi Boy fall. Mm. Lo, Nico, it's your turn. Um, I'm going to... Am I still lying on the ground? You would be able to... Get, you, you would have gone up by now. Okay. Um, Satoshi would have helped you as well. <laughs> I'm just going to move around here. Mm -hmm. um, can I see it? Yeah, you can see uh, all the carnage happening on that roof. Okay. As you're still here, Satoshi uh... just groaning. There is darkness there, though, uh, which is also a note. So, can I. Will I be able to fire a spell at it? You will. Yuki does chime in for a second. Send me up there. <laughs> Send me a coach. Okay. Send me up there. I'll and I can I can I can I can fairy fire it. Okay. Can you get up there? <laughs> I'll do my absolute darndest. Walks out, <laughs> steps and trips and falls down into the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you can get up there. Yeah. You just see Yuki pound off the railing and then onto the machination, and you see him just scuttle up the side of the wall and get onto level with the Kamainu. And I believe that would be in range for the uh, for fairy fire. Um, it's got a range of 60 foot. It gets it. Oh, he wouldn't even need to get into fucking. <laughs> yeah, no. he, he, he just stands next to you. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't... The Simeon coach comes next to me. <laughs> it's got to be 15, I believe. And it does. Mm. So, alas. alas. What about the Kumainu? It, what's the you know, it, choo it choo save? Yeah, deck save. It chooses who. who... Oh, right. it does? Sorry, I. Sorry, Lo. It did. That's okay, Yuki. Mm, I see, I see. You wanna cast healing work on me again? <laughs> Say less. Oh, these, these words, they're, they're healing. Yes, they are. Maybe you stand here, you'll be in, in you'll, you'll get better eyesight on it. As you, uh, as it, like, as he gives you a bit of a strategic advice, you feel the warmth and reinvigoration in that moment and get seven uh, hit points back. Excellent. Let's, um... Huh, maybe my, my advice was completely useless. He <laughs> just thinks to himself. Well, I don't, I didn't see where he said to stand. Uh, that, exactly there. Okay, he just taps okay. out the side next to him. Um... I'm going to cast <laughs> Fireball. Go ahead. Oh. oh. How come it wasn't a nat 20? I know. <laughs> Your fireball just... <laughs> wait, like, you see the coin, uh, the coin, sorry. The Tengu waft, uh, wave its uh, fed, uh, wing and just completely toss aside the the fireball. And you see just swerve around the tower and go into the thunderclouds beside, uh, on the side. That's still thunder away. Um, I will also note, uh, lo uh, Lofi Boy, you see that here, <laughs> spirit? Uh, it just like crawls out again, but jumps off the roof 
and Lonely Q, you can see just like as it's coming towards you or flying towards you, you see it pull out its pipe and just kind of like um, get like touched by the uh, the fireball as it's uh, flying by, and it goes back to smoking its pipe and just lands next to you, <laughs> and gives you a bit of a, a bit of healing as you get a six health point back. You're alive. You're alive. Before Before Hall yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> just give both my particles fresh before I you die can. again. <laughs> as your bells chime, they're almost as if like you like it like it, there's a melancholic tone to it, as if this was like your last hope. You feel in this moment. <laughs> Anything else you want to do? Oh, I'm all out. I nice. guess we're gonna hide. This table's gone, isn't it? Yeah, the table's gone, yeah. It's catapulted. Is, is there a chair? <laughs> there is a chair. <laughs> oh no, I was, I was gonna catapult that. Other chair, other oh. chair. This one. Okay. <laughs> I'm right. I'm right. <laughs> Love fight, it's your turn. Okay. I kinda like. Uh. <laughs> I just like. Come on, be something good this time, my heart. 84. That's uh, 84. Oh, that's interesting. Uh. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, <laughs> All your allies in the 60 foot radius starting from where you entered rage. See the enemies has exact copies of your stuff. Yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden, low, you see the flying Tengu as a flying lo-fi boy. Roll a d4 for me. Yeah. For two rounds. And the Kamainu also looks very confused at the, at the Tengu. And will not want to attack it. Yeah. For the, the Kamainu, what I wanted to do, um, is it able to revert back to its uh, object form whenever it wants? It can, yeah. So, uh, then what I want, uh, wait a minute, no, 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 that's not what it's gonna do. It's just going, if it can, like, since it's already, like, on the ledge and not really on, I wanted <laughs> it to just kind of, like, jump back uh, towards the... Uh, Towards uh, mm -hmm. where the gang is, I guess. It crashes into the wood as it does so. But it looks and very happily as it lands safely. I wanted to uh, focus uh, and cast uh, Shield of Faith mm -hmm. as a bonus action. Mm -hmm. And basically to give that to uh, Lonico. Mm hmm. Which will give her a plus two bonus yeah. AC. You see the Kamainu like kind of do a think, uh, thinking face, and the green Chris on his forehead shimmer as a giant or a smaller Kamainu jumps out of it and circles around you low. And Yuki just looks at it like, look at the, the audacity. I'm already here. It doesn't need another one. Stupid. <laughs> and then. So that's for the the Komainu, mm -hmm. um, cause it's concentrating on that. Yeah. Um, as for Lo-Fi Boy, um, I look straight into the, oh, you know what? There's something I've never tried before. Is this the time you think? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, no, that'd be funny. Uh, I think that'd yeah, be funny. I'm gonna do a reckless attack. Oh shit. Uh, which would give me advantage yeah. on melee weapons. And then, uh, oh, right, and I'm also delayed. Holy frick. Yeah, so like, it, it does, uh, it does shit. It does shit. Um, yeah. so, and I'm also gonna probably, I think I want to try to use uh, the, what's it called? the bardic inspiration but i think i already have maybe enough with the advantage we'll find out okay so let me do advantage first mm -hmm. uh glaive 
Oh That's shit. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, I don't think I need to roll again, but I'll do it still. Oh, okay. damage. So. Get his ass. Yeah. That will In... be. That's 17. 17 times 2. That's a number. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the number is, though. <laughs> it's all I'll say. As you, Loniko, and uh, Satoshi, and uh, Yugi, and the Kawainu look Satoshi. up to see the. Th thank you. You see the Tengu try to, uh, like, parry Lofobo and attack and swat at him and trying to attack with the quarter staff. But Lofobo recklessly just throws himself with his glaive and becoming a second form that looks very clear in this instance as they both pierce into the Tengu's heart causing the crystals both to shatter and explode. It lets go of both the staff and the fan. And Can I try to catch them before the... With disadvantage, roll a slight hand. Can I try with mage hand? Go ahead, roll with... Roll slight hand for me. With your charisma you one. You told me disadvantage, oh, right? Yes, yep. Am I close enough? I might use the, the, the inspiration on okay. that. I, can Oof. I do the? Can, it's a D6 for the inspiration. Yeah. It's a D6, and it's on an ability check, which oh. means. Yeah. Okay. You try reaching, but as you reach over, yeah. Lock by Boy, the Tengu's body oh, collapses oh. backwards, and it starts glitching and turning into icy, thunderous, uh, white fire, that just sparks and sizzles as this is all happening, and it just collapses and turns. Feathers that flow upwards in this moment, and as it lets go of the staff and the uh, the fan, you try reaching out for anyone specifically. Oh, you can roll uh, that die again, by the way, uh, Lofi boy. Which die? Uh, the D six. The inspiration. Oh really? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Bleach. You get a little uh, little fox trying to help you, trying to reach over as you try to grab at the staff. Uh, but like as you're reaching for it, you just it's, you touch it, pushing it further away as it clangs uh, against the machinery, and just you you don't see, but it falls through the air. But low Nico, you as a Tengu is falling, you suddenly some mage hands, and Yuki kind of jumps on it and fly to they fly towards the fan <laughs> as it's falling, and he reaches over and grabs it with his mouth catching the fan and turns to you very happily as Lofobo you feel your light suddenly dimming and fading as as the Tengu falls off the tower you also pass out uh, from what feels like exhaustion and fall off the tower what? as you're falling uh, Satoshi suddenly seeing that's my cue and you see waves of water for uh, uh, come out of his back as he flies towards um, as he flies flies towards um, Lo-Fi Boy and with these giant waves um, flapping them in the air causing water to spray outwards he catches you uh, Lo-Fi Boy he struggles because he's not as strong as he uh, as he'd like to as, as they would like to think but they catch you and I'm going to change the music as this is a bit more tense than we want. If I cast Featherfall on him, let make him lighter. <laughs> <laughs> if only. I don't know if he actually does, but it, there is there is no worries. Because as like you even consider that, um, you can say, no, don't, the mage handle drop. And then, I don't know if it actually will, but like just for drama. <laughs> but like you are able to get, <laughs> get on to, like I mean, Yuki does I also would... mention for the drama. I could also ask if Yuki could also cast the mage hand mm, could. spell and catch the other thing. <laughs> oh, I, I, I could, I guess. <laughs> but as like he's like he's being very laboured and slow when he's doing that, and is able to. Um, but as like he turns around, uh, Satoshi does fly back with um, Lofobo and uh, plopping him down by the, um, the 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 wheel, and you guys all circle around him. As you guys, the thunderclouds are around you uh, fall, and the rain drops as as sudden as it came. 
and in and like the the clouds that like the darkness that like Lopa Boy had also like kind of uh, disappear as well. So I do this. Everyone, you uh, circle around Lofi Boy, and the, the Kamaiu also um, is there. And like looks down you, uh, down you Lofi Boy, and you feel your lights turn back on as you are now suddenly uh -huh. on on the, uh, the the ship again, and the Kamaiu with its giant toned stung licks your face. Oh. Whoa! What happened there? Is 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 the Tegu? Uh, is it done? Yes, Lo-Fi Boy. Thanks, thanks to you. Oh. Right, I'm starting to remember now. The, the, you, but then, wasn't I falling in the end? What happened? What? It doesn't matter. As uh, Satoshi uh, clasps uh, Lofi Boy on the shoulder and then gets back up. As uh, you guys can see around you, the uh, as a the spiritual bird, you hear a queer uh, lonely guys. You look in front of you, you can see the face of this um, of the Red Laco, this giant crane that spiritually flies the ship when it's on autopilot flying oh. and as you look past it through where it's eyes are you can see very close the mountains of Kasakawa. as you can see these shores um as you can see the shore in front of you of the island um and its beaches its forests and when you when you're looking there, uh, Yuhi comes up to you, Loniko, and you, 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 his, uh, they reach out their hands and point down to the coast where this river reaches the uh, the lip of the, um, the island and out into the ocean. I think that's where the uh, the pebbles of the coast are. I think that's where Hiryu wants us to be. And we're going to end the session there. Yo. <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you guys for playing. Uh, Georgia is sleepy. <laughs> we are. Uh. It is very late. <laughs> so we're going to we're going to shout out all the things. Uh, Georgia, tell us about you. I'm Georgia and I make jewelry. Buy my stuff if you want. It'd be nice. Go buy her stuff. She does gorgeous. Some of it's D and D stuff. Yeah. It's almost three AM. It is. Thank <laughs> my you, Georgia. Brain has died. <laughs> you're a star, Georgia. And you're it's been so hard. <laughs> it is been six hours. Long, long on. You. <laughs> Thank you for playing, Georgie. If you need to, if you want to ban it, can't care the more than understand. Well, I'm, uh, gonna... I'm gonna go. I got a hair appointment tomorrow morning. <laughs> I'm very sorry, Georgia. I'm so sorry. I didn't know it was like, gonna be this long. It sounds for he wanted. Okay. He wanted to go to the post office. I almost died. It's fine. Love you guys. Love you too. Y'all awesome. Thank you're, you're everyone. Too. Bye. I'm stream. I gotta go now. Sleep. Good night. Bye. <laughs> there she go. <laughs> A mist, a mysterious creature, that Georgia. Oh shit! Sorry, Lofi. There you go. Um, but yeah, Sam, tell us about you. Hello. Hi. Um, I'm I'm Sam. Also, Lofi boy. And today, I was very wild with the wild magic stuff. It was really, really, really cool. I'm glad. It, it was, was very chaotic. It was. Um, and 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 yeah, like um. No, just like, thank you so much for like being here. Thank you so much for DMing. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you so much this for playing. So hype. I'm, I'm like so, so hype. I'm glad I had, I had a lot of fun. This was very fun. And you may, uh, to those that uh, don't know, um, well, uh, next session, uh, we're not, we're, next session will be uh, Jailhouse Rocky, uh, the finale of Jailhouse Rocky, Pebbles on the Coast, on, uh, 
next Sunday, 8 p.m. PST. Um, there will be a bit of promo coming out. That was scary. There'll be a bit of promo coming out for that very soon. Um, and that'll be the uh, the the halfway for season one of Throne on Top of Sands um, on next uh, next Sunday. So catch us then. Uh, catch us for the little halfway point of the of uh, this this little season and uh, see where see where this this all goes. And uh, yeah. Um, but if I don't see you on next Sunday and you want to uh, join us, we'll be doing some art on Tuesdays, 8 p.m. BST, and on Thursday, 8 p.m. BST. Uh, that'll be next. That's all next week, uh, and I won't be having. Um, I'll be I'll be on on break for two weeks after next week. So if you want to, if if you want to vibe and catch me uh, before I go on holiday, and next week, you, you there's there's the three streams you can catch me. Um, other than that, thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you guys for watching. If you've been watching the VOD or lurking, thank you so much for giving us your time. It's beyond appreciated. Uh, this session has been an absolute blast. I have been so excited to give him this airship for so long. And yeah, um, Rage does make you do crazy things. I'm going to step away from uh, Sam and chat with you guys for a bit as we before we go into our raid and talk about our sponsors. Um, goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, Sam, say goodbye. Hello. Sorry about that. I'll just put Sam in his box. And uh, I'm going to just put the end music on. Just give me a hot a minute. But yeah, thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you guys for giving us your time. Thank you for just being here. This has been such a fun session to, to DM. Such a wild little airship ride. Uh, I've, I've put these guys on. And I'm so excited for the uh, the little... The culmination of uh, Arc 1. I will... I believe you mean, I assume you mean me, uh, Ian, and I did see the message. I will give you the mom shot after in a second. Um, I'm going to talk about our sponsors uh, before I bounce or, and before we go into our raid. The first sponsor is Bard RPG. You might have seen me do art for uh, Bard RPG. It's a um, TTRPG tool. Or, um, if you DM, if you play, and if you're looking for a way to be more collaborative and inclusive and more involved with the storytelling and create a more just cohesive time at the table, you might uh, you might enjoy Bard RPG. I do the sci-fi for that. It's themed around Western sci-fi and fantasy as genres, but it's generally very it's, it's essentially genre and um, system agnostic. You can use it for anything. Uh, go check out the Kickstarter. It's just uh, completed. It's um, uh, it's it, it, it's Kickstarter star run, uh, run. I think we hit the second goal, and uh, you'll be hearing more about that very soon. Um, next is DiceRoll.uk. They create some gorgeous gemstone, metal, and resin dice, and I actually have uh, a set of gemstone and resin dice that Sam and Carlos from DiceRoll had gifted me, and they're gorgeous. Um, I recommend checking them out. They are affordable they are stunning if you're in the uk you get free delivery but they are internationally shipping as well so if you want to grab some dice from them uh, that are beautiful stunning everything uh dice roll uk slash casa dm next sponsor just very mundane is jacob's campaign which you'll hear more of jacob next sunday on jailhouse rocky uh, he does a podcast where he talks about many things and he's hilarious and you should know this if you uh, have watched tas or jailhouse rocky and uh, you should go go support him on all the things he does, such as Just Very Mundane. And there's We're So Fucking Sorry, which is the podcast that Sammy is on um, with Lucy, uh, her friend Lucy. They produce a com comedic, random, wild time. Of, well, it's a one hour time slot. So it's, it's a very nice little comedic, random and just chaotic one hour of your time in these little podcast bites. Go, go support them. It's, it's hilarious. It's wonderful. I guessed on it at one point. It's it's a grand time. Go check them out. Uh, finally is... I mentioned... We, we talked about Georgia Ma, uh, Jewelry. Georgia's Jewelries. She does beautiful silver jewelry. Go buy it. Go support her. Go do all the things. 
And if you enjoy what I do and enjoy the stream and want to see more of our stuff, uh, join my Discord and check out my links on Instagram and Twitter. Or give us a follow and hit the little notification bell to get remind you when we next go live. Um, but yeah, uh, there'll be Art of, the, of Satoshi going out on maybe Wednesday uh, with the airship going out on Monday, probably. We'll see what's up. And we're going to go raid into someone. So let's look for who, someone to raid. But if you've been, if you've given us your time and your energy and just enjoyed and partook in with the channel point redemptions, thank you so much. You you make you make these streams a lot more active and lively when you guys get involved like that. It is a grand time. We're gonna raid into. Hmm. We're gonna raid into the crash cash. There, I believe. Are they doing drunks and dragons today? I have no clue what they're doing today. But they're doing something. Let's hit him with, if you aren't subbed, here is the raid message. And if you are subbed, hit him with a break dancing low. Yeah, uh, if I don't see you on the next stream, hi uh, JR, thank you for stopping by. We just actually just finished the session, but if you do want to catch the vods of the sessions and see what when we are next doing the things throw on top sand on youtube it's a wonderful time but yeah i'll see you guys soon thank you guys for hanging out and if i don't catch you on the next stream on tuesday or on thursday or on our final stream of the till september uh then i will um i hope you have a good morning good afternoon good evening